Chapter 666. Great Star Majestic Fist. Crack. Numerous tiny seals swiftly spread out from the spot where Jiang Hao stood. The green stones beneath his feet also began to wither one after another at a shocking rate. It was as if they had been worn down by the passage of time. Desolate Force. It was the unique energy of the Desolate Hall and also the mark of a Desolate Hall's disciple. Being one of the four senior direct disciples of the Desolate Hall, Jiang Hao had mastered the desolation skill until the seventh level. As such, the ferocity of his martial art was several times stronger than Tong Xuan's. Lin Dong stood on the black metal seal. His eyes were solemn as he stared at Jiang Hao below. He slowly flexed his huge green dragon arms before waves of surging strength swiftly spread across his limbs. Desolate Blade. Jiang Hao raised his head and looked directly at Lin Dong with chilly eyes. An icy cold voice was emitted from his mouth. Immediately, the golden light was withdrawn from the large golden saber in his hand, before numerous seal patterns slowly appeared on his blade. However, the fluctuation on his blade was not weakened when that seal pattern appeared. Instead, it caused one's heart to tremble. Desolate Blade. One of the martial arts that the disciples of the Desolate Hall must learn. It was activated by Desolate Force and possessed an extremely shocking lethal strength. Lin Dong had already experienced it when he fought with Tong Xuan. However, from the looks of it, it was obvious that the desolate blade used by Jiang Hao was even more powerful. Swoosh! Jiang Hao suddenly took a step forward when the desolate blade was formed. He slashed his blade downwards and the space in front of him immediately became extremely distorted. A grayish blade glow directly tore through space and engulfed Lin Dong at a frightening speed. As that grey blade glow rapidly magnified in Lin Dong's eyes, the expression in the latter's eyes also suddenly became sharp. However, even as he faced this fearsome attack by Jiang Hao, he did not choose to retreat. Instead, Lin Dong stomped on the metal seal and directly flew out in front of many stunned gazers. Flash! A resplendent green light suddenly erupted on Lin Dong's body as he rushed forward. The green light rose and it vaguely transformed into an enormous dragon figure behind him. Its aura was quite frightening. The huge dragon figure crouched behind Lin Dong and both of its claws were tightly clenched. The dragon scales on both of the green dragon arms were flickering with an icy cool luster. Waves after waves of frightening strength surged under the dragon scales before finally gushing out. The green light, which contained enough power to blast apart a mountain, descended from the sky. Finally, it violently collided against that sharp grey-coloured blade glow. Boom! A shocking sound spread out in the sky. Following the ripple, there was a hurricane-like energy fluctuation. Jiang Hao's eyes were slightly cold as he watched the light that scattered across the sky. There was a trace of surprise deep within his eyes. After having used the desolate force, his blade attack was sufficient to easily destroy the defenses of a 6 Yuan Nirvana stage expert. However, it was actually blocked by Lin Dong. Swoosh! A surprised expression flashed across Jiang Hao's eyes. Immediately, a hurried rushing wind sound suddenly resounded in the sky. A glowing figure shot out from within that green light with a lightning-like speed. In a flash, it had appeared in the space above Jiang Hao. Light surged from his green dragon arm. Under the flickering icy cold light, another frightening force once again came pouring out. Lin Dong did not use any martial art and his attack was not fancy. However, upon being magnified by his dragon arm, that pure destructive attack covered up any openings. Everything was useless in the face of strength. After Lin Dong's arms transformed into green dragon arms, the strength that it possessed was sufficient to destroy a 6 Yuan Nirvana stage expert's Nirvana golden body. Such formidable strength. Jiang Hao also sensed the strength that was contained within Lin Dong's fist. Immediately, his eyes turned cold. Only then, did he finally realize that Lin Dong's physical body was actually this formidable. Desolate net. Although Lin Dong's attack was wild and violent, Jiang Hao was clearly not an ordinary individual. His face revealed a cold smile before he suddenly placed his palms together. Instantly, 
Countless gray threads spun out from the tip of his fingers. It soared with the wind and transformed into an enormous gray net. Immediately, this gray net directly covered Lin Dong. Bam! Lin Dong's fist violently smashed against that enormous net. Surprisingly, he was unable to break it with his punch. Despite using a massive amount of force, it felt as if he had punched into the mud. The feeling of his fist smashing onto cotton caused Lin Dong to frown tightly. Swoosh! While Lin Dong punched that gray net, the latter also instantly twined around him. It actually trapped Lin Dong with a lightning-like speed. This fellow is in deep trouble. It is not easy to escape after being trapped by the desolate net. Subsequently, it is likely that he will become a sitting duck for Jiang Hao's attacks. Pang Tong and the other two raised their brows upon seeing this scene. Since they were highly knowledgeable about desolate hall martial arts, they were naturally aware of just how difficult it was to deal with the desolate net, which was made from desolate force. Junior brother Lin Dong, this is the difference between you and me. A smirk appeared on Jiang Hao's face at this moment. Promptly, his eyes turned solemn as Grey Qi gathered rapidly on his hand. Traces of seals began to spread over his arms. At the same time, there was an extremely frightening fluctuation being emitted. Golden State Special Desolate Palm. Jiang Hao's eyes were cold. He did not hesitate even a little as he flipped his palm and executed an extremely fierce palm attack. Air burst apart under that palm wind, while an ear-piercing buzzing sound was also emitted. Jiang Hao attacked extremely quickly. The palm wind had just sounded out when in the next instant, it was already about to reach Lin Dong, who was being trapped by the desolate net. From the looks of its momentum, even Lin Dong would suffer some injuries if he was struck by it. After struggling briefly within the desolate net, Lin Dong also became aware of how troublesome it was to deal with it. However, there was no panic in his eyes. He stared at the fierce palm attack from Jiang Hao before immediately inhaling a deep breath of air. The fist-sized desolate seed within his danshan began to tremble intensely. Waves after waves of desolate force followed his medians and gushed out. The desolate force surged, after which, everyone saw Lin Dong once again raise his ferocious green dragon arms. However, this time around, the green light on it had strangely disappeared. Traces of patterns began to climb over it. Is that desolate force? Some of those direct disciples, who were closer to the arena, shrunk their eyes immediately. This fluctuation also belonged to the desolate force. It seems like Lin Dong was also able to use desolate force. How is this be possible? Tong Xuan, who was a short distance away, had a stunned expression. He clearly recalled that Lin Dong was not even aware of what the desolate force was five days ago. How is it possible that he managed to use desolate force? Could it be that he had actually learnt it in five days? Tong Xuan's face involuntarily twitched a little when he thought of this. If one wants to release desolate force until such an extent, one must at the very least form a desolate seed. Could it be that Lin Dong had successfully formed a desolate seed during these five days? Lin Dong ignored the uproar that suddenly sounded from the surroundings of the arena. While his arm was gradually covered with crack lines, his eyes also suddenly turned cold. Finally, he ruthlessly threw a punch. Chi, Lin Dong's fist wind first came into contact with the desolate net that trapped him. However, this time around, that cotton-like feeling did not appear. Under the outpour of his terrifying strength, the desolate net shook before finally breaking apart after only enduring for a short while. Jiang Hao's sharp palm wind arrived at the moment the desolate net collapsed. It violently collided against Lin Dong's grey dragon fist in front of the many gazes present. Boom! A shocking and solidified ripple swept apart. Numerous enormous crack line immediately appeared on the surrounding ground, while large rocks danced wildly in the sky. Finally, Two figures shot backwards in front of the many eyes present. Both of them retreated over a dozen steps before they staggered and stabilized themselves. Neither of them was actually able to gain an upper hand in this simple head-on collision. The atmosphere in the arena was a little quiet. Everyone was silent as they stared at this unusually fearsome clash. 
Quite a number of people inhaled a breath of cold air when these two people were forced back. Even Pang Tong and the others had a slight change in their expression. Clearly, they did not expect that Lin Dong was actually able to fight evenly with Jiang Hao. Although Jiang Hao had yet to use his strongest attack, his Yuan power mastery had exceeded Lin Dong by two stages. Seated on their stone chairs, Chen Zhen and Wu Dao had a strange flicker within their eyes when they saw this scene. The Hundred Empire War Champion really lives up to his name. Jiang Hao's face was currently filled with a serious expression. Perhaps he may have underestimated Lin Dong at the beginning of the fight. However, right now, Jiang Hao definitely saw the latter as a worthy opponent. Lin Dong curled his lips. He clenched his hand while green light flickered on his arm, as he tried to shake off the numb sensations in his arm. During the previous clash, if it was not for his strong physical body cultivated from the green heaven materialized dragon skill, he would have definitely been injured. If you are able to receive my next attack, I will accept your promotion to senior direct disciple. Jiang Hao's expression was solemn. He took a stride forward and both of his hands slowly formed a somewhat unusual seal. Grayish light erupted from within his body. The bits and pieces of it were just like rising stars. Great star majestic fist. Upon seeing his hand seal, Pang Tong's group and even Chen Zhen and Wu Dao, had a sudden change in their expressions. Clearly, they recognized the martial art that Jiang Hao was about to use. One of the four great martial arts ha. Lin Dong inhaled a deep breath of air. He saw the martial arts on the four stone tablets and he naturally recognized Jiang Hao's hand seal. Immediately, a grave expression appeared on his face. A moment later, he slowly extended his long finger and gently touched the spot between his eyebrows. A strange grayish glow began to flicker at that spot. Chen Zhen and Wu Dao on the stone seat were initially stunned when they saw his action. Immediately, as if they thought of something, a rich disbelief surged in their eyes. A somewhat dry and hoarse voice was involuntarily emitted from their mouths. Could it be? Chapter 667, The Power of the Demon Eye Lin Dong shut his eyes as he stood in the arena. His expression was quite calm in the face of this unusually fierce attack by Jiang Hao. Moreover, there was no especially powerful ripple appearing around his body. His actions caused quite a number of people to frown. Jiang Hao's attack was not a simple one and even a 7 Yuan Nirvana stage expert would have some difficulties handling it, should he lack any powerful tactics. While everyone was engaged in private conversations, the gray line between Lin Dong's eyebrows became increasingly rich. It expanded and contracted unsteadily, appearing as though there was something that was about to be born from the gray line. Bang bang! In contrast to Lin Dong's strange calmness, the area around Jiang Hao was extremely lively. An extremely shocking Yuan power ripple containing the desolate force continuously spread out from within his body. His aura was truly frightening. Grey light climbed onto Jiang Hao's body before gradually agglomerating. It was as though it had vaguely agglomerated into a 10 feet grey star in midair in front of him. The star's shape was undefined. Its surface was filled with potholes, appearing just like a meteorite. However, this seemingly normal appearance rippled and formed a frightening fluctuation that caused some distortions to appear in the surrounding sky. Everyone in the arena, including Pang Tong's group, had a solemn expression on their faces because of Jiang Hao's attack. Those direct disciples and the rest even had some shocked filled eyes. They were aware that if it was them, there was likely nothing they could do to resist that attack. He is indeed worthy of being a senior direct disciple. Quite a number of disciples secretly sighed in their hearts. Jiang Hao did indeed possess extraordinary talent and he deserved to be one of the four senior direct disciples of the Desolate Hall. Great Star Majestic Fist was one of the four great martial arts of the Desolate Hall and only the four senior direct disciples in Desolate Hall have successfully mastered it. Senior Lin Dong is in quite a bad situation. At the same time, some disciples involuntarily looked towards Lin Dong, who had turned quiet. Although the latter's action puzzled them, in face of Jiang Hao's terrifying attack, 
they were simply unable to imagine that Lin Dong could contend against him. Perhaps, they may not doubt Lin Dong's potential. After all, though he only joined the desolate hall for less than a month, he was able to challenge one of the four senior direct disciples, Jiang Hao, and even forced the latter to use his signature move, Great Star Majestic Fist. Other than the three other senior direct disciples, it was likely that only Lin Dong possessed such capabilities. They are about to determine the victor in one move. Pang Tong's eyes were also looking at the arena as he muttered. Immediately, his eyes drifted towards Chen Zhen and Wu Dao, who were seated on the stone stair. After which, he was stunned. This was because he saw an extremely shocked expression on their faces. Pang Tong was shocked upon seeing this. His heart also suddenly began to throb wildly. Could it be, on the stone chair, Chen Zhen's voice was hoarse and he was even unable to finish his sentence. He stared in shock at that spot between Lin Dong's eyebrows, while the expression on his face changed rapidly. It can't be, that martial arts, back then, even Senior Zhou Tong did not successfully learn it. Senior Mo also turned blind while learning it. Wu Dao's voice was also somewhat dry. There was also a rich disbelief on top of this dryness. This disbelief had exceeded the intensity that he felt from Lin Dong, Pill River Head Immersion Result. Chen Zhen turned quiet and he could only shake his head. If Lin Dong was truly able to gain an initial mastery over that martial art within a short five days, it could only mean that this fellow was simply too abnormal. This martial arts might be unusually powerful, but it also has its disadvantages. There is no telling if it is a good or bad thing if Lin Dong has really learnt it. Wu Dao also nodded when he heard Chen Zhen's words. There was a worried expression in his eyes as he stared at Lin Dong in the arena. Although that martial art was powerful, it was a vicious skill that severely wounded one's enemy and oneself as well. Junior Lin Dong, if you can receive this punch, I, Jiang Hao, will no longer object to your promotion to become a senior direct disciple. Jiang Hao's body gradually rose into the air in the arena, while being covered by a grayish glow. His eyes were sharp as he stared at Lin Dong in the distance and cried out sternly. A ten-feet grey-coloured star quietly floated in front of him. Waves of extremely violent ripples swept apart like a storm. It was extremely powerful. However, Lin Dong still remained calm in the face of Jiang Hao's stern cry. The grey line between his eyebrows swiftly wiggled at this moment. It was as though there were numerous vague small grey lines spreading out while accompanied by a unique dark evil aura. The direction that they spread towards was actually Lin Dong's eyes. Buzz, however, just as those numerous tiny grey lines were about to invade Lin Dong's eyes, a gentle white glow suddenly appeared around his eyes. It actually directly absorbed those numerous grey lines. If it was possible to probe into the area between Lin Dong's eyebrows at this moment, one would see an ancient stone talisman quietly suspended there. A faint white glow was being emitted from it. Below the ancient stone talisman, was a spot that was filled with a strange dark evil grayish key. Hovering amidst this grayish key, was a grey-coloured eyeball filled with a demonic scent. That eyeball was filled with an unusual and bloody trace while an ancient ferociousness filled it. However, each time this viciousness surged forth, the ancient stone talisman above would send a rippling white glow that suppressed it until it could no longer move. Buzz! A thought suddenly spread over this place at this moment, after which, the stone talisman, which was suppressing the grey eyeball, finally withdrew its white glow. The moment the stone talisman stopped suppressing it, Blood traces immediately began to emerge from the grey eyeball before its ferociousness completely erupted. Great Star Majestic Fist. A low and deep cry suddenly resounded over the sky. Jiang Hao adopted a serious expression as he clenched his fingers into a fist and threw a punch without any fancy moves. Bang! His fist struck violently against the grey star in front of him. After which, the star whizzed and flew out creating a trace of grayish tail light. It was just like a meteorite searing across the sky as it flew towards Lin Dong with a hard and forceful violent ripple. Crack! The star whizzed forth. Before it could land on the ground, 
it had already left countless cracks on the ground. The spreading ripple was such that even several disciples at a great distance away, could feel a piercing pain and chillness over their skin. This chillness caused the expressions of quite a number of disciples to change. The remnant wave was already this frightening. If they were located at the spot where Lin Dong was, wouldn't they be directly pummeled by that fierce and violent fist wind until turned into pulp? Why is Lin Dong still not reacting? Over at the direct disciples, Mo Ling and the rest had anxious expressions on their faces as they stared at Lin Dong, who had yet to act. Their bodies involuntarily turned tense. Bang! That grey star was extremely fast. Within a couple of breaths time, it had already arrived above Lin Dong. Just when everyone halted their breaths, Lin Dong, who had yet to show any sign of activity, finally raised his head slowly. Both of his eyes opened. Chi! The instant that Lin Dong opened his eyes, the grey line between his eyebrows suddenly split open. After which, a grey light agglomerated. The spot between his eyebrows had actually transformed into a grey triangular eye. The instant the grey eye appeared, the space around Lin Dong suddenly became distorted. An extremely destructive shockwave wildly spread apart. Chen Zhen and Wu Dao on the stone chairs finally had a drastic change in expression the moment that grey eye appeared. They suddenly stood up and involuntarily cried out in a shocked manner, desolate demon eye. Swoosh! When they stood up, an ordinary grey beam of light erupted from Lin Dong's grey eye. After which, it quietly flashed past the sky and collided with the grey star. Boom! There was no earth-shaking noise the moment the collision occurred. The grey light directly penetrated through the star in a simple and unhindered manner. After which, crack lines covered the star. Finally, it directly burst apart in front of the shocked eyes of all the disciples. Jiang Hao's fierce punch had actually been broken so easily. Jiang Hao was similarly stunned when he saw this scene. Before he could even react, the pores around his body stood up. Through his shrunken eyes, he could see a grey light beam rushing towards him with a shocking speed. That was the light beam that had penetrated through his great star majestic fist earlier. It's so fast. There is no way to dodge it. The grey beam was so fast that Jiang Hao had no way to dodge it. Immediately, he clenched his teeth. Bright golden light surged before it directly transformed into an extremely thick golden light shield in front of him. Swoosh! The light beam arrived in the blink of an eye. After which, it slammed against the golden light shield in front of a countless number of gazers. However, soon after, a terrified expression surged onto Jiang Hao's face. This was because he discovered that his defense was of no use against that attack. A rich feeling of danger covered his heart. Seated in his stone chair, Chen Zhen's expression was solemn. His body shook before he strangely disappeared. It seems like he had to intervene in this fight. Chapter 668, The Fifth Senior Direct Disciple The radiant golden shield started to collapse at an astonishing speed due to that grey light beam. That defensive shield, which was able to resist an all-out attack from a 7 Yuan Nirvana stage expert, collapsed just like paper mache. At this moment, a panic-stricken expression quickly appeared on Jiang Hao's face. However, since he was able to become one of the four senior direct disciples of the Desolate Hall, he was no ordinary individual. In the face of danger, he acted in a decisive fashion. Immediately, he lightning quick stomped on his crumbling golden shield, before he used that momentum to retreat. Whoosh! The moment Jiang Hao made his sudden explosive retreat, the grey light had already thoroughly smashed a hole through his golden shield. Furthermore, it continued on with an astonishing speed and flew straight towards Jiang Hao. Bang! 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 Jiang Hao's face turned solemn as he quickly retreated. As he continuously waved his sleeves, waves of powerful desolate energy came rushing forth. Following which, he tried to use those energy waves to resist the strange grey light beam that was headed towards him. However, it was obvious that his attempt at resistance was futile. Although the grey light beam was not frightening to look at, the corrosive strength that it contained was at quite a terrifying level. Therefore, 
Those desolate energy shockwaves that were sent out by Jiang Hao did not hinder the grey light beam at all. At this moment, the entire stadium was thoroughly rifled up. Countless numbers of disciples, who were initially seated, all stood up suddenly. All of them wore dumbfounded looks as they stared at Jiang Hao, who was now extremely distressed. In that second, each and every one of them had a look of disbelief on their faces. The situation had turned around too quickly. Originally, they assumed that the fight would end the moment Jiang Hao executed his great star majestic fist. However, none of them expected that not only was Lin Dong able to handle such a fearsome attack, he even managed to force Jiang Hao into such a sorry state. An uproar spread throughout the entire mountain peak and even Pang Tong, Fang Yun and Song Zhou gawked at this scene. The three of them shot a look at each other and they could all see the shock that was present in each other's eyes. Swish. At this very moment, Jiang Hao could not be bothered about the uproar that was happening on the mountain peak. His attention was completely focused on the grey light beam that was tailing him just like a maggot in his bone. A thick feeling of danger rose within him, causing all the hair on his body to involuntarily stand. It has caught up. Jiang Hao's pupils suddenly contracted. The grey light beam pierced through the void like lighting and had actually already arrived in front of him. I don't believe that I can't block you. After retreating in such a distressed manner, Jiang Hao's anger had finally shot through the roof. Straightening his head, boundless Yuan power erupted crazily from his body, before he launched a palm attack. However, as Jiang Hao was about to completely unleash all the Yuan power within his palm, an old figure strangely appeared in front of him. With a wave of his sleeve, a gentle draft appeared and swept Jiang Hao away. At the same time, he flipped his palm again before endless Yuan power surged forth and formed a giant Yuan power vortex in front of him. The vortex spun around crazily as the Yuan power within it continued to grow endlessly. Qi, the grey light beam rushed into the Yuan power vortex with lightning speed. After that happened, everyone could see several massive explosions erupting within the vortex. Chen Zhen's gaze turned solemn as he stared at the grey light beam that was rampaging across the vortex. At this moment, he raised both of his hands gently and directly patted the vortex, causing it to scatter. Following the scattering of the vortex, the grey light beam within also disappeared along with it. After Chen Zhen settled the grey light beam, Jiang Hao had already landed on the ground. He raised his head with a faint palpitation still remaining on his face. At this moment, the entire mountain peak was eerily silent. One gaze after another suddenly landed on the body of Chen Zhen, before all of them secretly gulped. Being disciples of the desolate gate, they were naturally aware that when disciples spared, the hallmasters would not typically intervene. In fact, they would only interfere if there were incidents that were spinning out of control. Pang Tong and the other two looked at this scene with some palpitations in their hearts. Lin Dong, is that the desolate demon I? asked Chen Zhen in a relaxed tone, while hovering in mid-air. He was looking at Lin Dong below, with a complex expression within his eyes. As this question appeared, a sucking sound resounded from everywhere within the stadium. In fact, for Pang Tong, Jiang Hao and the other two, a rich astonishment expression appeared within their eyes. Amongst the desolate hall martial arts, the great desolation mysterious scripture was naturally the most powerful one. Below the great desolation mysterious scripture, was the so-called four great martial arts. Amongst them, the desolate demon eye was the hardest to master. Within these few years, although it cannot be said that no one had managed to master the desolate demon eye, most of them were the desolate hall's older generation members. Amongst the disciples, however, there was no one who had successfully done it. However, right before their eyes, Lin Dong had actually managed to learn the desolate demon eye, which was widely considered to be the most lethal martial art in desolate hall. How could this not make the audience feel shocked? Furthermore, they were clearly aware that Lin Dong had merely entered the martial arts hall for five days. However, in these five days, he actually managed to gain an initial mastery over the desolate demon eye. Is this fellow even human? Thought Pang Tong and other three as they shot a look at each other. 
All of them had complex feelings. Even though they were all highly talented, if they were to be compared to that fellow Lin Dong, they seemed rather ordinary. Of course, the four of them naturally did not know that the reason why Lin Dong was able to do so, was not only because of his talent, but also because of the mysterious stone talisman. Although the desolate demon eye was overbearing and evil and ordinary individuals would find it exceedingly difficult to fully control it, Lin Dong possessed the mysterious stone talisman. Therefore, he was able to fully restrain and control it. Every pair of eyes in the entire stadium congealed on Lin Dong's body. At this moment, the grey eye at Lin Dong's forehead began to close before turning into a grey line and disappearing. After the grey eye disappeared, a pale expression appeared on Lin Dong's face. The lethality, Yuan power and mental energy consumption of the desolate demon eye had completely exceeded his expectations. If Chen Zhen did not intervene, the previous attack would have likely left serious injuries on Jiang Hao. This situation was something that he obviously did not want to see. After all, this is the desolate hall and not the ancient battlefield. Therefore, he could no longer be as aggressive as before. Yes, hall master, the martial art that I have just used is indeed the desolate demon eye. Lin Dong bowed at Chen Zhen, before saying in a bitter voice, due to the fact that I only have an initial mastery over it, I can't control it well. I see. Chen Zhen subconsciously muttered before turning silent for a while. It was as if he was trying to quell the shock within his heart. After seeing Chen Zhen fall silent, Lin Dong did not speak anymore. He knew that Chen Zhen and the rest must be shocked that he was able to learn the desolate demon eye. On the stone chair, Wu Dao secretly laughed bitterly in his heart. However, joy promptly surged into his heart. The more talented Lin Dong was, the better it was for their desolate hall. After all, it has been many years since their desolate hall had produced such an outstanding disciple. The path that the desolate demon eye walks on is the pursuit of greater killing power. In the future, if you are unable to completely control it, try to refrain from using it when sparring with other disciples. Besides, this martial art will have a corrosive effect on the person using it. Unless it is a critical juncture, it's best not to use it recklessly, said Chen Zhen in a serious tone after regaining his clarity. Yes, disciple understands. Lin Dong respectfully nodded his head. He did not expose the existence of the mysterious stone talisman. In fact, he did not have to worry about the corrosive effect of the desolate demon eye because of it. Nonetheless, the mysterious stone talisman was his greatest secret. As such, due to his cautious disposition, he was naturally unwilling to expose its existence, even though he knew Chen Zhen and the rest did not have any malicious intentions towards him. For today's spa, the victor and loser have been decided. From today onwards, you will be the fifth senior direct disciple of the desolate hall. Is there anyone else who objects? Chen Zhen turned towards Pang Tong and the rest and asked. After hearing his words, Pang Tang and the other three hesitated for a while before shaking their heads. This time around, even Jiang Hao could only laugh bitterly. The power that Lin Dong had displayed left him with no grounds to object. Raw. After Pang Tong and the other three indicated that they did not object, the entire stadium immediately erupted into a spectacular sea of cheering sounds and voices. Over tens of thousands of desolate hall disciples stared fervently at the thin figure standing in the middle of the stadium. A trace of respect appeared on all of their faces. After today's match, Lin Dong had thoroughly conquered all the disciples in Desolate Hall. From today onwards, he would also become the fastest disciple in the history of the Desolate Hall to become a senior direct disciple. Chapter 669, A Talk in the Night The Desolate Hall had an additional senior direct disciple after the end of the battle between Lin Dong and Jiang Hao. It was likely that this matter would stir quite a great commotion within the Dao sect should it be spread. After all, there was not a single disciple during these years, who successfully became a senior direct disciple of any hall, after having just joined for less than a month. Chen Zhen waved his sleeves after announcing that Lin Dong was the fifth senior direct disciple of the desolate hall. Immediately, everyone saw the ground beside the four stone platforms rising. 
A majestic Yuan power directly created a new stone platform that was of the same height as the four others. That spot would be Lin Dong's individual seat during the future monthly competitions. This was a symbol of status. With regards to that, Lin Dong also acted unceremoniously as his body moved and he rushed onto the platform. Ha ha, junior brother Lin Dong, congratulation, Pang Tong's sincere face also had a smile on it at this moment, as he spoke to Lin Dong. Fang Yun, Song Zhou and the other senior direct disciples also nodded their heads at Lin Dong. If they had previously looked down on Lin Dong because of their seniority, this mentality had been completely replaced. Lin Dong had displayed a shocking fighting strength during the previous battle and even they did not dare to underestimate him. I hope that the four seniors will take good care of me in the future. Lin Dong was not stingy with his friendliness in the face of their smiles. It was likely that he would train within the desolate hall for a long time in future. Hence, he naturally did not want to have a terrible relationship with his seniors. After experiencing the various games during the Hundred Empire War, he quite enjoyed the atmosphere within the desolate hall. After all, no one in this world likes to be constantly fighting with others. Pang Tong and the three others smiled and nodded when they saw the friendly smile on Lin Dong's face. They involuntarily sighed within their hearts. Lin Dong's actions finally allowed him to understand the boldness and resolution that was buried within his bones. They had also heard about the cruelty of the Hundred Empire War. In order for Lin Dong to clear a path one step at a time with his low-rank empire background, the amount of effort he had to put in would likely cause them to feel ashamed, should it be described in detail. This junior has extraordinary potential. No wonder teacher Uncle Chen Zhen and Wu Dao have such high expectations of him. The four of them looked at each other and saw the mutual thought within their minds. After greeting Pang Tong's group, Lin Dong finally sat down on his own stone platform and raised his head. The height of the stone platform allowed him to overlook the entire mountaintop. There was a black mass of people when he looked down. Tens of thousands of desolate hall disciples sat quietly in this place. Their expressions when they looked at him were filled with rich respect. Chen Zhen once again returned to his stone seat. Next, he waved his sleeve and announced the start of the monthly competition. However, those subsequent matches were naturally not as fearsome as the one between Lin Dong and Jiang Hao. However, due to the large number of people present, the scene was also quite magnificent. Branch disciples were the most numerous amongst the desolate hall disciples. These branch disciples were all constantly hoping to become full-fledged desolate hall disciples. This was because only by becoming a true desolate hall disciple would they possess the qualification to enter the desolate hall mountains and train. Moreover, they would also gain the qualifications to learn the deep and profound martial arts in desolate hall. Therefore, there will always be quite a number of branch disciples going all out during the monthly competition, in an attempt to unleash 120% of their own strength, hoping that they will be promoted to become a full-fledged disciple. The Desolate Hall monthly competition continued for an entire day. Its final result caused the Chen Zhen duo to feel quite satisfied. Amongst the tens of thousands of branch disciples, there were over a hundred disciples with outstanding performances, who possessed the qualification to be promoted to a full-fledged disciple. At the same time, this increased the overall strength of the Desolate Hall. As moonlight gradually encompassed the Desolate Hall mountains, the mountain top, which had been lively for an entire day, finally began to gradually quieten down. As large groups of disciples began to leave, the sound of rushing wind continued to buzz over the mountaintop. Lin Dong also stood up from his own stone platform. He stretched his lazy waist and was just about to leave with Mo Ling's group, when Wu Dao suddenly appeared beside him. Little fellow, you have performed quite well today. Wu Dao smilingly stared at Lin Dong and laughed. Hey, teacher uncle Wu Dao has overpraised me. It was by chance that I satisfied the criteria for practicing the desolate demon eye. Moreover, I have yet to completely master it and have merely gained an initial mastery. Lin Dong smilingly said. Although Wu Dao was the deputy hall chief of desolate hall and he had an extremely high status, 
Lin Dong did not act in an overly restrained manner in front of him. You little fellow. Wu Dao smiled and shook his head. He mused a little and said, Currently, you are a senior direct disciple of the Desolate Hall. You should train properly from now onwards. The Great Desolate Tablet will be opened three months later. Whether you will be able to comprehend it will depend on your own fate. Three months later, Lin Dong was stunned initially. Promptly, a fiery hot expression surged out from within his eyes. He clearly understood that even though he was now a legendary figure in Desolate Hall, it was merely the case within the Desolate Hall. The Dao sect was huge and the number of prodigies in the three other halls were as numerous as the stars. If he wanted to stand out amongst all four halls, he must successfully comprehend the Great Desolation Scripture. Otherwise, he would definitely end up being at a disadvantage when he faced those top disciples from the three other halls, who have comprehended the three other great mysterious scriptures. However, it was also because of his fame that many disciples in the desolate hall were anxiously awaiting the day the great desolate tablet opened. If Lin Dong was truly able to comprehend the great desolation scripture, his reputation would exceed that of the four senior direct disciples. In fact, he will even be able to rival the top disciples from the three other halls. Of course, if he failed, it was likely that he would wound up attracting some nasty gossips. His earlier performances were simply too dazzling and he can even be comparable to that fellow, who possessed an extremely high position in the hearts of the Tao sect's disciples. Hence, if he failed to comprehend the great desolation scripture, it would likely cause quite a number of desolate hall disciple to be secretly disappointed. Compared to understanding the great desolate scripture, all those previous results were hardly worth mentioning. Lin Dong looked at Wu Dao's earnest eyes before he curled his mouth slightly. For some unknown reason, it seemed like quite a lot of expectations had been placed on his shoulders. I will do my best. Lin Dong softly replied. Soon after the great desolate tablet opens will be the hall test. The result that our desolate hall will achieve would likely depend on the five of you. Wu Dao smilingly said, How is the strength of that big senior sister Ying Xiaoxiao from the sky hall like? Lin Dong blinked and suddenly asked, Xiao Xiao are a lady with extremely great talent. Currently, she should be attempting to break through the ninth Nirvana tribulation. Wu Dao smacked his mouth. It was likely that even he coveted Ying Xiaoxiao's talent. Attempting the ninth Nirvana tribulation, Lin Dong's heart was slightly shaken. She is indeed worthy of being the big senior sister of the Sky Hall. Her strength was likely comparable to Ling Qingju. I heard from your friend Lin Dia that you have a complicated relationship with Ling Qingju from Nine Heavens Supreme Purity Palace. Standing in front of Lin Dong, Wu Dao suddenly said, while Lin Dong was still shocked by the strength of big senior sister Ying Xiaoxiao. Ugh, Lin Dong was startled. He raised his head and looked at Wu Dao's somewhat complicated expression. Immediately, he felt his face turn red. He let out a dry laughter but was uncertain about how he should reply. Could he really tell Wu Dao that he had once taken possession of that lady's body? If word of this was to spread, it was likely that there would be a countless number of people charging to Dao sect and causing trouble for him within a couple of days. Tisk tisk, little fellow. Your eyesight is quite good. Ling Qingju is a renowned person amongst the younger generation in the eastern Xuan region. Even Xiao Xiao, that lass is overshadowed by her. There are a countless number of young geniuses from various super sects chasing after her during these years in an attempt to win the heart of the beauty. However, no one has succeeded. Wu Dao patted Lin Dong's shoulders. His smile appeared a little wretched under the moonlight. Your target is really challenging. Good luck. I have confidence in you. If you can capture Ling Qingju, I believe that the expressions of those from the Nine Heavens Supreme Purity Palace will be extremely interesting. Lin Dong smiled in an embarrassed manner. Wu Dao really thought too highly of him. The former clearly understood the gap between him and Ling Qingju. Even after several years of bitter training, there was still quite a big gap between him and her. However, the current gap was already one that could be seen and it was no longer as ethereal and invisible like back then. His effort during these years was not for naught. 
The current him was also no longer the same tender youth who could only look up to her. Lin Dong inhaled a deep breath of cool air. He turned his head and his eyes looked into the distance. Moonlight shone on his face, outlining a tough figure. He had already endured through the toughest time. Currently, there was no reason to give up. Ling Qingju, I really look forward to our next encounter. Chapter 670. Peace. After the conclusion of the monthly competition, the desolate hall turned peaceful once again. However, there were now a few more good discussion topics that appeared secretly in the discussions between the disciples. These topics naturally did not stray away from the soul-stirring fight between Lin Dong and Jiang Hao that day. News that Lin Dong managed to successfully learn the desolate demon eye had also circulated around rapidly. This inevitably caused repeated shock to people who heard it, while quite a few desolate hall disciples smacked their lips in envy of Lin Dong's talent. After the intense fight with Jiang Hao during the monthly competition, Lin Dong had managed to thoroughly secure his footing within the desolate hall. Becoming the fifth senior direct disciple caused his status within the desolate hall to soar. Every day when he met disciples from desolate hall, they would show a face of respect and bow towards him and address him as a senior brother. This was even true for disciples, who were older and more experienced than him. Although Lin Dong felt nonchalant about this kind of special treatment, it was great news for Mo Ling and the rest of the disciples, who followed Lin Dong and joined Desolate Hall. Although it was peaceful in the Desolate Hall, disputes and division into cliques were unavoidable. As new disciples, their position was considered to be the lowest as they did not have anyone to reply on. Typically, their training facilities will also be inferior, compared to those veteran disciples. However, following Lin Dong's meteoric promotion to senior direct disciple, these new disciples had a backer to rely on. Hence, thanks to Lin Dong's reputation, those veteran disciples would no longer dare to intentionally create trouble for them. As such, from that day onwards, Mo Ling and the rest of them faced significantly less troubles. Furthermore, unknown to Lin Dong, there were quite a few disciples that were quietly following him. Gradually, this indicated the formation of a new clique with him as their leader. Naturally, Lin Dong did not care much about this matter and would only smile when he occasionally discovered it. He had no intention of forming a clique. However, Mo Ling and the rest of them are his friends and they all came from Great Yan Empire. Hence, if they were to run into problems, he would naturally not stand by idly. After Lin Dong's officially promotion to senior direct disciple, the current him was now formally considered as a core disciple of the Desolate Hall. As such, Lin Dong could finally enjoy the life of being a disciple in the desolate hall. In the subsequent month after the monthly competition, a large majority of Lin Dong's time was spent within the martial arts hall. Of course, he was not delusional enough to attempt to master the three other great martial arts. Hence, every time he entered the martial arts hall, he would sit in front of the desolate stone to absorb the desolate energy for his desolate arts. Other than that, he would spend the rest of his time before the desolate demon eye martial art tablet. The perverted lethality of the desolate demon eye was experienced firsthand by Lin Dong after his fight with Jiang Hao. This martial art was truly fearsome and Lin Dong only had an initial mastery over it and could barely control it. Therefore, during this one month's time, he spent all his time shuttling in and out of the mental space within the stone tablet. Inside there, he continuously received the dreadful attack from Huang. This training method was slightly masochistic. However, since Lin Dong had the mysterious stone talisman, he was not afraid of the fiendish corrosive strength. Thanks to this masochistic training, Lin Dong could sense that his control over the desolate demon eye was become increasingly proficient after a month's training. This fact brought joy to his heart. Furthermore, Due to the long period of time spent within the martial arts hall, he had gotten rather close with the blind old man. This person, who appeared to be an eccentric blind old man, was rather cordial with Lin Dong. This was especially true after he learned that Lin Dong had successfully learned the desolate demon eye. Their relationship grew even stronger and the warmth that he showed Lin Dong was something denied to Chen Zhen and Wu Dao. 
Between their interactions, Lin Dong found out the name of the blind old man, Gu Mo. At the beginning, when Lin Dong first saw him, he was eccentric and distant. However, his status gave Lin Dong quite a shock, as he was actually an elder of the Dao sect. His status was even higher than Chen Zhen and Wu Dao by a level. Furthermore, what truly shocked him was that even though Elder Gu Mo failed initially when he tried to learn the desolate demon eye, and even lost his sight, thanks to his stubborn nature and determination, he was able to forcefully master it in the end. This caused Lin Dong to be secretly in awe, because only the individuals who have tried to learn the desolate demon eye, would understand how potent the corrosive power of the fiendish key was. Nonetheless, Elder Gu Mo actually refused to give up even after losing his sight, and forcefully managed to master it in the end. Of course, it maybe have been because he had nothing else to lose. Since he had already turned blind, there was nothing else for that fiendish key to corrode. Subsequently, Elder Gu Mo chose to give up his Yuan power cultivation and decided to focus on his mental energy cultivation. Once his mental energy was unleashed, the world that he saw was clearer than the world he previously saw with his fleshly eyes. In Lin Dong's opinion, the reason why Elder Gu Mo saw eye to eye with him, was likely because he had also trained in the desolate demon eye. And this was how Lin Dong spent one month's time, in peace and tranquility. Within this month, Lin Dong gradually integrated himself into this foreign yet familiar desolate hall. After thinking for a while, Lin Dong felt like this might turn into another home for him. At the very least, even a cautious and prudent person like him did not feel put off by this place. His life within the desolate hall was unlike the ancient battlefield, where he had to be constantly on the tenterhooks and be ready for a life or death fight with an opponent at any time. However, thanks to this unique peaceful environment, it caused Lin Dong's state of mind to become increasingly mild and peaceful. Meanwhile, the viciousness and antisocial behavior that was drilled into his bones in the ancient battlefield was slowly being withdrawn. Huff, a meager form sat cross-legged quietly before the black-colored stone tablet. After a long time, the black-colored eye on the surface of the stone tablet suddenly blinked once. Wave after wave of mysterious fluctuations started being emitted. In the end, most of them shot directly into the gray line present on the forehead of the figure. The gray line gradually dissipated, before Lin Dong's eyes gradually opened. A mysterious gray flash flickered across his eyes before a smile appeared on his face. Looks like you have made good training progress on the desolate demon eye. A hoarse voice rang out from behind Lin Dong. He turned around and gave a smile toward the blind old man, who was holding onto a broom before he said, This is all thanks to the guidance from senior uncle Gu Mo. If they were going by status, Lin Dong had to address Gu Mo as elder. However, due to the latter's eccentricness, he scolded Lin Dong when he first addressed him as elder and made him change it to senior uncle. As Lin Dong was not a person to be constrained by mannerism, he felt that calling him senior uncle will help bring them closer. If you are not talented, any advice that I give will be of no use. You brat, you are getting more and more greedy, replied the blind old man, while a smile appeared on his fully wrinkled face. He proceeded to say, you should go. Wu Dao is waiting for you outside the martial arts hall. It seems like he has a task for you. Yes, Lin Dong was startled for a short while before he smiled and nodded his head. Without saying anything else, he bowed and saluted to Gu Mo before swaggering out. Walking out of the martial arts hall, Lin Dong was not surprised to see Wu Dao, with his hands behind his back. During this one month, Lin Dong had rarely met up with him. Thinking about it, it seemed like there are quite a few internal matters within the sect. Being the vice head of the desolate hall, it was natural that Wu Dao would be much busier than someone like him, who was merely concerned with training. You sure know how to network. It hasn't been a few months, yet you actually managed to win over senior brother Gu Mo. At this present moment, even I can't disturb you during your training. When Wu Dao saw Lin Dong walked out of the hall, he involuntarily chuckled before he chided him. Hearing this, Lin Dong smiled. Never would he have imagined that senior uncle Gu Mo was actually so suave. 
He actually forced Wu Dao to wait outside the martial arts hall. What is going on? Senior Uncle Wu Dao asked Lin Dong while he blinked and grinned. Yes, this time you will have to make a trip out of the sect. There are missions that the higher-ups want you disciples to complete. You can treat it as a training trip. Since you are new, you won't be assigned with major responsibilities. After all, there will be other Hall disciples. Just learn to adapt to it, said Wu Dao with a smile. Going out of the sect, Lin Dong gawked for a moment before nodding his head. He knew that for these super sects, there is a high possibility that they would assign missions for their disciples in order to train them. From the looks of it now, it seems like he would be taking part in one now. Follow me. I take you to meet your buddies who would be traveling together with you. Said Wu Dao, who shot a smile towards Lin Dong, before proceeding to turn around and walk off. Lin Dong looked at Wu Dao's back in doubt. The smile present on that old fellow's face was slightly odd and strange. However, he did not ponder on this issue. With a twist of his body, he quickly chased up to Wu Dao. The two of them dashed past all the groups of mountains within the desolate hall before descending on a gigantic platform towards the north. After descending, Lin Dong took a quick glance around, before his facial expression turned into one of doubt. At this moment, on the platform, a young girl at the prime of her youth, dressed in a white blouse and a green skirt was staring lazily at him. Within those bright and beautiful big eyes, were a peculiar elf-like sadism and a deeply hidden feeling of intrigue. This young lady was precisely the one who called Lin Dong, a shameless braggart, proud and aloof when he first entered Dao sect, Ying Wanhuan. Chapter 671, Heading Out of the Sect. Sunlight shone down from the sky and turned into rays that lit up the lady's alluring and slender body on the platform. She looked extremely dazzling. A head full of dark black hair was tied up into a simple ponytail, which hung softly on her body till her waist. Her ponytail was slightly curled, giving her the feeling of youth and liveliness that was quietly blossoming. This would definitely brighten up the mental state of the surrounding individuals who saw her. Anyone who laid their eyes on this lovely and pure young lady would feel quite joyful. Lin Dong, however, was the only exception. When he saw Ying Wanhuan's beautiful face, he involuntarily rubbed his nose. It turns out that his traveling buddy this time around was actually her. Only now did he finally realize why Wu Dao's smile looked so strange. It seems like that old fellow had known about it all along. Lin Dong's eyes lingered on Ying Wanhuan for a while, before he turned away. Glancing at her side, there were two young men standing arrogantly. The two of them were tall and thin and they looked fairly dashing. One of them was dressed in white, while the other was dressed in black. From a single glance, one could tell that they gave off an imposing aura. When they occasional glanced at Lin Dong, one could easily identify a tinge of arrogance in their looks. Naturally, Lin Dong did not care about this. His desolate hall has been ranked last for the past few years. Therefore, when disciples from the other three halls looked at him, they naturally felt a sense of superiority. Based on the Yuan power fluctuations emitted from their bodies, which did not lose out to Jiang Hao, Lin Dong was able to deduce that they must hold a pretty respectable status in their respective halls. In fact, they may even be senior direct disciples as well. Hence, it was reasonable for them to be slightly arrogant. An old man with a head full of white hair beamed and looked towards Wu Dao and Lin Dong, who were descending on the platform. He smiled and said, Ha ha, the members from Desolate Hall have arrived. Wu Dao smiled and nodded his head. He bowed at the old man before introducing him to Lin Dong, This is Elder Bai Hua. So this little brat is Lin Dong from your Desolate Hall, who has recently become quite a sensation. Entering the hall for less than a month and becoming a senior direct disciple. It seems like he might have broken some records, said the old man with a smile, while he stared at Lin Dong. After the old man spoke, behind him, Ying Wanhuan could not help but shoot a glance at Lin Dong. She naturally knew about this incident as well. Furthermore, when she first heard about it, not only her but even her elder sister Ying Xiaoxiao was slightly startled. Evidently, 
both of them had never expected that Lin Dong could actually become a senior direct disciple in Desolate Hall within such a short period of time. Elder, you've overpraised me. It was all thanks to the generosity of my senior brothers, who let me pass their tests, replied Lin Dong with a faint smile. When he heard Lin Dong's modest reply, the white-haired old man was quite pleased. Stroking his beard, he nodded his head faced Wu Dao and said, not arrogant and not hot-tempered. He is a good seed. Looks like this time your desolate hall got lucky. That is, said Wu Dao, while laughing without a shred of politeness. The behavior Lin Dong displayed during this period had consistently exceeded his expectations. At this rate, if Lin Dong was given time, his future achievements would definitely be quite spectacular. The white-haired old man laughed before turning his attention towards Lin Dong and the other three and said, Wan Huan will be the leader for the mission. As for the specific details, she will update and brief all of you once you guys are on your way. When he heard the old man's words, it caused Lin Dong to gawk for a moment. He could not resist but looked doubtfully at the young lady in front of him, who was wearing a white blouse and a green skirt. She looked exactly like a naive and innocent young girl. Why did the elder choose her to be the leader? A crack appeared at the corner of Lin Dong's mouth. He was a person who had come out of a place like the ancient battlefield. However, he had never expected that they would actually choose a silly little lass to be their leader. Moreover, what really stunned Lin Dong was the reactions of the two males after the white-haired old man spoke. The two of them from Earth and Flood Hall did not have a shred of objection, as if they were completely agreeable with this arrangement. Could it be this little lass is not as simple as she seems? murmured Lin Dong secretly. Yes, do you have a problem with Elder Bai Hua's arrangement? Just as Lin Dong murmured in his heart, a clear and sweet-sounding voice rang beside his ear. Raising his head, the first thing he saw was Ying Wanhuan revealing a smile so sweet it could make bones turn soft. However, within her big beautiful eyes, Lin Dong could identify a cunning fox-like nature. Immediately, he suavely waved his hand and said, I will do whatever Elder has instructed. Lin Dong's swift response caused Ying Wanhuan's crescent-shaped eyebrows to jump slightly. However, she could only swallow the words that were about to leave her mouth. Curling the corner of her mouth, she said, I've led groups out of the sect for over ten times. Thus, I have much more experience than you newbies. In this world, being older does not automatically give you the right to be arrogant. The moment those words came out of her mouth, it caused Wu Dao and Elder Bai Hua to gawk. Promptly, they could only shake their heads helplessly. Even innocent bystanders like them were roped into this conflict. Seems like this lass's mouth is still so sharp. Lin Dong's expression did not change. Although the contrast between Ying Wanhuan's age and her experience left him surprised, that was all to it. Perhaps Lin Dong cannot match up to her in terms of knowledge and experience. However, having slaughtered his way out of the cruel ancient battlefield, Lin Dong possessed the cautiousness and ruthlessness that these super sect disciples did not have. However, when Ying Wanhuan saw Lin Dong's calm expression, she immediately clenched her teeth. This fellow is simply too disrespectful. Let's go. Ying Wanhuan casually shot a glance at Lin Dong. Following which, without hesitation, she extended her semi-transparent jade-like finger. It looked like a perfect piece of artwork and caused one to be unable to tear the gaze away. Dong. Ying Wanhuan's slender jade-like finger waved around casually in the space before her. A clear sound unexpectedly rang out, before it dissipated in the sky. Hiss. Not long after the dissipation of that sound, a clear cry rang out from a huge verdant mountain not far away. The sound came from a large green condor that flew over to the platform while carrying along crazy gusts. Let. Go. We will leave and return quickly. As her alluring body flashed, Ying Wanhuan mounted the green condor. Upon seeing this, the disciples from Earth and Flood Hall quickly followed behind her. Lin Dong hesitated for a moment before saluting to Wu Dao and Bai Hua and leaving. Hua, after the three of them boarded the green condor, Ying Wanhuan gave it a light pat. It began to flap its gigantic wings, 
creating crazy gusts before it took off with a lightning speed. On the platform, Wu Dao looked at the green condor in the horizon, before turning his head around and asked, are they headed towards the Blood Cliff grounds this time? Yes, that place is very chaotic with a mix of good people and scumbags. Is it alright to let four youngsters go? Asked Wu Dao while frowning. Relax, nothing will happen to them. Our Dao sect has a Yuan mine at that area. According to the reports, there is some strange activity occurring there. I believe that it should be some demonic beasts wreaking havoc. The four of them are all top individuals from their respective halls. Therefore, I believe that they should be able to settle this issue, replied Bai Hua with a smile. After hearing his reply, Wu Dao did not speak further. However, within his heart, uncertainty unknowingly started to bubble up. Above the horizon, the green condor's flapping wings create crazy gusts as it flew through the sky. The speed they were traveling at was as quick as lightning. Lin Dong sat cross-legged on the back of the green condor. This condor was obviously not a normal creature. It was emitting energy from its body, which completely blocked the crazy gusts that it generated. Therefore, they were able to sit peacefully on its back. Ying Wanhuan was seated at the front of the green condor. The two disciples from Earth and Flood Hall were quite familiar with her and sat slightly behind her. From their conversation, Lin Dong could sense that the two of them fancied her. This was no surprise to Lin Dong, as Ying Wanhuan is not only exceptionally talented, but she was adorable, cute and lovely as well. Furthermore, she gave off a pure and innocent vitality that could infect anyone. In fact, even Lin Dong found it hard to resist. As such, it was not surprising that the two of them would fancy her. Lin Dong gradually withdrew his gaze from Ying Wanhuan and the two of them. Looking towards the sea of trees that were rapid retreating, he could not help but think of Little Martin and Little Flame. I wonder how they are right now. Lin Dong pursed his lips. Little Martin and Little Flame had been gone for over a month. However, Lin Dong had yet to receive any updates from the both of them. Although he knew that they would not face any major issues due to Little Martin's abilities, it was inevitable that he still felt a little worried in his heart. After being accustomed, and relying on their presence during numerous struggles and fights, Lin Dong was somewhat unable to adapt with their sudden separation. Hey, just as Lin Dong was slightly absent-minded, a melodious voice rang out from the front. He raised his head while staring blankly in front for a while before the surrounding scenery retreated rapidly around him. The young lady in a white blouse and a green skirt tilted her head and stared at him. Her pitch black ponytail brushed across the nape of her neck. Coupled with her bright and beautiful big eyes, which were akin to a lack, she looked exceptionally beautiful. What? After being slightly absent-minded due to such a soul-stirring scene, Lin Dong regained his consciousness and asked. You are quite antisocial. Everyone here is your senior. Your actions would cause others to assume that you are proud and aloof. Our Dao sect disciples do not behave in this manner during missions. Replied Ying Wanhuan. The tone of her voice coupled with her young lady-like appearance was quite comical. Lin Dong felt quite helpless. Isn't it clear you guys were deliberately ignoring me? Why am I being criticized for being proud and aloof now? We can be considered as comrades for this mission. Since you are a newbie, we will take good care of you. Don't be nervous and just treat it as a training exercise. Since you left with all four limbs attached to your body, I will make sure that you will return without any pieces of meat missing, replied Ying Wanhuan with a grin. Lin Dong rubbed his nose and could not resist but laugh. He had a slightly favorable impression of the young lady in front of him. Although she was somewhat weird and bizarre, she was definitely not a bad person. Ha ha, junior brother Lin Dong, please relax. We will handle anything that happens. Just use this trip to gain some experience, said the two males from Earth and Flood Hall, standing beside Ying Wanhuan while laughing merrily. However, there was a sensation of pride within their laughter. Lin Dong gave a faint smile without showing his approval or disapproval. I've heard that you have successfully learned the desolate demon eye of the desolate hall, asked Ying Wanhuan suddenly as she stared at Lin Dong. After she asked this question, 
the pupils of the two males expanded for a while. Evidently, they had heard of the desolate demon eye. I got lucky and was barely able to master it. Lin Dong hesitated for a moment before he nodded his head and replied. Oh, Ying Wanhuan gave a slight nod, before a slight tinge fleeted across her beautiful pupils. She could clearly remember the shocked expression on her elder sister's face when she heard the news. Ying Wanhuan did a lazy stretch, exposing her soft waist which showcased her alluring curve. After casually shooting a glance at Lin Dong, she said, I really couldn't tell that you are quite talented. I will now withdraw my initial appraisal that you are arrogant, said Ying Wanhuan. After hearing her words, Lin Dong instantly did not know whether to cry or to laugh. Although Ying Wanhuan had taken back her words of him being arrogant, that still meant that her appraisal of him being extremely boastful was still stuck to him. As for the other one, we will talk about it after you have comprehended the Great Desolation Scripture. As if she knew what Lin Dong was thinking of, Ying Wanhuan's soft and gentle voice was transmitted over once again. Looking at the charming cheeks of the young lady, Lin Dong gave a smile and replied, If my memory serves me right, I recalled you saying that if I understood the Great Desolation Scripture, you will fulfill one of my requests, right? Ying Wanhuan gawked for a moment before a crimson shade appeared on her cheeks. She proceeded to bite her lip and maliciously shot a look at Lin Dong before twisting her body away. I am only afraid that you don't have the ability to fulfill this criterion. Staring at the form of the young lady, who was slightly outraged, Lin Dong gave a faint smile. It seems like this mission would not be so boring as he had thought. Chapter 672, Blood Rock Grounds. The place where we will be going is called the Blood Rock Grounds. It is going to be approximately a five days trip from Dao sect. Since that area is located at the intersection between the borders of a few super sects, it has turned into a fairly chaotic region. Even some of the most fearsome wanted individuals frequent that place. The green condor flew across the azure blue sky. Ying Wanhuan, who was on it, was currently briefing Lin Dong and the rest about the mission. The sect's wanted list. Lin Dong was slightly startled. He had also gained some knowledge about the eastern Xuan region during this period of time in Desolate Hall. The sect's wanted list was issued together by some super sects. Those who appeared on this list were all powerful experts with shocking abilities. Back then, Senior Zhou Tong was also on this list. Moreover, he was placed at the top of the list. Of course, this was issued by the Yuan Gate and it was eventually removed due to objection from our Dao sect. Lin Dong was stunned. Promptly, he didn't know whether to laugh or cry. This senior Zhou Tong really caused trouble wherever he went. After arriving at Dao sect, many of the things that Lin Dong heard about this person were related to his numerous great achievements. However, from this, Lin Dong was able to deduce the quality of this so-called sect's wanted list. If one was not truly skilled, it would be really difficult to end up alive after offending some super sects. Therefore, it is best to avoid causing any problems when we reach the Blood Rock Grounds. Although we are disciples of Dao sect, the prestige of a super sect is diminished in a chaotic place like the Blood Rock Grounds, Ying Wanhuan looked at Lin Dong with her large eyes and warned. Lin Dong curled his lips helplessly. Being lectured by this girl, who was around the same age as him, really felt a little strange. Our Dao sect has a Nirvana crystal mine there. This time around, there are some disturbances there that have interfered with the mining process. Our mission is to observe the area. It is likely some demonic beasts causing the problem. This mission is not difficult and if things go smoothly, we will be able to return in half a month's time. Ying Wanhuan said. Lin Dong nodded slightly. He knew a little about Nirvana crystal mines and they were similar to Nirvana pills. Within those crystals were pure natural Yuan power mixed with Nirvana Ki. Furthermore, these crystal mines were an extremely important resource to the various super sects. That was because the pill rivers within the sect would have to be replenished with a large amount of Nirvana crystals every year. Otherwise, the pill river would wound up being gradually exhausted. Ha ha, with senior sister Wanhuan in charge, it is likely that there will not be much problems during this mission. 
We'll just treat it as coming out to take a tour. Although the Blood Rock Grounds is chaotic, the auction house there is quite developed and we can see various interesting items. At that time, we might even be able to go and take a look. The white-clothed man beside Ying Wanhuan also opened his mouth and laughed. After chatting along the way, Lin Dong also gained some understanding of the two other men. The white-clothed man was called Jiang Kun. He was a senior direct disciple in Earth Hall and he was also at Seven Yuan Nirvana stage. The black-clothed man was called Yuan Ling and he was also a senior direct disciple of the Flood Hall and was as powerful as Jiang Kun. Judging from the surface alone, amongst the four of them, the strongest one should be Ying Wanhuan. The Yuan power fluctuation around her body was stronger than the Jiang Kun duo. It was likely that she had reached the peak of Seven Yuan Nirvana stage. Moreover, for some unknown reason, Lin Dong was unable to sense any extraordinary fluctuation around her. One could tell that the young lady in front of him was definitely not as simple as she appeared on the surface. Lin Dong smiled and his heart also relaxed a little. In any case, he had yet to come out after having reached the eastern Xuan region. This time around, he could take it as a chance to explore the outside world. The Blood Rock Grounds was quite a great distance from the Tao sect. Even though the Green Condor flew at a rapid rate, the journey still took around five days. Lin Dong, who was seated on the Green Condor, suddenly sensed something when the morning of the sixth day arrived. He raised his head and looked into the distance. He could see that the originally lush green forest, a great distance in front, had suddenly come to a halt. A somewhat bright red color spread apart from the area that he could see. That color was just like the earth was being invaded by fresh blood. A faint yet fearsome evil scent arose from the land. When approaching this region, Lin Dong could sense that the aura around the place had become much messier. These auras mostly contained a degree of ferocity. Some were hidden in the darkness, while others were ferociously sweeping their dark and cold eyes over the green condor that was flying across the sky. This is an unfriendly place. Lin Dong knitted his brows slightly when this thought appeared within his heart. It seemed like it was just as Ying Wanhuan had said, this was quite a chaotic area. We have arrived at the Blood Rock Grounds. At the head of the condor, Ying Wanhuan stretched her lazy waist. She immediately spoke with a smile. Let's head to the mine first. There are disciples of our Tao sect situated there. The Jiang Kun duo would naturally not oppose her instructions. Moreover, Lin Dong was unfamiliar with the area since it was his first time here. Therefore, most of the decisions were made by Ying Wanhuan. Seated on the green condor, Ying Wanhuan waved her hand gently before the green condor immediately flapped its large wings changed its direction and upped its speed. This leg of the trip merely lasted for half an hour. After which, Lin Dong saw a bright red mountain appearing in his sight. In fact, it was even possible to see some buildings and well-spaced human figures within that mountain range. Ying Wanhuan appeared to be quite familiar with this place. Her eyes merely drifted downwards before she directed the green condor to reduce its speed and finally encircled above a mountaintop before slowly descending. Their landing spot was coincidentally a stone square. Soon after the green condor landed, some rushing wind sound were emitted from a short distance away. After which, over a dozen figures rushed over. From the badge in front of their chest, they were all clearly disciples of the Tao sect. The originally cautious expression on their faces quickly disappeared upon seeing Ying Wanhuan. Taking its place, was a respectful expression instead. Wanhuan, in front of them was a lady, who had a somewhat small and delicate figure. Although she was not as beautiful as Ying Wanhuan, she possessed a gentle demeanor. Her face contained some joy when she saw Ying Wanhuan. Her mannerism clearly indicated that she was somewhat familiar with the latter. He he. Elder Sister Fang. Ying Wanhuan also grinned and stepped forward when she saw that lady. Elder Sister Fang, with regards to the disciples who are following me for this mission, all of you should be familiar with Jiang Kun and Yuan Ling. The last guy is a new disciple from Desolate Hall, Lin Dong. Ying Wanhuan chatted a little with the one called Elder Sister Fang, before pointing her delicate finger towards Lin Dong. 
a new disciple from Desolate Hall, that elder sister Fang was clearly startled upon hearing this. Her eyes looked over Lin Dong and spoke uncertainly, 5 Yuan Nirvana Stage. The Blood Rock Grounds is quite a chaotic place. As such, the Dao sect would typically dispatch powerful disciples to this area and it was very rare to see someone like Lin Dong. Of course, she was not the only one who felt this way. Even the other Dao sect's disciples following her were staring at Lin Dong with surprise in their eyes. Clearly, they did not understand why such a weak new disciple would be dispatched here this time around. You should not underestimate this fellow. He has only joined the Desolate Hall for less than a month, but he has already become a senior direct disciple of Desolate Hall. Even Jiang Hao is unable to do anything to him. Ying Wanhuan was also clearly aware of the thoughts in the hearts of elder sister Fang. She immediately spoke softly behind the latter's ear. Oh, the expression of this lady changed a little. Being promoted to senior direct disciple within less than a month. This speed was truly a little frightening. It seems like Lin Dong should be quite capable. This is senior Yuan Fang and she is also a senior direct disciple of Sky Hall. These minds are all managed by her. Ying Wanhuan smiled at Lin Dong and introduced. Greetings to senior Yuan Fang. Lin Dong cupped his hands together towards that lady. Although he did not need to address her as a senior given his status as a senior direct disciple of the Desolate Hall, Lin Dong clearly did not feel that this would cause him to lose face. Junior brother Lin Dong is too courteous. Lin Dong's manner of address also caused that lady's expression to soften. Clearly, Lin Dong's respectful greeting caused her to experience some favorable feelings towards him. Elder sister Fang, bring us to take a look at the problem that has appeared this time around. If it is those irritating demonic beasts again, don't blame this little grandaunt for being ruthless. Ying Wanhuan grabbed violently with her hand. Her action, along with her lovely appearance, caused everyone to laugh involuntarily. Yuan Fang also laughed. She dotingly patted Ying Wanhuan's little head. Immediately, her eyes became a little grave as she said, the problem this time around is a little strange. I shall bring all of you to go and take a look first. Yuan Fang directly turned around and rushed out as she spoke. Ying Wanhuan, Lin Dong and the rest also followed her immediately. After Lin Dong's group disappeared, a pair of eyes containing a dark chilling glint, gradually disappeared within the darkness at the top of a distant mountain. Chapter 673, A Mortal Yuan Ancient Tree. Our mineral vein is the largest one within the blood rock grounds, and there are about a hundred disciples stationed here. Of course, such a number isn't large for a place like the blood rock grounds. Fortunately, given our Dao sect's reputation, there are seldom any individuals or factions that would dare to target us. Over a dozen figures flew over the bright red mineral veins. At their front, Yuan Fang introduced these mines, which were owned by the Dao sect, to Lin Dong's group along the way. Lin Dong's eyes continuously scanned his surroundings while he was in the air. The security of this place could be considered quite tight. Occasionally, individuals would flash past in the air as they vigilantly surveyed the activity around the veins. The size of this Nirvana crystal mine far exceeded Lin Dong's expectations. Back then, he had once discovered a Yang Yuan stone mine at Qingyang Town. However, that place could hardly hold a candle when compared with this place. Under Yuan Fang's lead, the entire group gradually entered the deeper parts of the mine. Compared to the outside, the color here was growing increasingly crimson red. The entire land appeared to be about to ignite giving it an extremely mysterious appearance. Yuan Fang's body rushed out before suddenly landing on a protruding rock peak. She looked towards the front, while Ying Wanhuan, Lin Dong and the rest also swiftly descended and gazed into the distance. In front of the stone peak, was a bright red forest. Large trees towered within the forest, and as wind blew on the fiery red leaves, they immediately rustled and danced, appearing just like a sea of fire. Lin Dong's eyes swept over that bright red forest, and his eyes quickly focused slightly. With his mental energy, he could sense dozens of auras within the forest. These auras were filled with violence and ferociousness. Moreover, all of them were extremely powerful. 
it was likely that they would not lose to a 5 yuan nirvana stage expert. Demonic beasts. Lin Dong glanced at Fang Yuan and asked. Fire crystal demon ape. A demonic beast found in the blood rock grounds. They are extremely troublesome to deal with and always appear in groups. Moreover, each and every one of them is extremely powerful. There are at least 40 of them inside. If we engaged them in battle, even if we manage to chase them away in the end, it is likely that the disciples here will suffer serious injuries and even die. Yuan Fang spoke in a solemn voice. So many fire crystal demon apes. Beside her, Jiang Kun and Yuan Ling were startled. Although they were experts who had advanced to the seven Yuan Nirvana stage, such a number would be rather troublesome to deal with. Elder Sister Fang, no fire crystal demon apes have appeared around this place in the past, no. Why have so many of them suddenly appeared now? Ying Wanhuan frowned slightly and asked. I am too sure either. Moreover, these fire crystal demon apes will occasionally appear and disturb our mining operations. This has left us with no choice, but to relay this information back to the main sect. Yuan Fang shook her head and said, there should be something that they are interested in within this forest. Lin Dong suddenly spoke. He watched as eyes turned towards him as he continued. Demonic beasts are extremely sensitive towards natural energy. Hence, they usually do not gather without reason. They definitely have some motive for gathering together. We have explored this forest in the past, but we did not discover any natural treasures. Yuan Fang knitted her brows and said, just because it was not there before does not mean that it doesn't exist now. Lin Dong spread out his hands and said, We will probably have to enter the forest in order to find out why they have gathered. Lin Dong's eyes overlooked the fiery red forest as he spoke. For some unknown reason, he could sense that the natural energy at that place appeared to possess an extremely faint yet chaotic aura. Enter, those fire crystal demon apes are not easy to deal with. Yuan Fang said. Jiang Kun and the rest also nodded. It would not be easy to charge past such a large number of fire crystal demon apes. Moreover, no one knew exactly what was inside the forest. Lin Dong frowned a little. It was possible to forcefully charge in. However, it was likely that only the four of them possessed the qualifications to do so amongst this group. Leave it to me. Why should we clash head on with those foolish fellows? Ying Wanhuan gently moved her feet and laughed softly while Lin Dong was in deep thought. Lin Dong was slightly startled as he stared at her large black eyes. However, he did not say anything else. He would not underestimate her because of her age. Since she was able to become a senior direct disciple of the Sky Hall, it was likely that not even a fool would be convinced if one said that Ying Wanhuan did not possess some ability. Ying Wanhuan's graceful body gently flew forward. She appeared in the sky above the forest and waved her hand as a Yuan power pillar directly shot into the forest. Roar! Yuan power exploded within the forest. Immediately numerous furious roars violently rang out. Rushing wind sounds were heard as dozens of giant fiery red apes appeared on the large trees. Fearsome auras emerged from their bodies as their bright red eyes ferociously stared at Ying Wanhuan. Lin Dong was now able to clearly see what these fire crystal demon apes looked like. They were around a couple of dozen feet in size, and their fiery red bodies looked as if they were covered by a layer of crystal. Wild and violent energies continuously spread from within their bodies. Ying Wanhuan's body hovered in the air. She looked down at the fire crystal demon apes, only to release a lovely laughter. She extended her long hands and gently drew it across the empty space in front of her. Faint green energy gathered after her hand drew past in the air. At a glance, it looked like a couple of green strings. Dong, Ying Wanhuan's hand gently teased the zither on her hand. Immediately, a melodious zither music began to spread under her fingers. Lin Dong's eyes focused on the zither sound that was being transmitted from Ying Wanhuan's fingers. When the zither sound entered his ears, his mind became a little blurry and his heart immediately tensed up. Promptly, he activated his Yuan power and covered both his ears, blocking off the zither sound. Sound wave attack. A surprised expression flashed across Lin Dong's eyes. 
he had clearly not expected that Ying Wanhuan would actually be able to use the zither sound as an offensive weapon. This sound wave attack would truly catch some individuals off guard. Bang bang. While Lin Dong was in awe, the fire crystal demon apes above the forest actually shut their ferocious eyes at this moment. After which, all of them fell down one after another, smashing into the ground and making it shake. From the looks of it, all of them had been put to sleep by Ying Wanhuan. Done. It's over. Ying Wanhuan curled her lips slightly when she saw this. Only then did she dismiss the zither strings in front of her. She turned around and looked a stunned Lin Dong as pride immediately swelled in her heart. This is nothing. It's your fault for always acting so unfazed in front of me. Powerful. Lin Dong could not help but nod as he secretly upped his assessment of Ying Wanhuan. This was the first time he had seen someone able to combine Yuan power and zither sound. It was likely that even he would find Ying Wanhuan's attack extremely troublesome to deal with. Let's go. We'll enter the forest to take a look and see what has attracted those fellows. Ying Wanhuan waved her hand in a big sister-like style. After which, she took the lead and directly rushed into the fiery red forest, while Lin Dong's group quickly followed. The entire group directly charged into the forest. Due to the absence of the fire crystal demon apes, they were able to smoothly enter the forest region. Clatter. Lin Dong's figure landed on a tree branch as he frowned once again. Ever since he entered this forest, he had begun to feel disorder in the natural Yuan power. The source of the chaos appeared to be somewhere to their front. Lin Dong raised his head as he heard Ying Wanhuan exclaim in shock. His heart immediately leaped and his body rushed forward. Within a couple of flashes, he appeared beside her. At this moment, Ying Wanhuan's eyes were wide, her pretty face covered with a rich shock as she looked forward. The area before them was a bright red land. However, the land had already been torn apart. A black tree broke through the ground. Branches covered the black tree as it flickered and emitted an icy cold steel-like luster. It was possible to spot some seemingly naturally formed ancient symbols on that tree, while an extraordinary ripple was being quietly scattered. Moreover, the thing that truly drew one's attention were the five bright red burning flame-like fruits hanging on the tree. These fruits were shaky, appearing as though they were about to fall. This is. Lin Dong's pupils shrunk a little. Although he did not recognize it, he could tell that it must be an extraordinary object based on the aura it gave off. A Morton Yuan ancient tree. Ying Wanhuan gently covered her mouth with her hand. Rich shock filled her face. This thing. Why would it appear here? The Jiang Kun duo were also flabbergasted as they muttered. The forest was completely silent. Everyone was drawn in by the black tree that seemed OT have broken out from the ground. Ying Wanhuan stared at the black tree with incomparable joy. Soon after, she could not resist and tried to head over. However, just as she had taken a step forward, the expression on Lin Dong's face suddenly changed drastically. He grabbed her smooth wrist and pulled her back. Bang! The land where Lin Dong and Ying Wanhuan stood suddenly blasted apart just as the former grabbed the latter and pulled her back. A large fiery red hand had burst out from the ground, after which, a titanic fiery red figure rushed out from the ground and landed beside the black tree. Lin Dong brought Ying Wanhuan as they landed on a large tree. His eyes looked towards flying dirt where a titanic dark red ape stood in a fearsome manner. A monstrous and fearsome evil aura swept forth like a storm. Fire Crystal Ape King Ying Wanhuan's expression changed slightly when she saw this huge fellow, whose color and luster was completely different from those from before. Chapter 674 Ape King a dust storm spread within the forest. At this moment, the gazes of Lin Dong's group penetrated through the dust and focused on the enormous being a short distance in front. The enormous figure looked similar to the previous fire crystal demon apes. However, it was even larger and the color of its body was also deeper. Looking from a distance away, the figure appeared to be wearing a thick fiery red crystal armor. Moreover, its savage red eyes actually had a human-like cunningness and ferocity surging within it. At a glance, one could tell that it was quite intelligent. A fire crystal ape king huh? 
Lin Dong's eyes also hardened because of Ying Wanhuan's soft exclamation. He could sense an extremely wild and violent energy fluctuation from its body. It was likely that its strength far exceeded those ordinary fire crystal demon apes. It is unexpected that even a fire crystal ape king has appeared. This fellow is fairly famous around the blood rock grounds. However, it usually trains deep within the mountains. Unexpectedly, it has actually barged into our place this time around. Yuan Fang's eyes were slightly cold as she looked at the enormous being with a stern aura and coldly said. Wan Huan, are you all right? At this moment, Jiang Kun and Mo Ling rushed over to Lin Dong's side. After which, they looked at Ying Wanhuan and asked. I'm fine. Ying Wanhuan glanced at Lin Dong. She hesitated a little and was just about to thank the latter for his help when she saw that Lin Dong was already waving his hand. After which, the latter stared at the fire crystal ape king a short distance away in an unblinking manner. His attitude caused Ying Wanhuan to involuntarily grit her teeth. All of you get lost now. I am the one who first discovered it. That fire crystal ape king in the forest was fanning his large hand in front of him in a violent manner. Wild wind scattered the dust. Its scarlet eyes stared at Lin Dong's group as it cried out explosively with a mouth filled with an evil aura. After training till this stage, the fire crystal ape king clearly possessed an intellect that was not inferior to a human. If it was not because of its impure bloodline, it would have likely taken on a human form already. What a joke. This mineral vein belongs to our Dao sect. Since when is it your right to claim the items within here? Fire Crystal Ape King, if you know what is good for you, you should take your minions and return to the mountains. Otherwise, once the experts from our Dao sect hurry over, your years of bitter training would likely end up coming to naught. Yuan Fang laughed coldly. Hey, there is nothing I haven't been through all these years. Don't use the Dao sect name to scare me. Just you young fellows alone do not have the qualification to get me to obediently withdraw. Such arrogant words. Fury flashed across Ying Wanhuan's large eyes before she said, Big fellow, you merely have the strength of a seven Yuan Nirvana stage expert. Therefore, you do not have the qualification to act so arrogantly in front of us. Although demonic beasts typically have powerful fighting strength, this fire crystal ape king was merely at 7 Yuan Nirvana stage. However, from his appearance, he clearly possessed a fighting strength that was not inferior to an 8 Yuan Nirvana stage expert. Nonetheless, if they were to include Lin Dong, who possessed a fighting strength that far exceeded his appearance, their side would possess 4 7 Yuan Nirvana stage experts. It was likely that the Fire Crystal Ape King would not gain much advantage if the four of them were to join forces. Lin Dong, we must obtain that immortal Yuan ancient tree. Ying Wanhuan's eyes looked towards Lin Dong after her words sounded. Her mouth moved slightly and a soft whisper was transmitted into Lin Dong's ears. Is that thing very rare? Lin Dong asked instead. He did not know much about this immortal Yuan ancient tree. Yes. Moreover, it is extremely useful for our sect. This immortal Yuan ancient tree is able to automatically absorb the natural energy and agglomerate them into fruits. Those fruits are extremely beneficial for disciples like us. Lin Dong's glanced at the five bright red fruits hanging on the black tree. He could indeed sense a powerful energy from within them. However, isn't this amount a little too insignificant for a super sect? The immortal Yuan ancient tree that we see in front of our eyes is merely a seedling. We do not know if there are any seeds within. If there is a seed, its value would soar by a hundred times. Seed. Lin Dong's eyes became slightly focused. There is an immortal Yuan ancient tree in Yuan Gate. However, that ancient tree has already matured through their grooming. Currently, it is rumored to be tens of thousands of feet in size. Each time the ancient tree bears fruits, it will produce thousands of immortal Yuan fruits. The immortal Yuan tree is one of the key reasons why Yuan gate disciples are far stronger than that of the other sects. Ying Wanhuan bit her lips with the back of her teeth. Her pretty face turned unusually grave at this moment. Lin Dong's heart skipped a beat. A few thousand fruits together. If that was truly the case, it would be a little too frightening. 
However, in order to groom an immortal Yuan ancient tree till that extent, the amount of hard work and effort required would be terrifying as well. A single person is unlikely to be capable of doing so. If this immortal Yuan ancient tree really has a seed within, it is likely that the upper echelons would be shocked when this news is transmitted back to the sect. Lin Dong muttered to himself. In the next instant, he appeared to have thought of something as his expression suddenly became stern. Since this seed was so valuable, it would likely cause a commotion should news of this spread. Moreover, this blood rock grounds was not a peaceful area. At that time, there would be an unknown number of people targeting this place. In fact, there might even be a few stealthy individuals who might try to secretly steal it. With such a valuable prize in sight, even the deterrence brought by Dao sect's name will be significantly weakened. Based on them disciples alone, it might be very difficult to intimidate those lawless criminals in blood rock grounds. Lin Dong turned his head and coincidentally saw Ying Wanhuan staring at him. Her large black eyes were filled with a solemn expression. Originally, they thought that this was going to be an ordinary mission. Instead, it turned into such a troublesome one. Lin Dong's lips were curled. After which, his eyelid narrowed. Using a soft voice that only a few of them could hear, he softly said, in that case. This ape king, we must not let him escape. Lin Dong's voice was very soft, but the hearts of Ying Wanhuan, Jiang Kun and the rest skipped a beat. From former's words, they could hear an icy cool bone-piercing killing intent that was contained within it. All of them turned silent. They also knew that if the fire crystal ape king escaped and end up spreading news regarding this immortal Yuan ancient tree, it would wound up causing him a great deal of trouble. However, they were still unable to form a heartless killing intent instantly. After all, they did not go through what Lin Dong had experienced. Lin Dong is right. We cannot let him escape. Yuan Fang was clearly a lot more mature compared to Ying Wanhuan and the other two. Her eyes immediately flickered before she nodded solemnly. Ying Wanhuan also clenched her silver teeth after hearing Yuan Fang's words. She decisively said, Jiang Kun, Yuan Ling, the both of you will attack and block him at the front. Lin Dong, you will aid him from the side. Elder sister Fang, arrange for the disciples to lock down this area. Although Ying Wanhuan knew that Lin Dong could match up evenly with Jiang Hao, she did not arrange for him to be at the front line. After all, this fire crystal ape king was much stronger than Jiang Hao. If he was not careful, he might end up being seriously wounded. Lin Dong did not say anything after hearing Ying Wanhuan's arrangement. He merely looked towards Yuan Fang and softly said, Elder Sister Fang, those fire crystal demon apes that have been put to sleep earlier. Do not even let one of them off. Fang Yuan's heart was startled as she looked at Lin Dong's young and calm face. Clearly, she did not expect that Lin Dong's mind was so cautious and ruthless despite this tender age. She involuntarily sighed quietly. It was fortunate that he was a disciple of the Dao sect. Otherwise, it would really cause one to have difficulty sleeping and eating in peace. Junior Lin Dong, it is fine for you to stop the ape king from the side. Leave the rest to us. Jiang Kun flickered his sleeve and laughed with great boldness. Attack! A soft cry was suddenly sounded from Ying Wanhuan's mouth. At the next moment, mighty Yuan power suddenly erupted from Jiang Kun's and Yuan Ling's body. Immediately, their bodies rushed out with a lightning-like speed. A sharp aura quickly covered the fire crystal ape king a short distance away. Just when Jiang Kun and Yuan Ling attacked, Ying Wanhuan leaped and her lovely body landed on a large tree. Immediately, she waved her hands and an emerald-like green zither appeared. After which, a wave that caused Lin Dong to be surprised slowly spread from the zither. Chapter 675, Battling the Ape King. A young lady wearing a green blouse and white pants was seated cross-legged on a large tree. An emerald-like zither was placed gently on her knees. Her snow-white jade-like hands extended before they gently landed on the zither strings. Ding dong. The zither strings moved slightly and the space surrounding Ying Wanhuan appeared to be distorted. At this moment, 
Her clear eyes were focused on the zither in front of her, and she seemed to have entered an extremely focused state. An extremely shocking ripple spread from the zither in front of her. Lin Dong was similarly a little shocked as he stared at Ying Wanhuan, who was emitting a shocking ripple from within her body. Immediately, his eyes fell onto her emerald zither. His eyes shrunk immediately. Soul treasure ha. Based on the fluctuations given off, the zither in Ying Wanhuan's hands should be an extremely powerful soul treasure. Moreover, that fluctuation was even more powerful than his, black dragon sky roaring seal. It was likely that it could be considered to be at the upper tier amongst heavenly soul treasures. It is likely that this girl has quite a significant background. This thought flashed within Lin Dong's heart. Such a high-grade heavenly soul treasure was no ordinary object. If it was sold at an auction house, it would be worth tens of millions of Nirvana pills. Furthermore, most ordinary disciples were unable to fork out such a vast sum. Lin Dong was not aware of Ying Wanhuan's background. All he knew was that her elder sister was the big senior sister in Sky Hall and was the most outstanding younger generation member. From the looks of it now, the background of these two sisters Dao sect was definitely not a simple one. Boom! Jiang Kun and Yuan Ling rushed out while this thought lingered within Lin Dong's heart. Powerful Yuan power erupted and directly covered the fire crystal ape king. You wish to attack. You are seeking death. A ferocious killing intent flashed across the scarlet eyes of the fire crystal ape king when he saw this scene. However, he did not show any signs of pulling back in the face of a combined attack by the Jiang Kun duo. Instead, he took a step forward before monstrous evil aura surged. His large hand, which was covered by fire red crystals, slammed violently towards the Jiang Kun duo while accompanied by an evil wind. Boom! The unusually wild and violent palm wind from the three of them directly clashed in midair in a rampant manner. A loud sound immediately appeared. After which, a shocking energy storm instantly swept apart. That wind directly forced the Jiang Kun duo back by over a dozen steps. In contrast, that fire crystal ape king merely took two steps back before stabilizing his body. The powerful fighting abilities of a demonic beast was completely revealed at this moment. You actually dare to come and mess with this king with such little ability. You really don't know your limits. The fire crystal ape king laughed out loud after forcing back Jiang Kun duo with one punch. His laughter was filled with disdain and ridicule. However, after his loud laughter had just sounded out, a melodious zither sound suddenly appeared. After which, Numerous jade green sonic waves spread rapidly and swiftly engulfed the fire crystal ape king. What nonsense is this? The scarlet eyes of the fire crystal ape king flashed. His punch directly smashed at the jade green sonic wave that spread apart. After which, he heard a cracking sound before the sonic waves were directly shattered by him. How a sele. That fire crystal ape king parted his lips and laughed loudly after seeing that the sonic waves were unable to even withstand one punch. However, his cold laughter had yet to fully form, when he suddenly stiffened. This was because he discovered that those shattered sonic waves did not disappear. Instead, they stuck to his body like maggots in a bone. Finally, they swiftly penetrated his body. After these jade green light penetrated his body, the fire crystal ape king's eyes immediately changed drastically. This was because he sensed that his body was emitting a slight numb sensation wherever the jade green light passed. Even his surging energy became a little sluggish. Little girl, you are seeking death. At this moment, the fire crystal ape king finally became aware of just how powerful these sonic waves were. He immediately roared furiously. His scarlet eyes looked towards the young lady wearing a white blouse and green pants before his large foot stomped on the ground. Immediately, he transformed into a fiery red figure and rushed towards Ying Wanhuan together with a monstrous and fearsome aura. Boom! Ying Wanhuan's eyes paused on the zither. However, she was clearly able to sense the violent wind that had suddenly arrived. Immediately, her delicate fingers swept past her zither strings. Bright jade green sonic waves rushed out from her zither in a lightning-like fashion. After which, 
They actually transformed into monstrous jade green arrows that violently rained down on the fire crystal ape king. Clang clang clang. Jade green arrows rained down on the fire crystal ape king's body. Those glowing arrows were extremely sharp. Even though the fire crystal ape king had extremely powerful defenses, it was still able to feel waves of piercing pain. Moreover, those glowing arrows did not disappear after they struck him. Instead, they transformed into jade green liquid that stuck on his body and continued to invade his body. Roar! That fire crystal ape king clearly become furious because of Ying Wanhuan tactics. The scarlet color within his eyes brightened. Monstrous red light suddenly swept out from within his body and it actually forcefully shattered the green liquid around his body. After which, his enormous palm directly blasted at Ying Wanhuan. Ying Wanhuan lifted her pupils slightly. She looked at the fire crystal ape king's fist, which was being violently thrown over. However, she did not look like she was going to dodge it. An enormous black metal seal suddenly whistled out at this moment. It expanded with the wind while a dragon roar resounded over the place. A black dragon spirit whizzed out from the metal seal before its enormous dragon claws collided violently with the fire crystal ape king's huge fists. Bang! Wild and violent wind swept apart and the surrounding large trees were all directly blasted into powder at this moment. However, the fire crystal ape king's attack was successfully blocked. You damn brat! The fire crystal ape king furiously stared at the enormous metal seal that was suspended in the midair. He could see Lin Dong lowering his head and staring at him with calm eyes. This lady has kindly played some zither music for you. Foolish fellow, you truly lack class. Lin Dong teasingly said. Grieg. Ying Wanhuan involuntarily laughed when she heard Lin Dong's words. This fellow was truly intending to piss off that fire crystal ape king until it turned crazy. I will rip you into pieces. That fire crystal ape king indeed became quite furious because of Lin Dong's words. Murderous intent surged within his scarlet eyes. However, he was just about to attack when two unusually strong wind rushed over from behind. They were the Jiang Kun duo, who had tailed behind closely. That fire crystal ape king clearly did not dare to slight the Jiang Kun duo. Moreover, he was currently being disrupted by the zither sound and his fighting strength had declined. Immediately, he could only forcefully turn around and engage with the Jiang Kun duo again. Lin Dong looked at the unusually fierce and violent battle from high above. He waved his hand before the enormous black dragon that lingered around his body rushed forth. After which, it wrapped Ying Wanhuan within it. He could tell that the latter's zither sound seemed to possess the ability to suppress the fire crystal ape king's strength. With the help of the zither sound, it would be much easier to deal with the ape king. Hence, Ying Wanhuan's zither sound was quite important in this battle and it was necessary to protect her well. Ying Wanhuan's eyes glanced at Lin Dong when the dragon spirit whizzed over. Immediately, the speed at which she played the zither stealthily increased. Numerous jade green sonic waves spread apart in the mid-air and continuously entangled the fire crystal ape king, who was fighting intensely with the Jiang Kun duo. While the Jiang Kun duo was engaging in an intense battle with the ape king, Yuan Fang also lead some disciples and swiftly withdrew. After which, those fire crystal demon apes that Ying Wanhuan had put to sleep earlier, were all finished off one after another. Boom boom. A fierce and violent battle erupted crazily within the deep parts of the forest. However, with the flow of time, that fire crystal demon ape began to show signs of tiring. This was due to the corrosive effect of Ying Wanhuan's zither sonic waves. Otherwise, just the Jiang Kun duo alone, would likely find it very difficult to fight with the fire crystal ape king. That big fellow is going to tire out soon. Ying Wanhuan's eyes were focused on the battleground. A joyful expression also flashed across her eyes, while her movements involuntarily became a little slower. Do not slow down the zither music. Lin Dong was the closest to Ying Wanhuan. He was also the first to discover the zither music slowing down. His expression immediately changed as he cried out in a deep voice. Ying Wanhuan was a little startled upon hearing Lin Dong's voice. 
She was just about to immediately increase her speed when the fire crystal ape king below roared towards the sky. His loud roar blocked some of the zither music, which had slowed down. Bang! The fire crystal ape king's aura suddenly soared when the zither music was blocked. A punch forcefully pushed back the Jiang Kun duo. Immediately, he stomped on the ground and directly fled towards the sky. Be careful, he is intending to flee. Ying Wanhuan's expression changed as she hurriedly cried out. Promptly, she tried to play her zither in order to stop the fire crystal ape king. Roar roar. However, that fire crystal ape king had wised up this time around. Numerous deafening roars that contained powerful energy wildly spread apart and blocked Ying Wanhuan's zither music. Damn it! Ying Wanhuan immediately clenched her teeth when she saw this. A cold glint flashed across her clear eyes. However, just when she was about to use some technique, Lin Dong, who had observed all of these while standing on the metal seal, suddenly rushed out explosively. Swoosh! Lin Dong's speed was extremely quick. Within a flash, he had already appeared in front of the Fire Crystal Ape King. A 5 Yuan Nirvana stage trash also dares to block this king. You really are seeking death. The Fire Crystal Ape King immediately laughed furiously when he saw Lin Dong appearing in front of him. His enormous fist carried a monstrous wind as he smashed violently towards Lin Dong. Lin Dong, be careful. Ying Wanhuan and the rest below were immediately startled when they saw this scene. They clearly understood just how wild and violent the Fire Crystal Ape King's attack was. Bang! The enormous fist was swiftly magnified within Lin Dong's eyes. His expression was still like an old well without ripples. A grey line was formed between his eyebrows in a lightning-like fashion. After which, it swiftly spread apart. The monstrous, evil and fearsome grey eye once again appeared. Desolate demon eye. Ying Wanhuan and the rest also saw the demonic eye between Lin Dong's eyebrows. After which, their expressions suddenly turned solemn. Chapter 676, Kill. A grey demon eye appeared between Lin Dong's eyebrows as a shocking evil aura unfurled from it. Swoosh. Without skipping a beat, a grey light beam filled with an extremely frightening destructive force suddenly exploded from the demon eye. The light beam distorted space itself as it shot out, causing the fearsome-looking fire crystal ape king's expression to change drastically as a rich sense of danger seeped out from his heart. Roar. A violent roar was suddenly released from the fire crystal ape king's mouth. Resplendent red light poured out from his body, swiftly gathering together to form fiery red crystals which completely wrapped around him. When sunlight shone on these fiery red crystals, they looked as solid as diamonds and gave off a powerful and frightening defensive power. However, that grey light beam did not slow down at all. Instead, it directly penetrated through the empty space. In the next moment, it collided heavily on that fire-red crystal body. Sizzle. A slight hissing sound was continuously emitted the moment the collision occurred. After which, the pair of scarlet eyes under the crystal body suddenly shrunk, before shock gushed into its eyes. That was because it realized that on every spot on its crystal body touched by the gray light beam, numerous crack lines had swiftly formed. Crack crack. The rate at which the crack lines spread was extremely swift. In an instant, it had already spread over its entire crystal body. Break. The gray key within Lin Dong's eyes surged before an icy bone chilling word was softly emitted from his mouth. Boom. After he spoke, that fire-red crystal body was completely blasted apart. Crystal fragments permeated the air. That grey light beam flashed past in a straight line. Finally, it penetrated the head of the fire crystal ape king in a lightning-like manner to its bewilderment. The grey light directly penetrated the head of the fire crystal ape king. A trace of blood was left behind. Finally, the light shot into the distance and disappeared. A bloody hole appeared on the forehead of the Fire Crystal Ape King. However, that Fire Crystal Ape King did not die immediately after suffering such a severe wound. Instead, its expression suddenly became extremely hideous and ferocious. Its body staggered back by over a dozen over steps while the aura around its body quickly weakened. It is actually still alive. 
Ying Wanhuan and the others were shocked when they saw that the fire crystal ape king was still alive. This demonic beast was truly hardy. Bang! Lin Dong's expression was calm as he observed the fire crystal ape king, whose face was covered with blood. He clenched his fist before his black metal seal whizzed over. It soared with the wind, appearing like a metal mountain as it carried a frightening strength and violently smashed onto the fire crystal ape king's body. Bang! A loud sound appeared in the sky. The fire crystal ape king's enormous body was immediately smashed by the large metal seal until it collapsed. Finally, it slammed heavily onto the ground. That great force shook the entire land. The land collapsed. That black metal seal was just like a mountain and it squashed the fire crystal ape king. Numerous large crack lines ended up being created on the surrounding land. In the sky, Lin Dong looked at the fire crystal ape king, which was squashed by his black metal seal. A cold tinge flashed across his eyes, before both of his hands directly moved with a lightning-like speed. Finally, they transformed into two icy cold and ferocious green dragon arms. Swoosh! Lin Dong's body emitted a swoosh sound before he appeared on the black seal. After clenching both of his fists, he violently slammed his fists on the black metal seal. Clang clang clang. A clear metallic sound containing an incomparably wild and violent strength sounded out from the metal seal. Standing beside him, Ying Wanhuan was a little stunned when she saw that the black mountain-like seal was actually directly smashed into the ground by Lin Dong. What a violent fellow. Jiang Kun swallowed a mouthful of saliva while his entire body turned cold. Lin Dong did not attack previously, but who would have thought that he had merely chosen not to? When he attacked, however, he was actually this vicious. After his attack, it was likely that the Fire Crystal Ape King would definitely die regardless of how great its life force was. Lin Dong gradually ceased swinging his large hands, while Ying Wanhuan and the rest stared at him as if he was a monster. His body shook and the green dragon arm swiftly disappeared. After which, he looked at everyone and rubbed his numb fists as though nothing had happened before he said, If you want to finish off a demonic beast, you should prevent it from having the opportunity to go all out. Otherwise, we will not be able to stop it if it wants to flee. There was still fresh blood continuously seeping out from under the metal seal at this moment. Lin Dong stood on top of the metal seal. His youthful face, which was of the same age as the rest, caused Jiang Kun and the rest to feel a chill within their hearts. They understood that if it were them, they would definitely not have such resolution. That fellow should be dead right? Yuan Ling laughed dryly and asked. Lin Dong smiled. He waved his hand and the black metal seal flew away. Finally, it transformed into a black light and rushed into Lin Dong's palm. Following the disappearance of the metal seal, a rich bloody scent immediately spread over the place. Ying Wanhuan sniffed this smell and her small face became a little pale. She clearly did not have the courage to walk over and take a look at the bloody mess below. She immediately waved her hand before the soil on the ground moved and filled up the enormous pit. After burying the bloodied body, Ying Wanhuan finally hugged her emerald zither and drifted down from a tall tree. She flipped her palm and kept her zither. Desolate demon eye is very powerful indeed. You must be quite abnormal to be able to successfully learn it. Ying Wanhuan glanced at Lin Dong. If it was not because Lin Dong had used the desolate demon eye and seriously wounded the fire crystal ape king, his subsequent vicious attacks would definitely not be of no use. Jiang Kun and Yuan Ling by the side also glance at Lin Dong with some fear in their eyes. In fact, their eyes no longer possessed even a trace of pride from before. Upon witnessing Lin Dong's true strength and his vicious methods, they no longer dared to treat him like a newbie. Lin Dong smiled. Desolate demon eye would greatly erode one's eyes each time it was used. By paying such a price, how could the strength obtained be weak? Of course, this erosion clearly did not pose any threat to Lin Dong, who had the mysterious stone talisman guarding his body. Swoosh swoosh. While Lin Dong and the others were chatting, a hurried rushing wind sound was being transmitted from the forest. Promptly, they saw Yuan Fang lead over a dozen disciples and swiftly rush over. 
Her tensed expression relaxed a little after seeing that Lin Dong's group was well. Where is the fire crystal ape king? Yuan Fang landed on the ground, swept her eyes around and asked in a stunned manner. Jiang Kun stomped his foot on the ground. Yuan Fang's eyes looked over before seeing the land that had been dyed red by fresh blood and the large pit on the ground. Immediately, her expression changed slightly as she exclaimed, Have you finished it off? He he, it is all thanks to junior brother Lin Dong's desolate demon eye. Yuan Ling laughed. Desolate demon eye. Yuan Fang and some of the disciples beside her had a change in their expressions upon hearing these words. Being disciples of Tao sect, they naturally heard of this mysterious martial arts within Desolate Hall. However, they had not expected that Lin Dong was actually able to successfully master it. If it was not because Senior Jiang Kun and the rest wore down the Fire Crystal Ape King, I would not have the opportunity to attack. Lin Dong smiled and shook his head. He had no intention of taking all the credit. Elder Sister Fang, what about the other demonic apes? Ying Wanhuan looked towards Yuan Fang and inquired. They have all been finished off. Yuan Fang nodded slightly, after which, her eyes were a little complicated as she looked towards the immortal Yuan ancient tree a short distance away. If this news were to spread, it was likely that the entire blood rock grounds would erupt in an uproar. Compared to the seed of an immortal Yuan ancient tree, this entire mine vein was hardly worth mentioning. Everyone began to turn towards the black ancient tree that had broken free from the ground. Their fiery hot eyes were filled with seriousness. Originally, it was just an ordinary mission. However, it was likely going to become extremely complicated because of this. How can we know whether this seedling will have a seed? Lin Dong glanced towards Ying Wanhuan and asked. We'll have to wait till its fruits fall. If it really possesses a seed, the seed will naturally appear. Ying Wanhuan whispered. Based on the energy fluctuations given off by the fruits, they will likely fall in less than five days. Five days ha. Huh? Lin Dong curled his mouth and nodded slightly. Do we need to bring all the disciples over? Yuan Fang asked. That will attract far too much attention. Lin Dong shook his head gently. He spoke in a deep voice. We should look relaxed but stay vigilant secretly. Try not to attract attention. All we need to do is to act normally. If the blood rock grounds was as chaotic as Ying Wanhuan had described, a large-scale operation would only end up attracting the attention of others. Should news of the immortal Yuan ancient tree spread, they would likely end up in a truly dire situation. Yuan Fang nodded. Although Lin Dong lacked the authority, his suggestions were calculated and prudent. As such, they had no reason to object to what he said. In that case, we will wait quietly for five days. Ying Wanhuan's eyes turned towards the immortal Yuan ancient tree while she slowly clenched her fists. For some unknown reason, she felt like this mission would become extremely troublesome. Chapter 677. Activity. This was a fairly dark room. Within the room, a dim flame was dancing. The light from the flame was suppressed by darkness until it became extremely weak. When one's line of sight expanded, it was possible to see a couple of black figures present within the darkness. They seemed to be seated around a circular table. Large black robes covered their bodies while an insidious aura slowly spread from within their bodies. The atmosphere within the room was quite pressurizing. It was a long while later before that seated black figure suddenly extended his sleeve. A pale hand landed on the table and gently tapped on it. The fire crystal ape king is dead. A hoarse voice was suddenly emitted from under the black robes. Yes, even those demon apes were completely finished off and not a single one of them was spared. It was likely done by those Tao sect disciples. Since when did they become so vicious? A black figure within the room moved a little before speaking in a deep voice. Four Tao sect's disciples just arrived two days ago. It is likely related to them. It is likely that the immortal Yuan ancient tree has also been discovered by them. That black figure was quiet for a moment before speaking in a hoarse voice. Chief, should we attack? Based on the strength of the Tao sect disciples at the mineral vein, it will be very easy for us to snatch the immortal Yuan ancient tree. A black figure inquired, if it is an ordinary faction, 
it is fine to attack them at any time. However, this is the Tao sect. If we do not know whether there is a seed within the immortal Yuan ancient tree, there is no need for us to attack. Just a couple of immortal Yuan ancient fruits might be valuable, but it is not worthwhile to anger the Tao sect because of them. The black figure at the leader's seat waved his pale hand and said, We'll wait for a few days. If there is really a seed within the immortal Yuan ancient tree, it will cause quite a commotion. Quietly dispatch some people around the mines and monitor them closely. If there is a seed within the immortal Yuan ancient tree, a person asked softly, If there is a seed, the leading black figure's body leant forward slightly. That black robe was lifted, revealing a pale and shady face. He parted his mouth and smiled before he spoke in a dense manner. Then, those fellows can only blame themselves for being unlucky. Kill anyone who dares to obstruct us. If I obtain the seed of the immortal Yuan ancient tree and hand it to Yuan Gate, all my previous sins will be forgiven. At that time, so what if the Tao sect becomes furious? Don't tell me that they will dare to charge up to Yuan Gate. The couple of black figures trembled as they looked at the bloodthirstiness that climbed onto his face. Immediately, they parted their mouths and laughed in a savage manner. The tree branches spread apart in the midair and blocked the light that scattered downwards, forming traces of light spots that shone on a couple of human figures seated below. A ray of light shone on Lin Dong's face before his gently shut eyes slowly opened up. After which, he looked at the black tree in front of him. At this moment, the five bright red fruits hanging on the tree were becoming increasingly vibrant and they looked just like ripe fruits. Should be soon, Lin Dong softly muttered. A trace of mental energy surged out from his Nguyen palace. After which, it feedbacked any activity within this forest. With his mental energy, he could sense ten powerful auras that were lurking within the forest. They were all Tao sect disciples. Furthermore, there was also quite a number of Tao sect's disciples tightly patrolling the area further away. Sha, Lin Dong's mental energy was swiftly withdrawn. A small pair of boots suddenly appeared on the ground in front of him. He was startled for a moment before raising his head. After which, he saw Ying Wanhuan with her hands behind her. She was staring downwards at him from an angle above. Her bright and beautiful eyes were filled with liveliness. Jiang Kun and Yuan Ling were chatting softly a short distance away. However, their eyes would occasionally drift towards Lin Dong. Of course, most of the time, their eyes lingered on the young lady wearing a white blouse and green pants. One could easily tell that the both of them fancied her. Your mental energy is quite good. The young lady stared at Lin Dong under the observation of those two. Immediately she smiled. She had actually detected Lin Dong's mental energy probing around the place. Lin Dong smiled in a non-committal manner while his heart felt a little surprised by Ying Wanhuan's sharp senses. His mental energy was usually quite well hidden. Unless it was someone who was well versed with mental energy cultivation, else, it would be extremely difficult to sense his mental energy probing. Although I mainly focus on my Yuan power cultivation, my mental energy is also quite decent. Although it is not as strong as yours, I have survived one wind lightning trial. Ying Wanhuan appeared to be aware of Lin Dong's doubts as she laughed immediately. Lin Dong brows involuntarily twitched at this moment. Clearly, he did not expect that this young lady in front of him was actually training in both Yuan power and mental energy at the same time. He immediately came to a sudden realization within his heart. No wonder her zither sound is so mysterious. It seems like it is partly because of mental energy. It is always good to be cautious. Lin Dong softly said. He also understood that Ying Wanhuan was aware of what he was using his mental energy for. Originally, I thought that this is going to be an ordinary mission. I never expected it to become so troublesome. Ying Wanhuan sat down beside Lin Dong. Her eyes stared at the black ancient tree before she immediately laughed. However, I am glad things turned out this way. If we are really able to obtain the immortal ancient tree seed, it will be extremely beneficial for our Tao sect. There will be countless disciples who will benefit from it in the future and our Tao sect will also become stronger. Lin Dong was startled for a moment when he heard these words. 
There was not the slightest greed on the face of this young lady when she spoke. Despite the immense allure of the immortal Yuan ancient tree, the first thing that she thought of was actually their sect. Lin Dong curled his lips slightly and his eyes were somewhat complicated. He had clearly been through a lot more compared to Ying Wanhuan. His experiences during these years caused him to be extremely cautious. Although he currently had an extremely good impression of Dao sect, his first thought when he realized the value of the immortal Yuan ancient tree was honestly not how he could help the Dao sect to obtain it. He might not be much older than Ying Wanhuan, but he was definitely nowhere as innocent as she was. Of course, if Lin Dong still had that mentality after all that he had been through over the years, perhaps he would not have the chance to reach this stage. Lin Dong's mouth was involuntarily lifted into an arc as he looked at the heartfelt joy on the young lady's face. A sect that was able to command the hearts of its members were the truly powerful ones. The competition between the super sects in eastern Xuan region is extremely intense. If the strength of our sect can be increased, our seniors would also gain additional protection when they are outside. Ying Wanhuan fondled her snow-white smooth chin with her hand. Her dark black ponytail fell onto her shoulders. Immediately, she seemed to have thought of something and suddenly rolled her eyes at Lin Dong. You are very talented. If you had joined Sky Hall, your future accomplishments will definitely be spectacular. Thankfully, you did quite well in Desolate Hall. Otherwise, I will really be too lazy to bother with someone like you, who makes decisions randomly based on your own preferences. Lin Dong smiled. However, he did not provide too much explanation on this matter. Finally, he understood that Ying Wanhuan did not purposefully find fault with him during the hall selection stage. Instead, she became furious over what she deemed to be his seemingly irresponsible decision. Currently, it was difficult for him to place the sect as the most important thing in his heart like Ying Wanhuan. However, he understood her perspective as well. Rest assured. If this immortal Yuan ancient tree really has a seed, we will definitely bring it back. Lin Dong softly said. Ying Wanhuan smiled sweetly. Her smile was extremely alluring as she curled her red lips and nodded heavily. Hey, what are the two of you talking about? Jiang Kun and Yuan Ling finally could not help themselves and decided to head over. Though they sounded nonchalant, there was a tinge of jealousy within their voices. This involuntarily caused Lin Dong to gently chuckle. He was just about to speak when his expression suddenly changed. He abruptly lifted his head before he stared at the immortal Yuan ancient tree. The five fruits hanging on it had begun to tremble slightly. The fruits are about to ripen. Immediately, Ying Wanhuan and the others also realized it. A tense yet joyous expression surged on their faces. Lin Dong's eyes focused on the immortal Yuan ancient tree. A shocking energy ripple was being continuously scattered from it. Even the land itself was trembling slightly. Buzz buzz. The five bright red fruits also began to tremble more intensely. In the next instant, they suddenly trembled violently before they actually fell from the tree. Lin Dong waved his hand. A suction force erupted and sucked the five immortal Yuan ancient fruits into his hand. However, he did not have the time to digest them at the moment. Everyone was completely focused on the immortal Yuan ancient tree. After the fruits fell, the energy ripple that was being emitted from the tree did not show any signs of weakening. Rich green light spread from its roots. At the same time, a rich life force appeared to be emitted from within it. A joy immediately surged within the eyes of Ying Wanhuan's group when they saw this scene. Buzz! The immortal Yuan ancient tree trembled. Suddenly, a green light appeared on the tree branch. The shocking life force was emitted from within this green light. A mortal Yuan ancient seed. A wild joyous sound was directly being emitted from Jiang Kun's mouth. Lin Dong's eyes were focused intently on the unusual green light. His eyes suddenly shrunk. The immortal Yuan ancient tree suddenly trembled intensely when his eyes shrunk. A thick green light suddenly spluttered from the top of the tree. Finally, it broke through the forest and shot directly towards the clouds. Lin Dong's expression instantly turned gloomy when he saw this scene. Chapter 678. Bad News. 
The green light pillar broke through the forest and entered the clouds. Like an enormous green light barrier, it descended from the sky. The commotion that it caused could clearly be seen everywhere within a 50-kilometer radius. Lin Dong's expression turned grim when he saw this scene as he deeply breathed in. Looks like it was going to be impossible to quietly bring the immortal Yuan ancient seed back to the Tao sect. By his side, the joy on the faces of Ying Wanhuan and the others also swiftly disappeared at this moment, while panic flashed across their eyes. Swoosh! In the forest, Yuan Fang was also alarmed by this commotion. Brining a dozen disciples with her, she rushed over, only to end up sighing when she saw the expression on everyone's faces. Has this news been transmitted back? Lin Dong swiftly collected himself and asked in a solemn voice. It should have reached them. However, regardless of how fast they are, it is likely that reinforcements can only arrive by tomorrow. Yuan Fang laughed bitterly, pausing for a moment before continuing. Additionally, there is an extremely bad piece of news. Earlier, we discovered the traces of some people around the mines. If I am not wrong, they are likely from the Devil Seal Mass. Devil Seal Mass. The expressions of Ying Wanhuan and the others changed when they heard these words. Who are they? Lin Dong frowned and asked. A faction that is quite infamous within the Blood Rock grounds. Their leader is called Yao Ling and is ranked fourth on the sect's wanted list. He has likely reached the formidable Nine Yuan Nirvana stage. Ying Wanhuan gritted her silver teeth and replied. Nine Yuan Nirvana Stage. Lin Dong's expression changed slightly at this moment. This place was indeed worthy of being the Eastern Xuan region. Just any random criminal they encountered actually possessed such power. Yao Ling was once a deacon of the Yuan Gate. However, he was expelled after committing a major crime. However, he possessed quite an extraordinary background. As such, the enforcement unit of Yuan Gate was lax in chasing after him. All these years, he has been living in blood rock grounds and he is quite infamous. Yuan Fang added, It is unexpected that we have been targeted by them. Jiang Kun spoke with quiet anger. There are three cities within a 50-kilometer radius of our minds. These cities are extremely chaotic and are filled with all sorts of people. With such a huge commotion, it will definitely end up attracting the attention of many. Should news of the immortal Yuan ancient seed spread, then Yuan Fang's face turned unusually grave as she spoke. Harvest the seed. Lin Dong knitted his brows tightly and spoke in a deep voice. Yes. Ying Wanhuan nodded. She did not dare to hesitate as she swiftly stepped forward. Her hand directly penetrated into the light pillar and grabbed the brightest glowing spot within it. After Ying Wanhuan grabbed the glowing spot and withdrew her hand, the enormous light pillar finally gradually disappeared, while Lin Dong also looked over. At this moment, there was a round dark green seed lying quietly in Ying Wanhuan's palm. The surface of the seed appeared to have some naturally formed symbols on it. A shocking life force was continuously being emitted from within. Is this the seed of the immortal Yuan ancient tree? Lin Dong glanced at the black tree. After the seed was extracted, the dark green luster that had originally covered its branches also disappeared. Meanwhile, its life force had also significantly diminished. Its black trunk appeared to be made of metal and its branches were just like icy cold metal branches. An old, hardy and icy cold feeling spread from it. Lin Dong stared at it. His eyes moved slightly as he extended his hand and felt it. When his hand touched the black icy cold tree branch, he suddenly felt the Yuan power circulating within his body turn sluggish. It was as if it had been suppressed by something. His heart immediately became slightly startled. The immortal Yuan ancient tree trunk possessed the mysterious effect of suppressing various types of energy. Only by touching its roots, can one avoid this suppressing effect. However, it is too heavy. Even experts who specialize in physical strength are unable to swing it around as they please. Ying Wanhuan appeared to be aware of what Lin Dong was thinking and explained. Oh, Lin Dong's brows twitched upon hearing this. He took a step forward as his foot stomped violently on the ground. The ground in front of him was directly cracked apart, revealing the black roots that were entangled below the immortal Yuan ancient tree. 
Lin Dong bent his body and extended his hands, grabbing the thickest black root. A bone-chilling icy cold feeling seeped out. It is heavy indeed. Lin Dong tugged the tree roots. However, he was surprised to discover that this immortal Yuan ancient tree did not budge an inch despite his formidable strength. However, the more difficult it was, the stronger Lin Dong's interest grew. Promptly, he clenched both his hands tightly as the veins on his arms started to wiggle. One could vaguely catch sight of some green dragon scales appearing on his arms as a majestic strength quietly erupted. Bang! After Lin Dong unleashed his dragon-like strength, that large immortal Yuan ancient tree, which was dozens of feet in height, was actually directly uprooted by Lin Dong before the stunned gazes of Ying Wanhuan's group. Wu, Lin Dong grabbed the root of the large tree and swung it down violently. The air in front of him immediately exploded. An invisible energy erupted from it, directly causing a wide large crack to be ripped open on the ground in front of him. Such a good item. Lin Dong involuntarily parted his mouth and smiled when he saw how powerful this object was. With a wave of his hand, he stored the immortal Yuan ancient tree in his Chankan bag in an unceremonious manner. After which, he raised his head, only to find Ying Wanhuan staring at him with a strange expression. Even though his skin was thick, Lin Dong's face could not help but reddened a little when he saw this. He coughed dryly and was just about to speak when his expression suddenly changed. Immediately, he raised his head and slowly said, Trouble is coming. Lin Dong's body moved after he spoke. He rushed upwards, breaking through the forest canopy as he appeared in the sky above the forest. He gazed swept around and finally paused on a spot in the distance. Dozens of black figures were quietly hovering there. Numerous shady and cold gazes were locked onto Lin Dong's group from under those black robes. Swoosh swoosh. A fluctuation appeared in the forest below. Ying Wanhuan, Jiang Kun and the rest swiftly rushed out before stopping beside Lin Dong. Their eyes also looked towards the front. Devil seal mass. It is indeed those bastards. When Yuan Fang saw the dozens of black figures, her eyes darkened as she cursed. There are still quite a number of people heading towards to our location. They are likely the experts and factions nearby that have been alerted. Lin Dong's mental energy spread outwards. Immediately, he exhaled a deep breath of air. He could sense some slight rushing wind sounds from the distant sky as some faint auras began to appear one after another. There were some Dao sect disciples occasionally rushing over in the forest below. Their numbers were not few and totaled to a hundred people. However, Lin Dong knew that if news of this immortal Yuan ancient seed was to spread, just these numbers alone would not be enough to deter everyone. Ha ha, Yuan Fang, there are some things that cannot be hidden. Obediently surrender the immortal Yuan ancient seed. Otherwise, blood will flow like a river today. A person in front pulled apart his black robes, revealing a dark and cold middle-aged face. He was smiling strangely as he stared at Yuan Fang and spoke. Su Lei, you actually dare to target something that belongs to our Dao sect. Yuan Fang's eyes were icy cold as she cried out. Hey, as long as we obtain the immortal Yuan ancient seed, our chief can naturally use it to exchange for a great reward from the Yuan gate. What can your Dao sect do then? The middle-aged person called Su Lei laughed sinisterly. That fellow is the second in command of the Devil Seal Mass, Su Lei. People call him Lightning Blade. He is at the 8 Yuan Nirvana stage. Ying Wanhuan whispered beside Lin Dong. There are six core members in the Devil Seal Mass. They are all people on the sect's wanted list. Other than Su Lei, the remaining four all have the strength of the 7 Yuan Nirvana stage. Their chief. He hasn't revealed himself. Lin Dong's eyes swept across the group of black figures before remarking. Yeah, that fellow is extremely cunning. However, with the Devil Seal Mass launching such a huge operation, he is definitely hiding somewhere nearby. Ying Wanhuan said. Lin Dong nodded quietly. He immediately raised his head before his eyes looked towards the distant sky. Numerous black spots were flying over at a rapid pace. Moments later, they finally turned into numerous figures that appeared in the sky. Suspicious eyes looked towards Lin Dong's group. 
When he saw an increasing number of experts rushing over, Lin Dong's heart sank even further. The situation was only deteriorating. Chapter 679, A Troublesome Situation. Swoosh swoosh. The sound of wind splitting continuously resounded over the skies above the mines. Lin Dong's group watched as numerous figures with powerful auras walked through the skies towards them, before finally coming to a stop and hovering in the skies above the mines. Lin Dong's watched the figures that had rushed over from the skies as his expression gradually turned solemn. He could sense a rather formidable and oppressive pressure from their bodies. Evidently, none of them were ordinary individuals. We are in trouble. Yuan Fang's face also gradually turned ugly because of these newcomers. Soon after, she clenched her teeth and softly whispered, Do you know these people? Lin Dong softly inquired. Yuan Fang laughed bitterly and said, Look at the northern area, the one in green is called Xiao Tian. People call him the eroding demon hand. He is fifth on the sect's wanted list and an 8 Yuan Nirvana stage expert. Lin Dong's looked over and sure enough, he caught sight of a person clad in green. He appeared to be around 30 years old, was rather tall and had quite a handsome face. However, an evil aura lingered around him. At this moment, both his hands were placed behind his back, his gaze containing some suspicion as they locked onto Lin Dong's group. That fellow to the south is known as Luo Yi. People call him the Butcher. He is ranked sixth on the sect's wanted list and is also at the 8 Yuan Nirvana stage. Lin Dong's gaze shifted and was slightly taken aback. He saw a white-clothed man that looked extremely scholarly. His face was pale and the so-called Butcher nickname did not suit him at all. However, Lin Dong would naturally not judge a book by its cover. Although the white-clothed man wore a smile on his face, Lin Dong could sense a faint bloody scent from the his body. One could tell that this fellow was quite a vicious character. There are still a few who are quite infamous around the blood rock grounds. Yuan Fang bitterly said, It seemed like it would not be an easy matter to successfully escape today. Lin Dong sighed quietly within his heart. However, he did not panic. He had experienced far too much over the years. What kind of dangers had he not faced before? Although they were in a rather grave situation now, it was not so easy to force Lin Dong into a dead end. While these thoughts swirled in Lin Dong's mind, he suddenly felt something cold on his palm. A round ice-cold object had been pushed into his palm, causing him to be startled. He was just about to speak when a pretty young lady's face appeared in front of him. Lin Dong, you must bring the seed back no matter what. Ying Wanhuan gently bit down with her silver teeth. There was a resolve on her face that did not match her age. Clearly, she could also tell that the current situation was quite dire. Lin Dong knitted his brows slightly but did say anything. He merely flipped his hand and stored the seed into his chankan bag, before he softly said, Don't worry. Things have not reached that stage yet. Even if the situation reaches that point, there is no need for a girl like you to bear that burden. He he, can anyone tell me what just happened? What was the green light from before? Just as Lin Dong's voice faded, the white-clothed person in the distance, whom others called the butcher, Luo Yi, grinned and asked Yuan Fang's group. Yuan Fang's expression changed slightly but she did not reply. Clearly, she did not wish to leak news of the immortal Yuan ancient seed. Hey hey. I've heard it's an immortal ancient Yuan seed. However, Su Lei from the Devil Seal Mass laughed in a strange manner while Yuan Fang remained quiet. He was not worried that the seed would be snatched by others should news of it be leaked. Clearly, he had great confidence in the power of their group. Yu, Yuan Fang expression changed drastically as fury surged within her eyes. Oh, an uproar broke out in the sky when his words sounded out while greed surged in the eyes of many. A person licked his lips and laughed, it is unexpected that there would actually be such a treasure here. Luo Yi was similarly startled due to the so-called immortal Yuan ancient seed. Immediately, an intrigued expression surfaced on his face. He stared at Yuan Fang and said, I have never seen an immortal Yuan ancient seed before. Could Miss Yuan Fang kindly take it out and allow me to broaden my horizons? Yuan Fang's expression turned cold. 
She was just about to speak when Lin Dong stepped out from beside her. He stared at Luo Yi, but he did not say anything unnecessary. Mental energy spread out at lightning speed, quickly scanning everyone's faces. Brat, what are you doing? Luo Yi was startled by Lin Dong's action. Immediately, his eyes turned cold as he cried out. Lin Dong ignored him. He waved his sleeve and his mental energy transformed into numerous light curtains in front of him. On the light curtains were faces drawn with mental energy. They belonged to Luo Yi's and the rest. Swoosh swoosh. Lin Dong's sleeves trembled. Numerous jade stones flew out. Promptly, he imprinted his mental energy with everyone's faces into those jade stones. With a wave of his hand, the hundred over jade stones flew into the hands of the Tao sect's disciples below. Everyone, regardless of what happens today, as long as one person returns to Tao sect and hands the jade stone to the elders, I think that they will know what to do. Lin Dong's low and deep voice spread out in the sky and was transmitted into everyone's ears. The expressions of the mob in the sky changed a little when they heard his words. Their eyes flickered and rapidly alternated between viciousness and hesitation. Lin Dong's tactic was truly vicious. He had directly imprinted the faces of everyone present and used the Tao sect's name as a deterrence. Although the people here were not ordinary individuals, the Tao sect was one of the eight great super sects and one of the overlords of the eastern Xuan region. If the fury of the Tao sect really poured down on them, it was likely that none of them had the ability to resist. What a ruthless fellow. However, aren't you afraid that we will be equally ruthless and butcher all of you? The corner of Luo Yi's eyes twitched a little. He stared directly at Lin Dong before he chuckled coldly. Come and try if you have the ability to do so. Lin Dong took a step forward, his expression immediately turning savage. A shockingly vicious aura spread out from within his body, causing quite a number of these ruthless characters, who had even taken lives before, to feel fearful. Why did this Tao sect disciple seem even more vicious than them? Beside him, Yuan Fang, Ying Wanhuan and the rest glanced at each other. They could clearly see the hesitation on their faces. All of them secretly sighed. It seems like in order to deal with these vicious characters, they had to be even more ruthless than them. Hey, times are really changing. A mere five Yuan Nirvana stage brat actually dares to act so arrogantly in front of me. Could it be that the disciples taught by the Tao sect these days all don't know their limits? A cruel expression flashed across Luo Yi's pale white face at this moment. His tone had also become sinister. A short distance away, Su Lei and the others observed this scene with a cold smile. However, they did not attack immediately. Everyone, all of you here are fairly famous individuals. Don't tell me that you are actually intimidated by this brat. Luo Yi turned his head. He looked to the many figures hovering in the sky as he sneered. Some people frowned when they heard his words. While varying thoughts ran through their minds, Xiao Tian, that green-clothed man nicknamed a roading demon hand slowly stepped forward. The fifth on the sect's wanted list had quite a solid reputation in this place. Hence, quite a number of people turned to look when he walked forward, and even Luo Yi's eyes become a little more serious. Yuan Fang and the rest looked at Xiao Tian with some anxiety. If the latter was to attack them at this moment, the situation would be completely disadvantageous to them. You are Ying Wanhuan right. However, under the crowd's attention, Xiao Tian's gaze paused on Ying Wanhuan before he slowly opened his mouth and asked. Ying Wanhuan gently knitted her brows. There was some doubt in her eyes. Clearly, she did not recognize him. Although I should interfere in today's matter given my character, I still owe your sister Ying Xiaoxiao a favor from back then. Xiao Tian spoke faintly. Yuan Fang's group sighed in relief when they heard his words. However, Luo Yi's and Su Lei's expressions darkened. The immortal Yuan ancient seed might be rare, but the Tao sect is no pushover either. I am unable to handle the weight of such an object. If you guys are interested, go ahead and snatch it. Xiao Qian's indifferent gaze swept over everyone before he suddenly withdrew. His manner clearly indicated that he had no intention to interfere. Ha ha, it is unexpected that even you, Xiao Tian, would be afraid of the super sects. 
Luo Yi coldly mocked. Xiao Qian glanced at him. An icy glint flashed within his eyes, but he did not respond. All right, since you lack the courage, I shall do it. I want to see just what gives this arrogant brat the qualifications to utter such words in front of me. Luo Yi strided forward. His finger pointed towards Lin Dong. Immediately, he curled it as a derisive smile appeared on his face. Brat, if you are able to handle ten attacks from me, I will no longer interfere in this matter. What do you say? Lin Dong stared at Luo Yi. Immediately, a sinisterly cold arc slowly formed on his face. Chapter 680. Fighting the Butcher. In the sky, countless pairs of eyes congealed on Lin Dong's body, while a shady expression appeared on Luo Yi's face. Obviously, the latter had developed a rich killing intent towards him after his previous action. From his point of view, since he was at 8 Yuan Nirvana stage, killing Lin Dong was going to be as simple as flipping his palm. If you want to steal, use your own hands. Don't waste your time doing these stupid things and stop being so wishy-washy. However, while the crowd stared at him, the chilliness on Lin Dong's face grew increasingly richer. He proceeded to stare at Luo Yi and chuckled. Whoa! The moment Lin Dong's words sounded out, an uproar immediately erupted in the entire sky. Quite a few people stared at Lin Dong with a strange expression on their faces. They truly could not imagine how a brat merely at 5 Yuan Nirvana stage, would actually dare to utter such words to Luo Yi, who was at 8 Yuan Nirvana stage. Did he really think that the latter would be intimidated just because he was a disciple of Dao sect? Hey, the disciples of Dao sect are truly getting more and more egotistical. Does that brat know who Luo Yi is? Does he really believe that his reputation of butcher is unwarranted? Since he provoked Luo Yi, this matter would not be settled so easily. Truly an arrogant and foolish brat. One whisper after another containing ridicule and sneer started to spread across the sky, while quite a few people started to point at Lin Dong. Their expressions looked as if they enjoyed taking joy in other people's misfortune. Behind Lin Dong, Ying Wanhuan and the rest looked at each other in dismay after hearing Lin Dong's words. However, they knew a little about Lin Dong's character and understood that the latter was not a hot-headed individual. Since he dared to utter those words, it was likely that he had confidence in himself. However, that fellow is a vicious individual that is ranked sixth on the sect's wanted list. Ha ha! Amidst the uproar that filled the skies, the shady grin already present on Luo Yi's face became even more quiet, gloomy and cold. His eyes stared maliciously at Lin Dong. However, he did not fly into a rage as he chuckled instead. Nonetheless, his laughter truly caused one's hair to stand. Nowadays, it seems like the number of stupid blockheads who do not fear death have increased. Luo Yi smirked as he shot a smile at Lin Dong from the corner of his mouth, and revealed a set of sparkling white teeth. However, from within his pupils, shot forth an exceptionally ruthless luster instead. This friend, if you are still able to say those words later, I will truly admire your courage. A faint voice filled with gentle laughter rang out from Luo Yi's mouth. A gloomy and cold murderous aura that made one's skin crawl started to quietly pervade and spread in the air. Swoosh. However, the moment Luo Yi spoke, a malevolent expression suddenly appeared on his face. Taking a step forward, his figure suddenly disappeared. Lin Dong, be careful. The moment Luo Yi's figure disappeared, Ying Wanhuan, Jiang Kun and the rest realized it as well. There was a faint change in their facial expressions as they quickly warned him. Hovering in mid-air, Lin Dong had already spread out his mental energy. Immediately, his pupils hardened, before he took a half a left step. Qi, a palm filled with scarlet blood key carrying the sharpest palm blade flashed past Lin Dong's shoulder with a lightning-like speed. As the palm wind flashed past, it sliced off a strand of Lin Dong's hair. Snort. After his attack failed, Luo Yi's body appeared in a flash. With a cold laugh, his arm turned into weapon, while his palm turned into a blade. Facing Lin Dong, he sent a slash towards his throat. Ping. While Luo Yi slashed towards Lin Dong's throat, Lin Dong's palm also exploded forth. 
Green-colored scales rapidly covered his palm, before he viciously grabbed Luo Yi's palm. Squeak! Squeak! A sharp and powerful force crazily rushed towards Lin Dong's palm in an attempt to corrode it. However, when it came into contact with that layer of green-colored scales, it exploded instead and created dazzling sparks. Lin Dong's face had also turned icy cold. Promptly, with a thought, vigorous amounts of desolate energy directly flowed through his arm and erupted out of his palm. Following which, they flew rapidly towards Luo Yi's palm and started to corrode it. Chi, under the corrosion from the desolate energy, Luo Yi's bloody palm actually showed some signs of withering. Desolate force, snort, with such little ability, you actually dare to counterattack. Luo Yi's vision congealed for a while before he gave a cold laugh. With a thought, boundless amount of violent Yuan power howled and erupted from his body. Following that, the blood key on his palm welled up crazily and actually directly scattered the desolate energy. With a grasp of his palm, the blood key immediately congealed into a serrated great blade. Grasping the blade, he chopped down viciously at Lin Dong's head with a lighting speed. Luo Yi's move was extremely ruthless. Together with his blood key, it made his attack extremely powerful and imposing. It was obvious that he was experienced in combat. Lin Dong's gaze was frosty and cold. He knew that he was naturally unable to compete with Luo Yi, who was at 8th Yuan Nirvana stage, in terms of Yuan power. Nonetheless, he had no intention of going all out. Flicking his ten fingers, Green light rushed out and transformed into green-colored scales which clashed against that serrated great blade. Ding ding dong dong. Sparks crazily shot out and scattered around. The power of the serrated great blade was extremely forceful and it actually directly split apart Lin Dong's green-colored scales. However, with this slight obstruction, Lin Dong was able to drift away and leave the attack radius of the serrated great blade. A ridiculing voice floated over, How, rat, where did your arrogance go now? After his attack failed, the coldness and ruthlessness on Luo Yi's face turned even more thick and dense. Lin Dong shot a glance at him as the coldness within his eyes suddenly grew stronger and more rigorous. Currently, although the surrounding people were being very subtle, they were all lusting after the ancient immortal Yuan tree seed. However, the presence of Dao sect made him indecisive. If he was defeated by Luo Yi now, perhaps the hesitation within their hearts might subside. Furthermore, there will also be a few who would let the greed within their hearts overwhelm their rationality. That was the scenario that Lin Dong truly did not want to see. For the past few years, he had experienced quite a few harrowing events. Therefore, he was naturally aware that the opponents in front of him were all ruthless people with blood on their hands. So long as he revealed the slightest fear, they would likely become even more cruel and vicious and they will likely rush forth and devour them till not a single bone is left. Therefore, any sign of weakness must not be revealed, even if the fellow in front was ranked sixth on the sect's wanted list. If you want to steal something from me, you will have to leave something behind. Abruptly halting his retreat, an ominous glint appeared within Lin Dong's eyes. He took a deep breath before his hands rapidly weaved seal after seal with lighting speed. Following the fluctuations of the seals, the gray line on his forehead started to pulsate once again before splitting open. The demonic eye brimming with fiendishness slowly appeared once again. Chi, after his desolate demon eye opened up, a gray light beam shot explosively towards Luo Yi. As the gray light beam shot over, Luo Yi's malevolent face turned sluggish for a while before a rich shock filled his eyes. It was obvious that he felt a grave threat from the light beam. Good brat, he has some metal after all. Luo Yi gave a cold laugh before raising his serrated great blade. At this moment, a low roar was transmitted out of his throat, before boundless Yuan power bubbled up and the blade chopped down with fury. Swoosh. A teen feet blood key blade glow that reeked of blood erupted from Luo Yi's great blade, before he viciously hacked the incoming gray light beam. At the moment of impact, wild and violent energy waves erupted outwards crazily. This caused astonishment to appear in the eyes of quite a few people. 
It was obvious that they had never imagined that Lin Dong, who was at 5 Yuan Nirvana stage, could actually unleash such a formidable attack. Did he block it? Lin Dong looked at Luo Yi and narrowed his eyes. This was the first time that his desolate demon eye attack was blocked. Seems like the gap between Luo Yi and him was quite a large one. This brat. Such a strange attack. While Lin Dong was still reeling over the shock, a turmoil also appeared within Luo Yi's heart. Although he managed to destroy the strange gray light beam, at the moment, his palms were secretly numb. There is something strange about this brat. I must finish him off quickly. Luo Yi took a look at the demonic eye on Lin Dong's forehead and secretly felt uneasy. Instantly, his vision turned cold before his body suddenly exploded forward. The savage Yuan power of an 8 Yuan Nirvana stage expert fully erupted forth. It was obvious that he wanted to kill Lin Dong as quickly as possible. Lin Dong, hurry and dodge it. When Jiang Kun and the rest saw Luo Yi's move, their facial expression changed before they frantically tried to warn Lin Dong. Although Lin Dong's desolate demon eye was indeed very powerful, the gap between him and Luo Yi was too great. If they were to really fight, Lin Dong would most likely suffer. However, when Lin Dong heard their warning, he gently shook his head instead. At this juncture, if he were to show any weakness, perhaps it might overwhelm the rationality of those who were still struggling with the greed in their hearts. I want to see how strong an 8 Yuan Nirvana stage expert is. With a frosty glint in his eyes, Lin Dong's hand seals suddenly changed. Promptly, a strange blood trial actually seeped out from the demonic eye on his forehead while Grey Key started to bubble out. Faintly, a frightening primordial roar traveled through time and descended on this land. Desolate Demon Eye, Spirit of the Desolate Beast, Chapter 681, Spirit of the Desolate Beast. Roar. An overwhelming amount of grey ki erupted endlessly from the demonic eye on Lin Dong's forehead. Immediately, the earth-shattering grey ki congealed into something similar to clouds and blocked the sun, causing the entire sky to turn gloomy. As the grey ki covered the entire sky, an ancient air filled with bleakness erupted and scattered out. Faintly, a roaring cry sounded out once again. Right now, countless experts from all directions were rushing over to this area. After arriving, when they saw several individuals standing around different mountain peaks, they did not dare to stir trouble. Instead, they could only stare in astonishment at the mysterious scene that was unfurling in the sky. The bloodline on Lin Dong continued to extend while icy ki continuous radiated outwards. It headed towards his eyes in an attempt to corrode them. However, each time it came into contact with his eyes, it would be blocked by a gentle white glow. Although the desolate demon eye was extremely powerful, the price one had to pay to acquire such strength was not trivial. If Lin Dong did not have the protection of the mysterious stone talisman, perhaps even he would not dare to unleash the desolate demon eye, till such an extent. Although it was possible for him to use mental energy to sense his surroundings should he turn blind, he did not want to end up becoming like that blind old man. As those grey clouds were spreading in the sky, the blood glow within his demonic eye suddenly congealed. Turning into a blood light beam, it shot directly into the thick clouds. Boom! Following the explosive entrance of the blood light beam, the patch of grey clouds started to wriggle immediately. Gradually, they transformed into a gigantic vortex. A portal that was seemingly connected to the ancient times opened at the center of the vortex. Through the portal, a feeling of a desolate wasteland started to seep through. The moment the vortex gradually grew faint, a gigantic gray shadow seemingly flirted inside. Full of nonsense. However, I don't care how strange your methods are. You are merely at 5 Yuan Nirvana stage. With a cloudy and gloomy face, Luo Yi stared at the thick gray clouds looming above Lin Dong, while a frostiness flickered within his eyes. Although he had played down Lin Dong's actions, he felt genuinely uneasy. In fact, the patch of gray clouds caused his heart to feel extremely repressed. I'll butcher this strange brat. Murderous intent flickered within Luo Yi's eyes. Without a shred of hesitation, 
He grasped the serrated great blade in his hand before boundless Yuan power explosively erupted out. An oppressive pressure started to fill the air, causing the expressions of quite a few surrounding individuals to faintly change. 8 Yuan Nirvana Stage It seems like Luo Yi truly deserved to be ranked 6th on the sect's wanted list. Brat, even if you are a disciple of Dao sect, I will take you life today. A ferocious expression surged on Luo Yi's face. In the next moment, he suddenly took a deep breath. His eyes congealed before an overwhelming amount of blood key started to howl behind him. Faintly, they transformed into a ten feet tall blood red shadow. That blood red shadow was holding a serrated blood blade and it was filled with blood key. It seemed as if the entire land was submerged in a sea of blood. Blood blade ancestor. This is Luo Yi's signature killing move, Great Asura Blade. In this area, the expressions of the experts, who were observing this fight, changed due to Luo Yi's move. Surprised shrieks rang out one after the other. It was obvious that they knew about this fearsome attack. Luo Yi is actually forced to use this move just to kill a brat at 5 Yuan Nirvana stage. That brat is really unlucky. Luo Yi previously used this move to completely destroy 5-7 Yuan Nirvana stage experts. Whispering noises spread incessantly throughout the sky. Fluctuations appeared within the eyes of Ying Wanhuan, Jiang Kun and the rest. All of them stared at the Lin Dong, who was standing below the expansive grey clouds, while a worried expression fluttered within their eyes. Luo Yi's attack cannot be blocked directly, muttered Jiang Kun in a low voice. Hearing this, a few people nearby who had the same thought nodded their heads. Ying Wanhuan's willowy eyebrows turned slightly limp as she proceeded to bite her lip. Extending her jade hand, an emerald zither appeared in a flash. Before leaving the sect for this mission, the elder had appointed her as their leader. If anything was to happen to Lin Dong, she truly did not know how to answer to Chen Zhen and Wu Dao. Great Asura Blade, Asura Slash, the blood key that blotted the skies started to ripple. A ferocious expression appeared on Luo Yi's face as he suddenly took a step forward. With both hands gripping the blade, he slashed down in anger, akin to chopping down a mountain. Roar! The instant the great blade cleaved down, the blood-red shade behind started to wave the gigantic blood blade in its hand. With a blood glow that filled the sky, it brought forth a 300 over meter long wave as well a heaven shattering roar, as it chopped down towards Lindong. The surrounding Yuan power exploded. Before that gigantic blood blade glow had even reached the ground, a rapidly growing gigantic fissure had already started to appear on the ground. Lindong raised his head. The incoming gigantic blood blade glow that was growing rapidly in his eyes caused the hairs on his body to stand up. Promptly, his pupils started to harden rapidly. Instantly, his hand seals rapidly changed, causing the grey clouds above him to rapidly split apart. Finally, within the vortex, an incomparable huge shadow made its appearance. With the appearance of that gigantic creature, it instantly blotted out the skies. As its monstrous body covered the sky, it looked just like a primordial super demonic beast. An aura of desolation and barrenness flooded the horizons. When that mysterious gigantic beast first appeared, it immediately caused countless people to suck in a deep breath. In fact, it even caused the Devil Seal Mass's members to have a drastic change in their expressions. Is that the legendary Huang Beast? Ying Wanhuan and the rest stared in shock at the Colossus creature. They had some understanding of the martial arts of Desolate Hall. However, this was still the first time they had ever seen such a frightening beast from the ancient times. The Huang beast crouched in the skies, while its gigantic eye was tightly shut. A destructive fluctuation gradually started to radiate out from it. Furthermore, under the scattering of this fluctuation, to everyone's bewilderment, they began to realize that its tightly shut eye was slowly opening up. Roar roar! As that gigantic eye slowly opened up, the surrounding Yuan power crazily exploded. In the next instant, the gigantic eye was finally fully opened up. Revealing its murky black pupil, it seemed like the most frightening object in the world. Swoosh! 
A black beam of light that seemingly absorbed all the light in the universe shot out explosively from the eye. The instant it shot out, the entire world seemed to have darkened. As that beam shot forward, it directly tore a hole through space. Under the shocked gazes of countless people, it collided violently with the incoming blood-red blade glow. Ding! At the moment of the impact, the heavens turned silent. Resplendent energy shockwaves erupted explosively like lustrous fireworks. However, within its beauty was a fluctuation akin to that of a passing death. As the frightening fluctuations surged forth, all the surrounding mountain peaks instantaneously crumbled into dust. A few people, who were standing near the epicenter, were so heavily impacted till they spurted a mouthful of blood. As their auras became dispirited, they frantically retreated with a terrified expression. Lin Dong was also retreating backwards explosively. Even he felt palpitations in his heart when he saw the frightening winds caused by the expanding fluctuation. Instantly, with a clench of his fist, a green fluctuation rapidly transformed into a green scaled shield in front of him. Ding! The violent winds viciously slammed against his green scaled shield causing Lin Dong's organs to violently churn. He retreated explosively as his entire arm started to turn numb. If his arm wasn't strong and resilient, his entire arm would have shattered just from a single impact from the incoming fluctuation. The frightening storm winds filled the entire skies for a few minutes before gradually dying down. This entire stretch of the world had been reduced into complete disarray. The forest below had also been wrecked till it turned into a flat piece of land. As everyone gradually regained their clarity and looked at the devastation around them, all of them could not help but take a deep breath of cold air. They turned and stared once again at the youthful figure standing in the sky. However, this time around, there was no taunt or ridicule present within their eyes. A few gazes rested on Lin Dong for a while before shifting towards Luo Yi on the other side. Right now, the latter's hair was thrown into disorder and his outfit was ripped to shreds. His aura was in turmoil and a trace of shock remained on his face. It was obvious that the previous collision had left him gasping in astonishment. After all, he simply could not imagine how Lin Dong, who was only at 5 Yuan Nirvana stage, could actually put up such a valiant fight. Are all the Tao sect disciples so powerful? The atmosphere in the sky started to grow quiet. The greed flickering in a few people's eyes had also unexpectedly decreased. Is there anyone else who wants to make a move? While everyone was silent, Lin Dong took the opportunity to send his frosty and chilly gaze sweeping across everyone akin to a wolf in a prairie. Suppressing the turbulent key within his body, he refused to reveal a trace of weakness on his face. At the same time, his gloomy voice filled with malevolence resounded across the land. As Lin Dong's voice scattered across the sky, there was a strange moment of silence instead. Although everyone here was a ruthless individual, under Lin Dong's bone-chilling gaze, even they felt a little fearful. Right now, Luo Yi's facial expression was extremely gloomy. However, this time around, he did dare to speak up. It was obvious that he was still scarred by the vicious attack unleashed by Lin Dong previously. Lin Dong's gaze swept ruthlessly across the sky before he gradually retreated. However, just as he was about to turn around and retreat, a cackling laughing finally rang out. Ha ha, when did the Tao sect produce such an outstanding disciple? Although your fiendish look can easily scare others, it will not work on me, Yao Ling. Lin Dong suddenly stopped and slowly raised his head. Looking up, he saw a black figure quietly appearing on the peak of a mountain not far away. When Lin Dong saw him, his pupils started to contract. Yao Ling, the chief of the Devil's Seal Mass, fourth on the sect's wanted list. In the end, he still showed up. At the moment, Lin Dong's heart slowly sunk. Chapter 682, Retreat the black-clothed figure on the mountaintop slowly appeared in front of the crowd. His black robe covered his face while an icy cold ripple faintly spread stealthily. Yao Ling, some members of the crowd were stunned and exclaimed in shock when this person appeared. This name possessed quite a strong reputation in Bloodrock grounds. Since he was the fourth on the sect's wanted list, 
This was enough to cause many fearsome individuals to feel wary of him. Luo Yi and Xiao Qian's expressions also changed at this moment. Their eyes were filled with cautiousness when they looked at this black-clothed figure. Although they were only ranked a little lower than Yao Ling, they understood that in a real fight, the both of them together would likely be no match against Yao Ling. Ha! Even this fellow has appeared. It seems like the Devil Seal Mass really wants the immortal Yuan Ancient Seed at any cost. Luo Yi's eyes were dark and cold as he laughed softly. He glanced at the distant Lin Dong with vicious eyes. In his heart, he was secretly gloating because of the latter's predicament. However, he also felt somewhat unhappy. After all, he still felt a little displeased to see the immortal Yuan Ancient Seed fall into the hands of Yao Ling's group in front of his eyes. Chief, Su Lei's group had faces filled with joy because of Yao Ling's appearance. They swiftly rushed over, following which, they looked at Lin Dong's group in a sadistic manner. Yao Ling, Ying Wanhuan, Yuan Fang, Jiang Kun and the others' expressions gradually turned ugly when Yao Ling appeared. Although they knew that Yao Ling would definitely appear, their hearts still involuntarily sunk a little when they saw him in flesh. They were clearly well informed about this fellow, who was ranked fourth on the sect's wanted list. Nine Yuan Nirvana stage was sufficient to oppress everyone here. Yao Ling was once a deacon of the Yuan Gate and his status surpassed disciples like them. With his strength, one could count the number of disciples in Dao sect who could fight evenly with him on one hand. Moreover, this fellow was not alone. His subordinates were also a group of extremely fearsome people with notorious reputations. The leader of Devil Seal Mass Ha, Lin Dong's eyes also stared intently at the figure that was completely wrapped in a black robe. His eyes were incomparably grave. From the latter's body, he could sense a rich feeling of danger. Lin Dong might not be afraid of Luo Yi. However, at this moment, even he felt some uneasiness bubbling within his heart. After all, given his current strength, there was simply too large of a gap when compared with Nine Yuan Nirvana stage. You are called Lin Dong, right? The champion of the Hundred Empire War. Ha ha, how unexpected. The champion of the Hundred Empire War this time around actually chose to join Dao sect. Standing on top of the mountain, Yao Ling gently raised his head before he revealed his pale and shady face. A pair of indifferent eyes were locked onto Lin Dong from under the black robes as he laughed faintly. Lin Dong focused his eyes. Clearly, he did not expect that Yao Ling would actually be able to recognize him immediately. Yao Ling, this immortal Yuan ancient seed is discovered by our Dao sect first. We have already transmitted the news back. Soon, Experts from our Dao sect will arrive. This is not something that you can touch. Yuan Fang cried out in a deep voice. Ha ha, it doesn't matter. All I need to do is finish all of you off before the experts from Dao sect arrive. Ya Ling smiled slightly and spoke in a casual manner. You should also stop using the Dao sect to intimidate me. Others might be afraid of your Dao sect, but I, Ya Ling, don't give a damn. You. Yuan Fang became furious. However, she immediately suppressed her fury forcefully and laughed coldly. You can gloat now. However, you will definitely regret it in the future. Lin Dong knitted his brows tightly. Earlier, he had taken much pains to use the desolate demon eye to force Luo Yi back and intimidate the rest. However, it was all for naught now that Yao Ling appeared. Lin Dong, await my orders and prepare to retreat. Ying Wanhuan's soft voice suddenly resounded beside Lin Dong's ear while this thought lingered his heart. Lin Dong's eyes shrunk upon hearing this before he nodded quietly. Currently, it was unwise for them to stay on any further. Once Yao Ling appeared, they lost any advantage they previously had. Hence, they could only choose to retreat. However, would Yao Ling allow him to withdraw peacefully? Lin Dong's eyes flashed while he sighed quietly in his heart. Yao Ling extended his hand while he stood on the distant mountaintop. He slowly pulled off the black robe that covered his face. After which, he revealed his pale white middle-aged face. His eyes were deep and his gaze was so sharp that they appeared like blades, cutting painfully into one's skin. Friends, 
This immortal Yuan ancient seed is something that my Yuan gate desires. Therefore, I hope that everyone can stand by idly today. My Yuan gate will definitely reward everyone in the future. Yao Ling's eyes swept over this entire place first. After which, he cupped his hands together towards these people and laughed faintly. Yao Ling had directly mentioned Yuan Gate when he spoke. As the strongest sect in Eastern Xuan region, the weight of his words was extraordinary. Hence, the expressions of quite a number of people changed when his voice sounded out. However, no one dared to object. This was because both the strength of Yao Ling and the might of Yuan Gate were things that they could not afford to offend. A smile was revealed on Yao Ling's face when he saw this silent atmosphere. Immediately he turned his head and stared at Lin Dong's group. He extended his hand and said with a smile, hand that thing over. All of you should be aware of my character. I have never shown mercy in the past and I will not start doing it now. If it is really necessary, I do not mind turning this place into a bloody river. Ying Wanhuan and the rest's eyes shrunk slightly when they heard this while their expressions were in flux. Promptly, they took two steps forward, while a desperate expression appeared to flash across their faces. However, just as Yao Ling thought that they were about to give in, a chillness suddenly surged within Ying Wanhuan's eyes. Her icy cold cry resounded over the place, run, boom. The moment her voice sounded, Ying Wanhuan's hand suddenly landed on her emerald-like zither. After which, her zither strings vibrated swiftly. A bright green sonic wave swept out like a great ocean wave. This sonic wave did not appear to possess a strong offensive strength. However, it caused anyone who heard it to be momentarily stunned. It was this short instant that the Tao sect's disciples below scattered apart at the same time. After which, they became just like a locust as they rushed off in all directions. This event took place so suddenly. No one expected a hundred Dao sect's disciples would scatter so decisively. By the time some people recovered their senses, most Dao sect's disciples had already rushed into the forest and swiftly disappeared. Their speed involuntarily caused some people to be stunned. Go, hovering in midair, Ying Wanhuan, Jiang Kun and the other core disciples also took off at the same time. However, they did not scatter. This was because they clearly understood that while ordinary disciples would be able to retreat easily, they would definitely be targeted by Yao Ling's group. Today, I want to see where all of you can flee to. Yao Ling had also completely recovered at this moment. His eyes were dark and cold as he glared at Ying Wanhuan, Lin Dong and the rest who had rushed off. A ferocious smile immediately appeared on his face. Follow them. The immortal Yuan ancient seed is with them. Ya Ling waved his hand and laughed coldly. Yes, Su Lei and the rest also replied with a savage smile when they heard Ya Ling's cold laughter. After which, their bodies rushed out. They directly carried a rushing wind sound before they chased after Lin Dong's group. Swoosh. Ya Ling's body also disappeared at this moment. His body turned into a bright light that rushed outwards. Swoosh swoosh swoosh. After the people from the Devil Seal Mass gave chase, the surrounding observers also swiftly moved. Although the immortal Yuan Ancient Seed was currently being targeted by Ya Ling, they were unwilling to give up so easily. Under the whistling of the large-scale number of people that covered the sky, the sound of rushing wind appeared one after another. All the natural Yuan power appeared to boil at this moment. A couple of humans rushed over the sky of the mountain range, while they were accompanied by a hurried rushing wind sound. Their eyes would occasionally sweep over the area behind them. All of them had grave expressions on their faces. We will not be able to shake him off if this continues. Yuan Fang clenched her teeth and said. Lin Dong also nodded slightly. He could sense that Yao Ling's aura was getting increasingly close to them. Jiang Kun and the rest was silent, while the expression in their eyes were a little gloomy. Being chased truly felt unpleasant. Ying Wanhuan hugged her emerald like zither. Her eyes were lowered and a glow flashed over it. Promptly, her body suddenly paused. She clenched her silver teeth and said, I will stop them. All of you should go. Jiang Kun. Yuan Fang and the rest's expressions changed when they heard this. 
They were just about to object when Ying Wanhuan glared at them. Promptly, her tone became much calmer. Do any one of you possesses the ability to stop Yao Ling's group? Jiang Kun and the rest were at a loss for words. The gap between them and Yao Ling was too large. Even if they risked their lives to stop him, it was likely difficult for them to accomplish much. If you think that there is still time to continue chatting, you can continue to do so. Ying Wanhuan turned around and sat down on a stone. Her emerald zither was placed in front of her. After which, she extended her hand and gently swept past those dark black horsetail strings. Immediately, green threads poured down. They became like a waterfall as they slowly danced in the wind. Jiang Kun and the others involuntarily clenched their fists when they saw the alluring young lady figure. Let's go. Lin Dong's eyes stared deeply at the figure. However, contrary to expectations, he did not speak up at all. Instead, he turned around and left. Jiang Kun and the rest's expressions changed for a moment before they finally clenched their teeth, turned around and left. Lin Dong, bring the seed back. Ying Wanhuan's hands gently pressed her zither when she sensed the group leaving swiftly. A red glow gradually surged within her clear eyes, while a soft cry was also quietly being emitted. Chapter 683 Formless Body Sound A lush green color spread on the top of the mountain. Finally, it was extended to the edge of one's sight. Looking from a far distance away, this place looked just like a green sea. Ying Wanhuan sat quietly on the green stone. Her originally dark black ponytail was currently pouring down like a waterfall. After which, a gentle wind blew towards her straight narrow and delicate waist. Her black hair danced emitting a faint fragrance. The young lady's flawless hand gently strummed the emerald-like zither. After which, she slowly raised her pair of bright large eyes before she looked towards the sky. A hurried rushing wind sound that was accompanied by waves of fearsome aura swiftly emerged from that area. Swoosh swoosh swoosh. The rushing wind sound swiftly tore through the quiet sea of trees. After which, numerous figures swiftly rushed over from the distant sky. Finally, they slowly came to a halt some distance from the mountain peak. Ha ha, each of these Tao sect disciples is more arrogant than the next. Ya Ling slowly revealed himself. He stared at Ying Wanhuan, who was sitting on the mountain peak and involuntarily laughed. Immediately, he shook his head and said, If you think that I, Yao Ling, am someone who will go easy on a lady, I'm afraid that you will be very disappointed. Ha ha, this girl looks quite juicy. Why don't we snatch her and bring her back? An expert from the Devil Seal Mass laughed in a strange manner. His eyes were sweeping over Ying Wanhuan's lovely body without fear. There were quite a number of people who were following closely behind. They also emitted a strange laughter when they saw this scene. Su Lei, finish her off. The others will follow me and give chase. The immortal Yuan ancient seed is not with her. Ya Ling glanced at Ying Wanhuan in an indifferent manner. After which, he waved his hand and spoke faintly. However, his voice had just sounded when the young lady in white clothes and green pants laughed in a lovely manner. Her hands flew over her zither strings. Treads of unusual red glow surged out from her large dark black bright eyes. You have really overestimated yourselves. If you want to cross this area, wait until you can pass through my zither formation. The lovely laughter had just sounded out when Ying Wanhuan's pretty face slowly turned icy cold. Waves after waves of extremely powerful ripples slowly surged out from within her body. That level was fast approaching that of an 8 yuan nirvana stage. Just this level, however, Ya Ling merely laughed coldly when he saw this scene. Ying Wanhuan lowered her eyes. She ignored him before her delicate hands suddenly pressed onto the zither strings. Bright red fresh blood seeped out from her palm almost instantly. It was as if her emerald-like zither had been dyed blood red at this moment. Bloody light surged on the zither after it was dyed blood red. An unusual ripple was also quietly emitted while this blood glow flickered. Attack. Something is not quite right with this girl. Ya Ling's eyes shrunk slightly upon seeing this. An uneasiness suddenly surged out from his heart as he immediately cried out in a stern voice. Swoosh. 
His cry had just sounded when standing behind him. Su Lei quickly rushed out like an arrow. He clenched his large hand before wild and violent Yuan power gathered. A fist smashed violently towards Ying Wanhuan. Formless body sound. Ying Wanhuan raised her eyes slightly while she stared calmly at the incoming Su Lei. After which, a gentle voice was slowly emitted from her mouth. The moment her voice sounded, her long fingers also flew over the zither, which had turned blood red. Boom! The entire place seemed to have turned silent for an instant. After which, a bloody light beam directly rushed out with an extremely frightening speed and collided heavily with Su Lei. Bang! The loud sound resounded over the place. Su Lei, whose strength had reached 8 Yuan Nirvana stage, was sent flying backwards in front of many stunned gazers. What a peculiar zither sound. Su Lei stabilized his body in a miserable manner. His face was bright red and his eyes were filled with fear. When he collided with the bloody light beam earlier, he realized that in that previous attack, it felt as if his own attack had been completely reflected back. Formless body sound. Yao Ling's eyes gradually turned grave at this moment. He stared firmly at the young lady on the mountaintop and spoke in a deep voice. You have actually successfully learned the formless body sound, one of the four great mysterious skill within Sky Hall of Dao Sect. Ying Wanhuan raised her head. Her lips were curled slightly as she laughed immediately. It is unexpected that you have such a great understanding of my Dao Sect's martial arts. You are indeed worthy of being a deacon of the Yuan Gate. Little girl, you should stop using that razor-sharp tongue in front of me. The formless body sound is indeed powerful, but you must be out of your mind if you think that you can stop us by yourself. Ya Ling cried out coldly. Attack together with me. I want to see just how she will block us. Ya Ling's cry had just sounded when he took charge and rushed over. His nine Yuan Nirvana stage aura appeared to cause even the entire mountaintop to tremble. Ying Wanhuan looked at Ya Ling who had finally attacked before her eyes gradually turned grave. Immediately, she inhaled a deep breath of air. The back of her teeth bit her red lips and a trace of fresh blood seeped out from the corner of her mouth. Formless body sound, all beings form. A soft voice was once again emitted from Ying Wanhuan's mouth. Monstrous blood-red light swept out at this moment. Finally, it actually agglomerated into a huge bloody ancient body tree. The ancient tree shook gently and its leaves rustled. A melodious sound that seemed as though the world had just been born was slowly emitted. A unique sonic wave swiftly spread and covered the entire area. After which, it suddenly halted in front of Yao Ling's group, which had charged forward. The space began to slowly distort in front of them and it appeared to form an invisible mirror. In fact, their own images were reflected in the mirror. Chi Chi. The mirror shook. After which, the human figures within slowly walked out to their bewilderment and appeared in front of them. The formless body sound is indeed frightening. Ya Ling's eyes shrunk when he saw at the identical human figure in front of him. Immediately, his eyes looked towards the green mountain. A blood-red body tree sat in front of that young lady. The blood trace at the corner of her lips was becoming increasingly prominent. Swoosh swoosh. Many figures rushed out explosively in the sky. The few of them did not even utter a single word. The atmosphere was so tense that it caused one to be unable to breathe properly. These few people were Lin Dong, Jiang Kun and the others, who had separated from Ying Wanhuan earlier. Swoosh! A human figure that had rushed out paused suddenly. Those few of the at the front also sensed something. They immediately halted their bodies and looked at Jiang Kun, who had lagged behind. Are we simply going to leave her behind like this? Jiang Kun clenched his fist tightly. His voice had turned much more hoarse. Yuan Ling and Yuan Fang were silent. There was a painful expression flashing across their eyes. What do you propose then? Lin Dong softly asked. Can you still call yourself a man? You are abandoning her at that place alone at such a moment. How could she possibly defeat Yao Ling's group? How can we account to our seniors and juniors by simply leaving like this? Jiang Kun raised his head. His expression was savage as he roared at Lin Dong. Therefore, we should remain and fight together with her, 
end up losing our lives and even deliver the immortal Yuan ancient seed to Yao Ling for him to bring it back to Yuan Gate, so that Yuan Gate can become even more powerful. Lin Dong calmly glanced at Jiang Kun, who had lost control of himself and slowly asked. Jiang Kun was also stunned when he saw Lin Dong's calm demeanor. Immediately, he lowered his head painfully and grabbed it firmly with his hands. Jiang Kun, Junior Lin Dong cannot be blamed for this matter. Yuan Fang softly said, Let's go. If anything happens to Wan Huan, I will be irreconcilable enemies with Yuan Gate. Yuan Ling grabbed Jiang Kun's arm. His eyes were also a little red as he spoke in a deep voice. Jiang Kun was being pulled to his feet in a numb manner by Yuan Ling. After which, he followed the latter while being at a loss. Lin Dong watched these few dispirited people while a ripple rose within his calm eyes. He immediately sighed softly and flipped his hand. An emerald green seed appeared, after which, he threw it directly at Yuan Fang. Lin Dong, you. Yuan Fang was stunned as she stared at Lin Dong, after having received the immortal Yuan ancient seed from the latter. He is right. We are really unable to account to the rest by returning in such a manner. Lin Dong shrugged his shoulders. He was clearly aware of the popularity Ying Wanhuan enjoyed within Dao sect. If news of this matter was to spread after they returned, it was likely that the gazes from the others would cause one to feel terrible, even if they could understand the situation. I will return to look for her. All of you should leave with the seed. Lin Dong did not hesitate as he turned around and left immediately. His back appeared unusually suave and free. Lin Dong, Yuan Fang looked at the skinny back of the young man and suddenly cried out. Immediately, she rubbed her eyes and said, bring her back. Lin Dong did not turn his head around as he merely waved his hands. Immediately, he raised his head and exhaled a deep breath of air. This time around, he would really have to go all out. Chapter 684, Rescue. Berserk Yuan power crazily swept across the endless forest. At the same time, a faint melodious sound, carrying a strange rhythm circled across this stretch of sky. Roar roar. Yuan power surged forth as Yao Ling's expression darkened. A palm containing vigorous Yuan power blasted towards the figure in front of him like lightning. The facial features of this person was completely identical to his own and it even wore the same expression. It was as if it were a copy that had been made from the same mold. Yao Ling's fist impacted heavily on the body of his clone. Fierce Yuan power crazily erupted in a torrent, causing the clone to violently tremble. With a final crack, it exploded into nothingness and disappeared without a trace. After destroying his clone, his dark gaze swept the area. This area of the sky was already in complete chaos. There was a clone in front of every single person that had chased after the disciples of Dao sect and the strength of these clones depended on the person they were modeled after. Although the clones were not able to reach the same level as the original, they were not far off. Furthermore, the martial arts they could use were actually identical to the original, making them extremely difficult to deal with. Ya Ling gazed gloomily at a green mountain peak not far in the distance. Atop the peak, stood an ancient gigantic red body tree that was gently shaking. The culprit that created all these clones was this ancient tree. A young lady with fine black hair quietly sat at the base of the ancient body tree. Her slender jade-like hands were current plucking the strings of the blood-red zither in front of her. Right now, her expression was quite pale and the blood stains at the corners of her mouth were strikingly obvious. Anyone could tell in a single glance that her current condition was no good at all. Truly worthy of being the most powerful Skyhall martial art excluding the four great mysterious scriptures. However, how much longer can you endure at your current level? Sneered Yao Ling coldly as he stared icily at the young girl. It is enough that I have stalled all of you. Ying Wanhuan raised her head as a smile appeared on her beautiful face. The traces of blood made her smile chillingly beautiful, a beauty that touched the core of one's soul. The corners of Yao Ling's eyes twitched, as murderous flashed within his eyes. He stared at Ying Wanhuan and said, You have indeed succeeded. 
you actually managed to stall everyone present with just your 7 yuan nirvana stage strength. When news of this gets out, you can be proud of such an achievement. However, you will not have the chance to experience that moment. I've warned you before. I, Yao Ling, am not someone who will show mercy to a girl. As his words faded, an ominous glow bubbled up from within Yao Ling's eyes. With a single movement, he turned into a ray of light and grabbed out with his hand. The hand transformed into a majestic giant palm that viciously swatted down on Ying Wanhuan. Boom! As the gigantic palm rumbled down, even air itself exploded. Due to the pressure from the palm, a crack emerged on the mountain. Yao Ling did not have the slightest bit of mercy when he unleashed his attack. It was obvious that he was furious after being made a fool of by Ying Wanhuan. Ying Wanhuan raised her head and looked towards the frightening force that was about to descend on her, which was also suppressing her till she was unable to take even a single step. The formless body sound is effective against groups. However, it consumed a terrifying amount of Yuan power. After using it previously, she had already used up all the Yuan power in her body. Currently, she could no longer muster any defense at all. They should have already have reached a safe place right? Ying Wanhuan smiled faintly. At this moment, there was surprisingly no traces of fear on her beautiful face. She clearly understood how crucial this ancient immortal Yuan seed was to the Tao sect. The gigantic Yuan power palm contained a frightening power as its reflection rapidly grew larger in Ying Wanhuan's pupils. Following the descent of the gigantic Yuan power palm, the gigantic blood-red ancient body tree gradually started crack before turning in a mass of lights and disappearing. Die! With a ferocious expression, Yan Ling pressed his palm down. The gigantic Yuan power palm transformed into a gigantic shadow, that completely enveloped Ying Wanhuan's petite body. As the shadow pressed down on her, Ying Wanhuan took a deep breath and slowly closed her eyes. Swish. However, the instant she closed her eyes, the sound of air shattering suddenly resounded across the sky. A green ray of light shot towards her at frightening speed. Arriving right before the palm landed, it grabbed the stupefied Ying Wanhuan. Green scales exploded, forming a gigantic green scale shield in front of them. Bang! When the gigantic palm landed on the shield, the entire mountain peak immediately shuddered violently. Fissure after fissure rapidly appeared and it seemed as if the entire mountain peak was about to crumble. In the skies above, Yao Ling stared at the collapsing mountain peak as his expression darkened. He firmly stared at the mountain peak. At that spot, an extremely battered green shield gradually appeared within his sight as the smoke and dust started to settle. Crack! Cracks rapidly appeared on the surface of the green scale shield. Finally, it turned into countless balls of green light before the scale shield dissipated. After it disappeared, the two figures hiding behind it came into view. The hero saves the beauty. Quite a touching scene. Yao Ling casually remarked, the corners of his mouth lifting to form a mocking smile as he gazed coldly at youth, who was slowly standing up. Lin Dong closed and opened his hand which had turned numb from the shock earlier before looking towards the semi-conscious Ying Wanhuan in his arms. The corners of his mouth lifted helplessly. This lass was truly a reckless one. Those from the Yuan Gate are really trash. Lin Dong spoke as he lifted his head and looked towards Yao Ling in the distance. Brat, can you afford to be a wise ass at this juncture? Yao Ling grinned and chuckled. His smile was extremely sinister. Lin Dong laughed before he glanced at the crowd which had gradually surrounded them. He knew that he could not stay here for long. However, no matter what method he used, he could not obstruct Yao Ling and the rest by himself. Qi, a grey line surfaced on Lin Dong's forehead at an astonishing speed, before a demonic eye appeared once again. Desolate demon eye, Yao Ling frowned a little when he saw the demonic eye on Lin Dong's forehead. It was obvious that he knew about this martial art. Other the famed four great mysterious scriptures, each of the four halls of the Tao sect all possessed their own powerful martial arts. One of them was used by Ying Wanhuan before, formless body sound, and similarly, Lin Dong was now using one. Desolate Demon Eye, 
Swish. A gray beam of light containing an extremely powerful destructive force erupted from the demonic eye on Lin Dong's forehead. Seeing the gray beam shoot out, those who had previously witnessed its might, retreated frantically. Even Yao Ling stepped back and retreated, as he did not want to be infected by that thing. Yao Ling, I believe that after this, there will be many from the Dao sect who will hunt you. I hope that you will still be able to smile as cheerfully then. Mocked Lin Dong as he sent a radiant grin towards Yao Ling. However, his smile contained a chilliness that permeated the air. Yao Ling's gaze turned gloomy. He naturally knew that he had definitely angered the Dao sect today. Furthermore, the current him was just an exile from the Yuan Gate. If the Dao sect were to find trouble with him and he was not able to offer the ancient immortal Yuan seed to the Yuan Gate, he would inevitably sink into deep trouble. Relax. After slaughtering all of you and retrieving the ancient immortal Yuan seed, I will not have to deal with such troublesome matters anymore, replied Yao Ling. I'm afraid you won't have such a chance. Lin Dong smiled before he clenched his palm. In a flash, his heavenly crocodile bone spear appeared. With a flip of his palm, a ball of dark red liquid appeared in a flash. This was the blood essence of the heavenly desolate god Cao, that he bought previously from the auction in the ancient battlefield. He had not had the chance to use it since then, however, it looked like it was now needed. Shi Shi, the large ball of blood essence was directly sprinkled on the heavenly crocodile bone spear. As his hand rapidly formed a series of seals, the body of the spear started to vibrate. Immediately, an overflowing torrent of red light erupted from it, before a roar from ancient times resounded through the skies once again. The bloody light that blotted the skies started to congeal before gradually transforming into an ancient heavenly crocodile under the shocked gazes of Yao Ling and the rest. Go! Lin Dong shouted as his finger pointed outwards. The ancient heavenly crocodile roared at the skies before violently charging towards Yao Ling and the rest, shaking the earth with every step. Having successfully summoned the ancient heavenly crocodile, Lin Dong kept his heavenly crocodile bone spear, before placing the young lady on his back. He immediately turned around and ran away without a shred of hesitation. He clearly understood how powerful the heavenly crocodile spirit was. Although it was not weak, it was obviously no match for Yao Ling and the rest. Lin Dong only wished for some time to flee. That bastard. Seeing Lin Dong disappearing into the distance, Yao Ling's eyes turned chilly as he roared, You can't run away brat. You speak too much. Lin Dong's body did not slow down as he grinned. Soon after, he heard a weak laughter in his ear. From the corner of his eye, he saw Ying Wanhuan's small pale face. It was clear that she had regained some of her senses. Let's go. I'm bringing you back. Lin Dong softly said as he pursed his lips. Chapter 685, Grudge. As time passed, nightfall gradually enshrouded the endless large mountains. Following the arrival of the night, the roars of various demonic beasts also resounded one after another within the mountain range. A large rock covered a crevice along the wall of a cliff deep within the mountains. The crevice was dozens of feet large and was able to accommodate around a dozen people. Lin Dong placed the young lady on his back onto the ground before his eyes swept cautiously across the interior of the crevice. Promptly, he turned to look at the now dark sky. After which, he quickly moved the enormous rock and slowly covered the crevice. Ying Wanhuan quietly leaned against the stone wall. Her pale and small face caused her to look much weaker. The current her was unable to speak. And all she could do was was stare at the busy figure hurrying all over the place while a complicated emotion flashed across her eyes. A moment later, she softly said, After how I treated you in the past, I never expected you to actually risk yourself to rescue me. Lin Dong gradually covered the crevice. When he was done, he patted his hands before turning to look at Ying Wanhuan, frowning as he said, Do I look like such a petty person? Ying Wanhuan softly chuckled. Soon after, she replied, Even though you have rescued me, I will not withdraw my final opinion of you for the time being. A shameless braggart, right? It seems like you truly do not believe that I will be able to comprehend the great desolation scripture. Lin Dong laughed. 
it is not that I have no confidence in you. Rather, the chances of successfully understanding the great desolation scripture is simply too low. Back then, my elder sister quietly sat in front of the great desolate tablet for months, but she still failed in the end. Other than senior Joe Tong, not a single person from the Tao sect has managed to comprehend the great desolation scripture in the last hundred years. Ying Wanhuan shook her head as she elaborated. There were outstanding and talented individuals in the Tao sect in the past hundred years, but none of them were ultimately able to understand the great desolation scripture. Lin Dong nodded quietly. He also knew about this. If it was so easy to understand the great desolation scripture, the desolate hall would definitely not be the weakest of the four halls. There is no question that the great desolation scripture is extremely powerful. If you are truly able to understand it, it will indeed be extremely beneficial for our Tao sect. At the very least, our Tao sect will gain some insurance in the next great sect competition. Ying Wanhuan toyed with a strand of black hair as she spoke. Great sect competition. What is that? Lin Dong was not familiar with this term. He had heard of it being before from the Yuan Gates Lu Tong back atop the Hundred Empire Mountain. However, he did not know the specifics. Every once in a while, the super sects in eastern Xuan region will hold an extremely grand great sect competition. Only the disciples within a sect can participate in this great competition. From a certain point of view, it is a trial. Ying Wanhuan's eyes lowered a little. Lin Dong could see that she was slowly clenching her fist as this moment. Each time around, our Tao sect will end up losing some outstanding disciples because of this competition. Lin Dong's pupils shrunk a little. Could it be that the great sect competition had the same format as the Hundred Empire War? One of the reasons is because of the perilous nature of the place where the competition is held. Another reason is because of the fights between the various super sects. Of course, our Tao sect losses from the great sect competition is mostly because of the Yuan Gate. Yuan Gate. Lin Dong frowned slightly. We do not have a cordial relationship with Yuan Gate and those fellows typically behave in a domineering manner. Furthermore, there is also the senior Zhou Tong incident from back then. Hence, both factions are just like fire and water and all the disciples of the Tao sect despise the Yuan Gate disciples. Similarly, those Yuan Gate disciples also view our Tao sect's disciple as a thorn in their side. Typically speaking, the upper echelons from both sides will do their best to suppress this. Nonetheless, our Tao sect is still forced to give way most of the time. After all, the Yuan Gate is stronger than our Tao sect. Ying Wanhuan's voice carried a little chillness as it spread within the crevice. Lin Dong could vaguely hear some fury within it. You mean to say that the Yuan Gate disciples will purposefully attack our Tao sect disciples during the Great Sect competition? Moreover, they will not hesitate to use lethal force. Lin Dong narrowed his eyes and asked him. Ying Wanhuan lowered her head. Her ink-black hair covered her face as she softly said, The Great Sect competition is basically a type of contest. Overall, the Yuan Gate disciples are stronger than our Tao sect disciples. Therefore, our Tao sect has suffered substantial losses every Great Sect competition, and many seniors have been killed by the Yuan Gate disciples. During the last Great Sect competition, the previous big senior sister of our Sky Hall was killed by those Yuan Gate disciples. At that time, she was trying to protect the other disciples as they retreated. At that time, she had clearly admitted defeat. However, those beasts did not stop. They were doing it on purpose. The young lady's voice trembled a little. Her face was buried in her knees as her small and delicate body trembled. Lin Dong was silent. During a fight between super sects, various dirty tricks would be used. However, it was unexpected that the Yuan Gate was actually this despicable. Lin Dong gazed at the body of the frail young lady and pursed his lips. His pitch black eyes now had an additionally chillness within them. If nothing unexpected occurs during this great sect competition, elder sister will most likely lead the group. I know that if faced with a similar situation, she will likely fight and perish together with the Yuan Gate disciples. Ying Wanhuan raised her head before her jade-like hands rubbed her face. 
Her eyes were a little red under the weak moonlight. She stared at the young man in front of her and said, when that time comes, I too will not hesitate. Lin Dong watched as a trace of determination flashed across the young lady's eyes. He nodded quietly. Having entered the Tao sect not long ago, he was naturally not aware of the grudge between the Tao sect and the Yuan Gate. However, who asked him to become a disciple of the Tao sect? If you are angry, then kill a couple more Yuan Gate disciples during the upcoming Great Sect competition. Lin Dong laughed softly and he did not try to dissuade her. That was because even he felt an intense hatred towards the Yuan Gate bubbling within him. Him. Ying Wanhuan nodded her head solemnly. Immediately, she ceased crying and said with a smile, Before we talk about that, we should first try to return to the Tao sect alive. Ya Ling will definitely not let us off so easily. That fellow should have something with him that can sense the immortal Yuan ancient seeds fluctuation. Lin Dong looked at the dark sky and said, He won't chase after Jiang Kun and the rest, will he? Ying Wanhuan was startled as she hurriedly said, she was already aware that Lin Dong had handed the immortal Yuan ancient seed over to Yuan Fang's group. Relax. I have already sealed that ripple when I handed the immortal Yuan ancient seed to elder sister Fang. Lin Dong smiled faintly. Immediately, he clenched his hand as the enormous immortal Yuan ancient tree appeared and landed heavily on the ground. Instead, Ya Ling will treat this object as the immortal Yuan ancient seed. Therefore, he will definitely come looking for us. Ying Wanhuan finally sighed in relief. Immediately, she glanced briefly at Lin Dong. Clearly, she did not expect the latter to be so cautious. He had actually arranged everything so well. You should rest first. You are severely worn out. It is likely that Yao Ling's group will not find this place tonight. Lin Dong said. Him. Ying Wanhuan gently nodded. She was indeed exceptionally tired. Her body lacked Yuan power, causing her to feel weak. Immediately, she leaned against the rock wall and slowly shut her eyes. Lin Dong only turned his head after observing that Ying Wanhuan had shut her eyes. His eyes looked towards the night sky through the crevice. It was possible for him to sense the undulations in the surrounding area. Clearly, Ya Ling's group was searching for them all over the mountain. Bastards from the Yuan Gate, all of you will repay this debt sooner or later. Lin Dong softly muttered to himself. After which, he took out a black robe from his Chankan bag and covered the now fast asleep Ying Wanhuan. Only then did he sit down. However, his eyes did not show any signs of shutting. It was clearly impossible for him to shut his eyes and rest when they were in such a dangerous predicament. Hence, Lin Dong kept his eyes open and maintained high alert throughout the night. The long eyelashes of a young lady twitched when the first rays of the morning sun tore through the sky. She quickly opened her eyes. The first thing she saw were the bright eyes of the young man seated in front of her. Have you rested well? Lin Dong watched as Ying Wanhuan woke up. The latter's aura was clearly much better than yesterday. You did not sleep. Ying Wanhuan was extremely observant. She had seen sliver of tiredness that had flashed across Lin Dong's eyes. Clearly, he had been staying vigilant all night standing guard. Lin Dong glanced at her, but did not say anything. All he did was to step forward and keep the black robe. Ying Wanhuan tilted her head and observed him. After which, she softly said, Ever since you entered the Tao sect, I can tell that you have been careful and cautious. Isn't that tiring, tiring? Lin Dong laughed. He stared the young lady in front of him and immediately said, Ever since you were born, you lived in this sect that countless people are envious of. I on the other hand, came from a branch family of a low-rank empire. Since young, I had an enemy that could eliminate my entire family with a finger. Although I hated him to the core at that time, I was unable to express my emotions. All I could do was to train diligently until I had the strength to face him head on. Only at that time, would I barely be able to protect my family. I have no one behind me or supporters. Therefore, I must be extremely cautious. Otherwise, how else could someone like me, who came from a low-rank empire, become the champion of the Hundred Empire War? 
Ying Wanhuan was silent when she stared at that young man who wore a slight smile on his face. She simply could not imagine what he had been through. What happened to that enemy of yours? I killed him atop the Hundred Empire Mountain. Lin Dong shrugged his shoulder and spoke in an indifferent manner. Ying Wanhuan gently nodded. Surprisingly, she was actually well behaved and did not say anything else. Boom! The entire mountain suddenly shook violently at this moment. The large stone that was blocking the crevice swiftly collapsed. One could vaguely hear some loud cries and a commotion from outside. They had finally been discovered. Later, you will leave first. Otherwise, you will only be a burden if you stay. Lin Dong's gaze turned towards the outside of the crevice, as he exhaled deeply and said. Ying Wanhuan bit her lips as some stubbornness appeared in her eyes. However, this stubbornness gradually disappeared when she saw the back in front of her. Ultimately, she could only give in and nod gently. All right, chapter 686, bloody fight. A dozen figures hovered in the deep blue horizon as wild Yuan power continuously radiated from their bodies. Their gazes were currently filled with a rich malicious intent as they stared at the crevice on the cliff wall. Hiding for one night isn't enough for you, Lin Dong. With his hands crossed behind his back, Yao Ling stared coldly at the pitch black crevice. A cold and gloomy voice carrying unconcealable murderous aura and anger rang out. After a night of searching, it was obvious that he was quite furious. Your nose can certainly compete with that of a dog's. At this moment, a soft chuckle emerged out from within the crevice. Following which, the giant rock split open causing rubble to fly as two figures flew out from within before landing on the mountain peak. The two figures were naturally Lin Dong and Ying Wanhuan. After revealing himself, Lin Dong's eyes quickly swept across the sky. Right now, there were less people around compared to yesterday. However, this lineup was still not to be underestimated. Other than Yao Ling, who was the toughest to deal with, the other members of Devil Seal Mass, Su Lei and Luo Yi, who he had previously fought with, were also present. As for the rest, based on their aura, all of them should be at the 7 Yuan Nirvana stage. 1 9 Yuan Nirvana stage, 2 8 Yuan Nirvana stage and over 7 people at the 7 Yuan Nirvana stage. Even though Lin Dong had already prepared to face such a formidable lineup, he still involuntarily clenched the fist in his sleeve. Ying Wanhuan stood behind Lin Dong and looked towards the sky while a shocked expression flashed within her eyes. She knew that Lin Dong's actual strength far exceeded that which he showed on the surface. Nonetheless, he was only at the 5 Yuan Nirvana stage. Purely based on that, it would be extremely difficult for him just to deal with Yao Ling alone. Furthermore, there were other villains like Su Lei and Luo Yi, who were highly ranked in the sect's wanted list. Brat, this time you will not have the chance to escape, said Yao Ling gloomily as he stared sinisterly at the youth standing atop the mountain peak. If you obediently hand over the ancient immortal Yuan seed, we can let you lovers die together. Otherwise, we will torture both of you till you beg for your own deaths. After saying this statement, Yao Ling's expression turned ferocious. The murderous aura he radiated was akin to the edge of a blade causing the temperature of the surrounding area to decrease. Lin Dong's expression remained calm as he tilted his head slightly and looked towards the young lady behind him, before he softly said, Go. After she heard him, Ying Wanhuan could not help but gently bite her lip. A tinge of hesitation flashed clearly across her eyes. Looking at the current situation, if she was to leave Lin Dong behind, it would inevitably not bode well for him. How about I stay behind and help you? I have learned the formless body sound and shid, replied Ying Wanhuan after hesitating for a while. Go, however, before she could even say finish her words, Lin Dong turned his head around looked at her and said casually without a shred of fear in his voice. Looking at the thin young man in front of her, Ying Wanhuan could not help but clench her jade-like hands. She could hear a trace of anger within Lin Dong's words. This was the first time she had ever seen this deeply prudent and cautious youth angry since she met him. Be careful. Ying Wanhuan clenched her jade-like hands before she finally she took in a deep breath. After she glanced at the man in front of her with a complicated expression, 
she turned around and left without a shred of hesitation. Thinking of leaving, Su Lei, stop her. When Yao Ling saw this scene, he sneered instead before he commanded. Yes, hearing Yao Ling's exclamation, Su Lei, who was standing nearby, gave a hearty laugh before he replied. With a stomp of his foot, his body turned into a flash as he chased after Ying Wanhuan. Swoosh. However, the instant he took off, a figure swiftly appeared in front of him like a phantom. With a grasp of his hand, a gigantic pitch black ancient tree appeared in a flash in his hands. Carrying the tree by its roots, the pitch black tree carried an extremely heavy force as it violently hacked down on Su Lei. You're courting death. It was obvious that Su Lei was no pushover. Upon witnessing Lin Dong's obstruction, he chuckled instead. With a grasp of his hand, a silver lightning blade appeared with a flash. With a tilt of his blade, it brought along the roar of thunder as it heavily slashed at the ancient tree. Dang! When the two objects collided, a clear metallic sound together with a frightening force unfurled in the sky. When his lightning blade clashed with the ancient tree, Su Lei's expression suddenly changed as alarm flashed past his eyes. That was because he had realized that when his lightning blade touched that ancient tree, the Yuan power in his body started to become sluggish. There's something off about that thing. Su Lei was a man with ample experience. With a thought, he knew that this was likely caused by Lin Dong's weird black tree. Thus, his body immediately moved as he quickly tried to retreat. However, it was obvious that Lin Dong had no intentions of dragging this fight on. As the current situation was very unfavorable towards him, there was no reason for him to give up on an opportunity like this. Hence, the instant the Yuan power within Su Lei's body turned sluggish, a gray line on Lin Dong's forehead started to rapidly condense. Finally his, desolate demon eye, appeared once again. A gray beam of light containing an extremely destructive force directly exploded out from within and violent shot towards Su Lei's heart. The speed of the gray beam of light was extremely fast. When Su Lei saw Lin Dong's killing move, he was so frightened that cold sweat emerged on his body. He quickly tried to activate the Yuan power within his body and created a Yuan power shield in front of him. Qi, the gray beam of light smashed ruthlessly against the surface of the Yuan power shield. Its extremely destructive power revealed itself at this moment. Several cracks appeared on the seemingly sturdy Yuan power shield, before it directly ruptured with a loud bang as the gray beam directly penetrated through it. Although the Yuan power shield did not manage to block the gray beam, it managed to slow it down. Meanwhile, Su Lei used this opportunity to hastily retreat. However, it was obvious that his speed was not equal to that of the gray beam. Hence, after he took two steps back, that gray beam had already struck his shoulder with lightning speed. Peng, a savage force crazily struck against Su Lei's shoulders. The frightening power shook Su Lei and caused him to fly back like a cannonball. At the same time, fresh blood gushed out from his shoulder. Su Lei hideously retreated a dozen steps as he clutched his shoulder, which was spewing fresh blood. Right now, he was somewhat shocked. Immediately, his face was covered by a malevolent expression. He was somewhat unable to imagine that he had actually gotten injured after fighting Lin Dong for the first time. You little bastard, I will slaughter you, roared Su Lei as a scarlet red murderous aura filled his eyes. Chi, just as Su Lei's roar resounded out, Lin Dong had already dashed towards him at lighting speed. His pitch black pupils were filled with an intense cold. Raising the black ancient tree in his hand like a gigantic club, he violent swung it at Su Lei's body without restraint, ripping through the air while doing so. Dong, a low and deep sound echoed before Su Lei, who had just stabilized himself, flew away once again. In the end, he violently smashed into a mountain cliff, his entire body deeply embedded into it. If you want to kill me, you should at least be prepared to leave something behind right. After slapping away Su Lei, Lin Dong tilted his head and faced the now gloomy Yao Ling and the rest as his lips cracked open into a grin. A terrible aura overflowed from that smile. Yao Ling shot a glance at Su Lei, who was struggling to free himself from the cliff. He was indeed rather amazed right now. 
He was extremely clear about Su Lei's strength. However, Lin Dong managed to thrash him with a single attack. Although it was somewhat unexpected, Lin Dong's was actually as ruthless as them. Villains whose hands were stained with the blood of countless lives. Your true strength is indeed much more powerful than what you show on the surface. However, do you really believe that you can escape today? Mocked Yao Ling as he shot an indifferent smile at Lin Dong, before slowly walking forward. Following his steps, an extremely strong fluctuation started to radiate out of his body and fill the air. Under this fluctuation, even Lin Dong's breath slowed for a moment, causing his expression to gradually turn serious. 9 Yuan Nirvana Stage This strength was indeed much stronger than his own. No matter how you struggle before me, there will only be one fate for you. Yao Ling slowly raised his hand towards Lin Dong and clenched it before softly chuckling, You will not escape from me. Boss, after you get hold of that brat, let me properly entertain him. I plan to break every bone one by one. Covered in fresh blood, Su Lei climbed out from the mountain cliff. He cut an extremely sorry figure and even his aura was quite dispirited. It was obvious that the injuries caused by Lin Dong's rapid attack were quite severe. As a result, his expression turned sinister and it looked as if he wanted to completely devour Lin Dong. After obtaining the ancient immortal Yuan seed, I'll leave him to you. Ya Ling smiled in an indifferent manner. Gently twisting his neck from side to side, he slowly stepped forward. From this action, anyone could tell that he wanted to personally take action. Lin Dong's pupils contracted slightly as he watched Yao Ling slowly walk towards him. Taking a deep breath, a vicious aura flickered within his eyes. He proceeded to extend his palm as five scarlet-red ancient immortal Yuan fruits appeared in his palm. This young master has faced countless life and death situations over the past few years. Therefore, my ruthlessness, is something that you will not understand. Lin Dong raised his head and revealed a seemingly monstrous and evil grin at Yao Ling and the rest. In the next instant, he opened his mouth. Finally, under the chilling gazes of Yao Ling and the rest, he proceeded to shove all five ancient immortal Yuan fruits into his mouth. Chapter 687. Swallowing the Ancient Immortal Yuan Fruits. Glup. Five bright red ancient immortal Yuan fruits emitted a gulp sound as they moved down Lin Dong's throat and were swallowed into his stomach. Ancient immortal Yuan fruit. When Yao Ling saw this scene, there was not a tinge of shock in his eyes. Instead, he shook his head somewhat pitifully as he said, Ignorant fool. Looks like you have never seen an ancient immortal Yuan fruit before. Do you know how fierce and violent the energy contained within a fruit is? swallowing five at the same time. Forget about you, it is likely that even I would not be able to digest all of them. You might think that your action is fearsome, but it is merely just a foolish and rash act. What a stupid brat. Ya Ling's face had a cold smile as he stared at Lin Dong. Given the current situation, it was likely that he did not even need to take action. In fact, Lin Dong would likely be tormented by that wild and violent energy until he end up suffering a fate worse than death. Su Lei, Luo Yi and the rest beside him were also looking at Lin Dong in a mocking manner. It was as if they were looking forward to see just how miserable the latter would be after this. Is that so? However, Lin Dong, who had swallowed all five ancient immortal Yuan fruits in front of their gloating eyes, slowly raised his head. A mocking expression flashed across his eyes, which had a faint green glow flowing within it. This energy is indeed violent. However, it is not enough to do anything to me, Lin Dong. Therefore, all of you may be disappointed. Lin Dong pressed his hands together. Following which, he placed his fingers together before numerous dazzling palm movements occurred. Soon after, a low and deep cry was emitted from his throat. Buzz buzz. Waves after waves of shockingly frightening energy fluctuations suddenly swept out from Lin Dong's body the moment his cry sounded. Even Lin Dong's skin turned red under this sweeping energy. I look forward to watching you die. The cold smile in Yao Ling's eyes became richer when he saw this. Suppress. The seal formed by Lin Dong's hands changed in a lightning-like fashion. 
A low and deep voice also resounded within his heart. His voice was just like thunder that rumbled within his body. After which, the ancient universe formation that was suspended over his danshan started to tremble. Traces of light scattered from the ancient formation. It was just like an enormous net that directly covered the incomparably wild and violent crimson energy within Lin Dong's body. Bang bang! The floodwater-like crimson energy collided ruthlessly onto the large net. However, the latter did not even move a little as it firmly trapped it, causing the energy to be unable to escape or wreak havoc. Quiet and down, another warm light erupted. It transformed into a stone talisman that was suspended above the majestic energy. Numerous light poured down. Immediately, the violence that was within the majestic energy was also swiftly washed away. Swallow. Another low and deep cry sounded before a black ancient symbol appeared in a flash. Monstrous devouring power erupted like a black hole. Crash! The majestic bright red energy began pour into the black hole continuously. After which, it swallowed all the violence that was within it. Only then, did it transform into a vigorous energy that followed Lin Dong's inner channels and began circulating across his body. With the help of the ancient universe formation, the mysterious stone talisman and the devouring ancestral symbol, Lin Dong had basically perfectly suppressed all the savage energy within the five ancient immortal Yuan fruits. Of course, successfully suppressing it did not mean he could completely absorb them. Currently, Lin Dong was indeed unable to perform this step. What he wanted to do was not to use those five ancient immortal Yuan fruits to raise his strength. Instead, he merely wanted a temporarily boost in strength. With this boost, he would possess fighting strength that was comparable to Yao Ling's group. However, it was extremely easy for this frightening energy that suddenly erupted, to exceed the limit that one's body could endure. Once Lin Dong's physical body was unable to endure the assault from such an enormous energy, it would become just like a balloon and explode with a bang. The vast and mighty energy was like a torrent as it surged towards all of Lin Dong's limbs. Waves after waves of frightening energy also swiftly rose. Lin Dong could sense a piercing pain being emitted from within his veins. Green Heaven materialized dragon skill. Lin Dong inhaled a deep breath of air as he sensed the activity within his meridians. An unusual green light suddenly surged out from deep within his eyes. The green light spread towards every part of Lin Dong's body. While the green light spread, some green scales actually quietly appeared on the inner walls within Lin Dong's body. These scales were just like a defensive layer that protected Lin Dong meridians. After these scales appeared, the painful bursting sensation from his meridians was immediately halved. Creak. Lin Dong's hands slowly clenched tightly. An excited arc appeared onto Lin Dong's face as he sensed the unprecedented formidable strength surging within his body. With the help of the three divine items within his body along with the superb strength of the green heaven materialized dragon skill, the frightening strength generated by five ancient immortal Yuan fruits was now completely under his control. Although this would only last temporarily, Lin Dong would possess an unusually powerful strength during this period of time. Everyone, are you ready? Lin Dong raised his eyes. Green light lingered within him as he stared at Yao Ling group parted his mouth and smiled. This bastard, Yao Ling's group watched Lin Dong with gloomy expressions. The fluctuation around Lin Dong's body had soared several times. Meanwhile, there was also a rich disbelief under this gloominess. They were truly unable to believe that Lin Dong was actually able to suppress the energy from five ancient immortal Yuan fruits. Yao Ling's eyes were dark and cold, and some fear actually rose within his heart. The various feats done by Lin Dong caused him to feel uneasy. If this abnormally perverse fellow was allowed to keep growing, it was likely that he would become a major source of trouble in the future. Ya Ling looked at the young face of Lin Dong, which was filled with a fearsome expression. For some unknown reason, he suddenly remembered that other Dao sect disciple. That person was a truly vicious person who once charged up to Yuan Gate alone and killed three great elders. He must not be allowed to live. When he thought of this point, Yao Ling's heart was suddenly filled with chillness. 
His eyes flashed before the killing intent within his eyes flared. After which, his body moved and disappeared in a peculiar fashion. Lin Dong stepped on the empty air. A grayish glow surged within the demonic eye between his eyebrows. He looked at Yao Ling, who had disappeared, before the corner of his mouth immediately parted. Both his arms suddenly shook before green light surged. His hands swiftly shook before finally transforming two icy cold fearsome looking green dragon arms. Waves after waves of frightening energy were currently being channeled through both of his arms. Lin Dong's dragon hand gripped the immortal Yuan ancient tree. In the next instant, he took a step forward and directly brandished the ancient tree. It violently smashed at the area in front of him. Squeak! The ancient tree tore through the air and emitted a sharp ear-piercing sound. That strength was almost lifelike. Bang! A fist that was wrapped around by a bright golden light also penetrated through the air and appeared in an unusual manner at the spot where the ancient tree was violently smashing towards. Finally, it carried an incomparably ferocious ripple before it clashed head-on with the ancient tree. A muffled thunder-like sound spread apart in the sky. Wild and violent hurricane-like energy ripples swept apart in a crazy manner before the surrounding mountains immediately cracked. Large rocks continuously rolled downwards. Chi, two human figures pulled back from the energy fluctuating point. It looked as if the two were of equal strength. With the help of the five ancient immortal Yuan fruits, the current Lin Dong was actually able to fight head-on with Yao Ling. Worthy of being a nine Yuan Nirvana stage expert. Lin Dong steadied his body. He raised his head and smiled towards Yao Ling. During the head-on collision, he finally understood the strength of a nine Yuan Nirvana stage expert. If it was not because of the five ancient immortal Yuan fruits energy supporting him, it was likely that Lin Dong would not be able to fight head-on with Yao Ling. It is a little too early to celebrate now. Brat, I will allow you to truly witness the strength of a nine Yuan Nirvana stage expert. Ya Ling smiled in a dense manner before he clenched his fist. Vast and mighty Yuan power gathered and directly formed a golden long spear. The spear was emitting an extremely fierce and brutal fluctuation. Chi Chi, Ya Ling rushed out with a lightning-like speed. The long spear within his hand transformed into numerous spear shadows that covered Lin Dong in a storm-like manner. Swoosh, however, just when his spear shadow was about to reach Lin Dong's body, the latter suddenly moved and disappeared. Ah! Yao Ling heard a sharp miserable screech from behind him when Lin Dong's figure had just disappeared. He hurriedly turned his head, only to see a seven Yuan Nirvana stage expert from the Devil Seal Mass being smashed by Lin Dong's ancient tree. Thanks to his frightening strength, he had actually directly smashed both of his hands into a blood pulp. Swoosh. After having swung the ancient tree explosively towards one of them, Lin Dong raised his head and revealed a ferocious smile towards Yao Ling. After which, he rushed towards another seven Yuan Nirvana stage expert. Lin Dong did not plan to be entangled with Yao Ling from the beginning. After his strength surged explosively, the current him could kill all these seven Yuan Nirvana stage experts. Since this was the case, he would naturally need to clear the place. He wanted to kill all these people until not even their souls remain. A horrified expression surfaced in the eyes of the other seven Yuan Nirvana stage expert when he saw Lin Dong charging over towards him. However, he was also a ruthless individual and he did not retreat. Instead, he held a large blade in his hand. With a stern cry, a sharp blade glow violently hacked towards Lin Dong. Boom! The black large tree danced and directly shattered the blade glow, after which, it was accompanied by an enormous shadow as it violently smashed towards the seven Yuan Nirvana stage expert's head. Immediately, his brains were blown apart. A bloody rain danced over the sky. Luo Yi, Su Lei and the rest looked at the young man, who was bathing in the bloody rain, with a shaken expression. At this moment, even they felt a chillness surging within their hearts. Little bastard, your father will tear you into tens of thousands of pieces today. Yao Ling watched two of his subordinates being finished off by Lin Dong within the blink of an eyes, before his eyes immediately became bloody red. After which, 
A roar that was filled with fury and churning murderous intent resounded in the sky. This ruthless person, who was ranked fourth on the sect wanted list had finally completely erupted in fury at this moment because of Lin Dong. Chapter 688. Killing Su Lei. Bang! A mighty and wild Yuan power swept out from Yao Ling's body in all directions at this moment. His eyes were unusually ferocious as he stared at the figure in the distance. The long spear in his hand shook suddenly. A buzzing sound appeared before a hundred feet large spear glow directly penetrated through the empty air and flew explosively towards Lin Dong with a lightning-like speed. The speed of the spear was extremely rapid and it covered all of Lin Dong's escape paths in the blink of an eye, forcing him to once again halt his attack towards those weaker members of Devil Seal Mass. He forcefully turned his body around and swung the black tree in his hand in a vicious manner. A shocking strength spluttered out. Even the invisible air was blasted apart by his strength, that seemed to possess an actual form. Boom! The two collided heavily. A shocking energy ripple spread apart wildly while being accompanied by a loud sound. Lin Dong's body trembled as he hurriedly retreated by over a dozen steps. The black tree in his hand danced before he stabilized his body. Following which, a grave expression flashed across his eyes. There was still a huge gap between him and Yao Ling. Even after he received a temporary boost in strength from swallowing five immortal Yuan ancient fruits, there was still a small gap when compared with Yao Ling. Su Lei, Luo Yi, attack together with me and kill this fellow. The others should gather together and lock down this place. Yao Ling stared at Lin Dong with a dark and cold gaze before crying out explosively. He had also calmed down after erupting in fury. Currently, Lin Dong's strength had clearly soared and a seven Yuan Nirvana stage practitioner was unable to pose any threat towards him. In that case, it was better for him to take the initiative and get those subordinates, who were unable to provide much help, to withdraw. He believed that with his ability as well as Su Lei and Luo Yi, who had both reached 8 Yuan Nirvana stage, it was likely that Lin Dong would have difficulty escaping regardless of how many tactics the latter had. Yes, Luo Yi and Su Lei nodded upon hearing this. Their eyes flickered as they stared at Lin Dong with a fierce glint flickering in their eyes. Of course, there was currently some fear on top of this fearsome glint. The ruthless manner in which Lin Dong destroyed two seven Yuan Nirvana stage experts caused their hearts to quiver a little. Vast and mighty Yuan power fluctuated and slowly surged out from the bodies of the Luo Yi duo. The latter's bodies moved and coincidentally formed a triangular formation together with Yao Ling, locking Lin Dong within it. Attack! A low and deep cry was suddenly emitted from Yao Ling's mouth. He took the lead and rushed forward as the long spear in his hand penetrated through the air. It carried a wild and violent ripple that could shred the Nirvana golden body of an 8 Yuan Nirvana stage expert as it ruthlessly targeted all of Lin Dong's fatal spots. Luo Yi and Su Lei also attacked when Yao Ling struck. Immediately, Yuan power whistled in the sky. A chilling murderous aura completely engulfed Lin Dong. Lin Dong's eyes flickered. The enormous pressure that permeated towards him also caused his expression to turn extremely grave. When facing the combined attacks of a 9 Yuan Nirvana stage along with two 8 Yuan Nirvana stage experts, any slight opening that he exposed would definitely lead to certain death. Desolate Demon Eye. A gray line was swiftly formed between Lin Dong's eyebrows, after which, it transformed into a gray demonic eye. The moment his demonic eye appeared, the gray light that contained an extremely frightening destructive force directly shot out explosively and collided head-on with the attack from the Yao Ling trio. Boom boom boom. Wild and violent energy fluctuation swept apart upon contact. However, as it was one against three, the might of the desolate demon eye was clearly scattered significantly. Hence, it was unable to accomplish the same impact as before. Swoosh. However, Lin Dong was clearly not so naive to believe that the attacks from the Yao Ling trio could be blocked so easily. After the gray light rushed out, his body also suddenly pulled back explosively. His footsteps flashed and he appeared in front of Su Lei. Yao Ling was the strongest amongst the three, while Luo Yi and Su Lei were of equal strength. 
However, the latter was wounded by Lin Dong earlier and his aura was a little sluggish. Hence, he was considered to be the easiest person to deal with amongst the three of them. Humph! Su Lei was also not a fool. The moment he saw Lin Dong's action, he was aware that the latter wanted to break through the formation from his side. Immediately, he let out a cold snort before majestic Yuan power wildly gathered on his palms. There was a wild and violent force vaguely being emitted. Shattering Yuan palm, fierce and brutal energy gathered wildly. After which, a palm slammed viciously towards Lin Dong amidst Su Lei's low and deep cry. Thunder rumbled wherever the palm attack passed. However, Lin Dong did not dodge in the face of this fierce and brutal palm attack from Su Lei. Green light surged out from within his body before they quickly agglomerated into numerous green dragon scales on the surface of his body. Lin Dong did not show any signs of attacking after his dragon scales appeared. He took a step forward before his entire body slammed violently against Su Lei. Bang bang! During the time that the green light surged, the shadow of a dragon seemed to be following behind Lin Dong. That collision seemed to possess a tremendous force that could even split mountains. Green dragon bump. A low and deep cry was suddenly transmitted into Su Lei's ears as his eyes shrank abruptly. In the next moment, his formidable palm attack slammed directly onto Lin Dong's body, which was covered with green dragon scales. Bang! An energy ripple that was visible to the naked eye erupted and spread instantly after the collision occurred. The surrounding space became distorted because of that force. Su Lei's expression suddenly changed when his palm slammed onto Lin Dong's body. At this moment, he finally sensed just how wild and violent the strength that was contained under the green scales was. Under that kind of force, the strength of Su Lei's palm attack was quickly negated. Finally, it completely collapsed and disappeared in front of his extremely ugly expression. Grieg, after his palm attack was dealt with, the strength of Lin Dong's bump came pouring forth without restraint. Immediately, Su Lei's face turned pale almost instantly. A mouthful of fresh blood was spat out as his body flew backwards in a miserable manner. However, Lin Dong did not have the luxury of time to celebrate just because he wounded Su Lei. This was because, he could sense that during the split second when he attacked Su Lei, Yao Ling and Luo Yi had already joined forces and attacked him. An unusually fearsome attack had targeted all the fatal spots on his back. Clearly, the two of them were also waiting for an opportunity like this to launch an attack. Only when one attacked, would one end up exposing an opening, just like now. Lin Dong was unable to kill Su Lei in a single strike. However, with the combined attacks of Yao Ling Duo, all they needed was to target a single opening from Lin Dong in order to completely devastate him. Brat, you're finished. Lin Dong's eyes glanced behind him. He could already see the ferocious expressions of Yao Ling Duo behind. Their fierce attack was about to reach him. Huff, a mouthful of white vapor was exhaled deeply from Lin Dong's mouth. He glanced at the withdrawing Su Lei whose aura was sluggish. This was clearly the best opportunity to kill the latter. Lin Dong's eyes flickered rapidly. In the next instant, a bright green light suddenly erupted from within his body. After which, the green light gathered and formed a large green bell around his body. There were some green dragon tattoos on the surface of the bell. Unmoving green dragon bell. The large green bell was formed with lightning-like speed under Lin Dong's low voice. The fearsome combined attack from the Yao Ling duo also arrived the moment it was formed. Drill. A deafening sound erupted upon contact. That wild and violent strength that was filled with murderous intent also arrived together with it. Bang. Crack lines spread across the large green bell rapidly. Finally, it emitted a loud bang and was forcefully blasted apart. Countless green light shot out. An enormous strength came overflowing from all directions. Lin Dong also borrowed this momentum to retreat. In a flash, he appeared in front of Su Lei, amidst the shocked and furious gazes of the Yao Ling's duo. It's over. Lin Dong's eyes stared at Su Lei's pale face, while an indifferent arc was lifted on his face. I want to see how you are going to kill me. Even though his aura was currently sluggish, 
Su Lei was also no pushover. He was aware that all he had to do was to delay Lin Dong for a moment. After which, the Yao Ling duo's combined attack would be able to kill the latter. Hence, he maneuvered the Yuan power within his body in a crazy fashion. Bright golden light erupted from within his body. Clearly, he had pushed his Nirvana golden body to its limit. With such a defense, it was likely that even Lin Dong would not be able to kill him with a single blow. However, Su Lei saw a ridicule flashing across Lin Dong's eyes when he prepared his defense. In the next instant, he saw Lin Dong extending his hand towards him. On his palm, a golden glow flashed, before a palm-sized large golden wheel appeared. Su Lei's eyes shrunk immediately when that golden wheel suddenly appeared. A feeling of death quietly bubbled in his heart. No, a hoarse cry had yet to be fully emitted from within Su Lei's throat when it suddenly halted. The golden light wheel shot out from Lin Dong's hand. After which, it quickly slashed Su Lei's throat with a speed that could not be sensed. A bright red blood trail appeared. Chapter 689, Demonic Yuan Cursed Body. When the golden light flashed past, Su Lei's maximum output Nirvana golden body seemed to have totally lost all effect. Under the fine golden light, his seemingly sturdy and powerful golden body was as weak and frail as tofu. Fresh blood spurted out and reflected Su Lei's pupils, which were now filled with fear and disbelief. He simply could not imagine how Lin Dong was able to break his Nirvana golden body with such ease. After all, his body had undergone the tempering of eight Nirvana tribulations. However, Lin Dong did not care about the Su Lei's dread-filled eyes, which were gradually being filled with a grayish color. With a clench of his fist, the blurry golden light disappeared into the center of his palm. Swoosh! The life within Su Lei's eyes rapidly faded, while the vigorous Yuan power gushing around his body completely crumbled. Promptly, his body started to fall from the sky. Lin Dong watched Su Lei's descending corpse. His eyes flashed as he moved forward and grabbed it. Following which, devouring force stealthily erupted from the center of his palm. Chi Chi! In the face of this devouring force, strand after strand of weak golden light flew out from Su Lei's corpse. These strands of golden light swiftly gushed into Lin Dong's body through the center of his palm. Bang! After the last strand of golden light was devoured by Lin Dong, his palm slapped down on Su Lei's chest, directly pushing him into the sea of trees below. As the corpse sunk into the sea of trees below, this notorious villain of the Blood Rock Grounds was finally killed by Lin Dong at this location. Lin Dong stared as the corpse disappeared into the sea of trees, before he gently tightened his fists. Generally speaking, after a Nirvana stage expert underwent the seventh Nirvana tribulation, a strand of Yuan spirit key would be born within the Yuan power in his body. Although this bit of Yuan spirit key was insufficient to create a Yuan spirit, it would still introduce an element of uncertainty. Lin Dong naturally wanted to get rid of any problems in the future. That was why he directly took action and used devouring force to completely devour the strands of Yuan spirit key within Su Lei's body. On the other hand, although the dragon Yuan wheel within Lin Dong's body was extremely powerful, it was formed from Yuan spirit key. Hence, it would weaken every time he used it. Since Lin Dong was currently unable to generate Yuan spirit key within his body, he could only rob from others. One down. After finishing off Su Lei, Lin Dong slowly turned around. He proceeded to stare at Yao Ling and the rest, who were staring in shock at Su Lei's corpse, before he shot a grin filled with iciness towards the two of them. You, actually killed Su Lei. Yao Ling's face twitched violently a trace of shock lingering in his eyes as they gradually turned scarlet red. Due to Lin Dong's speed, the two of them had not discovered the golden wheel which pierced Su Lei's throat. Luo Yi's expression had now turned extremely solemn. On top of that serious expression was a tinge of unease. His strength was on par with Su Lei. Since Lin Dong was able to kill Su Lei, this indicated that Lin Dong would be able to kill him as well. This guy, Luo Yi's face trembled, when he looked at that young man, who had a smile on his youthful face, with dragon-like arms holding a gigantic black tree, 
he secretly felt like retreating. For some unknown reason, he felt unease curling around his heart. He can only blame himself. Lin Dong smiled at the now scarlet-eyed Yao Ling as he casually remarked. He was no benevolent individual. If these people did not provoke him, he would not bother them. However, since things had progressed to such a stage, he was not going to be foolish enough to show benevolence to them. Should a chance present itself, he would definitely deliver a lethal blow. Who, after he heard Lin Dong's words, the maliciousness in Yao Ling's eyes intensified as he stared right back at Lin Dong. Taking in a deep breath of air, he calmed himself. However, under that tranquility, Lin Dong could sense a tyrannical murderous aura that was akin to a volcano that was about to erupt. Brat, it's my fault for underestimating you from the start, else this would not have happened. Yao Ling's voice was extremely gloomy, but he was not angry. Instead, it was filled with bitter resentment and venom. Lin Dong's eyes narrowed a little as he slowly tightened his grip on the black ancient tree in his hand and gradually became more vigilant. Even the current him could feel a fluctuation from Yao Ling's body that caused his heart to tremble. However, it is all over now. With an indifferent expression, Yao Ling slowly walked forward. Behind him, Luo Yi stared at Yao Ling's back as his expression started to change a little. The next moment, he unexpectedly stopped moving forward, and instead turned around and quickly retreated. At the same time, the expressions on the other Devil Seal Mass members turned solemn, and they rapidly retreated far away from Yao Ling. Yao Ling did not care about those who were retreating. His incomparably dark and sinister gaze was locked onto Lin Dong. A merciless grin appeared on his face as he placed his palms together, before rapidly forming strange seals one after another at lightning speed. Buzz! Following Yao Ling's hand seals, the Yuan power surrounded his body started to surge. A suffocating and stifling fluctuation gradually spread out from Yao Ling. Lin Dong, next, I'll let you experience the elite martial arts of my Yuan gate. The cruel grin of Yao Ling grew wider. In the next instant, a deep rumbling sound suddenly erupted from his mouth, demonic Yuan cursed body. Boom! Ruthless yet majestic Yuan power suddenly surged out from Yao Ling's body the instant he roared. Following the surge of Yuan power, Yao Ling's body started to expand. All the muscles within his body squirmed while his veins were like small snakes as they extended across the surface of his body. Chi Chi, a piercing sound akin to flesh being ripped apart rang out, while a somewhat pained expression appeared on Yao Ling's face. However, this was unable to mask his cruel expression. It was as if he could already visualize the scene where Lin Dong was being ripped into shreds. Following the expansion of his body, black patterns started to appear on Yao Ling's body. The patterns seemed to be similar to ancient runes and it looked as if they had grown out of his flesh. When seen from far, they looked extremely strange and mysterious. Within a span of a few breaths, Yao Ling's body had expanded to twice its original size, making him look like a small-sized giant. Black runes covered his body, and coupled with his scarlet red eyes, it made Yao Ling look like a barbarian from ancient times that was brimming with ruthlessness and cruelty. Bang! With a face filled with rune-like characters, Yao Ling shot an evil grin at Lin Dong before he ferociously taking a step forward. Instantly, his body mysteriously disappeared. His speed was in a complete contrast with the size of his body. The moment Yao Ling disappeared, Lin Dong's pupils abruptly contracted. In the next instant, he forcefully twisted his body and violent smashed down on the space behind him with the ancient immortal Yuan tree and his dragon arms. Bang! Space fractured as a fist fully covered in black symbols directly ruptured space and slammed against the black ancient tree. Frightening amounts of energy crazily poured out from the resulting impact. The resulting energy engulfed and swept over Lin Dong, causing him to catapult backwards. The hand with which he held onto the ancient immortal Yuan tree started to tremble continuously. Meanwhile, the dragon scales on his arms sparkled with green light as they tried to dissipate the terrifying force. After unleashing his so-called, demonic Yuan, cursed body, it was evident that Yao Ling's strength had increased by about 30%. 
His resulting strength caused even Lin Dong to feel fearful. Cursed Yuan Seal. After knocking Lin Dong away with a single punch, the evil grin on Yao Ling's face grew even wider. Forming a mysterious sealing technique with his hands, it took the shape of a fist imprint, which he sent blasting forward. Swoosh. An overwhelming amount of Yuan power frantically gathered and materialized into a life-like fist imprint. Whistling across the sky, it descended upon Lin Dong. Buzz. Lin Dong's expression turned extremely solemn as he gazed at the incoming fist imprint that contained a frightening fluctuation. Torrential gray light howled out of Lin Dong's forehead as gray clouds gathered together and the gigantic Huang beast was summoned once again. Russell. The gigantic tail of the Huang beast ferociously whipped downwards, bringing with it a dreadful gray light that blotted the sky, before it violently slammed against the gigantic fist imprint. Bang! Berserk undulations swept outwards, causing Lin Dong to retreat explosively. He landed on the top of the Huang beast's head and slowly sat down. As he bit his fingertip, fresh blood started flowing out. In the end, he pressed his bleeding finger on the gigantic closed eye of the Huang beast. Since you want to go all out, I'll accompany you till the end. Fresh red blood spread out on the giant eye like a net, an extremely mysterious and strange sight. Lin Dong gazed down upon Yao Ling, whose body was currently enveloped by ruthless undulations. Within his slow and unhurried words, was an abundance of ferocity. Promptly, his hand seals changed. Spirit of the Desolate Beast, Blood Sacrifice. Chapter 690. Heavily Wounded. A scarlet blood net spread out from the enormous eye of the Huang beast, with an extremely shocking speed. With the spreading of the blood net, a dark and deep red color rushed over the enormous body of the Huang beast like a light ripple. Roar! The blood net spread and the monstrous Huang beast suddenly roared at the sky. Its roar resounded over the entire place as a wave of desolate aura, that appeared to have originated from the ancient times, slowly spread across its body. Right now, the Huang beast had finally become the genuine frightening mysterious beast from ancient times. Not only did it possess a similar form, it also possessed a similar soul. Lin Dong appeared on the forehead of the Huang beast before his palm pressed on the icy cool head of the Huang beast. Traces of blood flowed through his palm and poured into the body of the Huang beast below at a rate visible to the naked eye. As blood flowed, Lin Dong's face began to turn pale. This blood offering not only required a great amount of Yuan power, but it would also exhaust the essence blood of a person. As such, Lin Dong would likely end up exhausting himself. At the very least, he would need to recuperate for a period of time in order to recover. Of course, this blood offering might possess quite a hefty price, but Lin Dong did not have any other choice. This battle was quite an uneven one. If it was not because he had swallowed five immortal Yuan ancient fruits and temporarily boosted his strength, it was likely that regardless of how many tactics he had, it would be impossible for him to fight against Yao Ling, who had advanced to nine Yuan Nirvana stage. Moreover, Yao Ling had also used his signature skill. If Lin Dong was not a little more ruthless, it was likely that he would no longer have the chance to be so ruthless in the future. Huff huff. The large dark red beast was suspended in the sky. Its enormous tail swung gently. Immediately, it formed numerous wild and violent hurricanes in the sky. At a short distance away, Luo Yi and some of the other members from Devil Seal Mass had already pulled back. Their eyes were incomparably solemn as they stared at the face off in the sky. Although they were extremely surprised that Lin Dong was actually able to endure for so long, they were also clearly aware that the current Lin Dong did indeed possess quite a formidable fighting strength. If they were the ones fighting him, it was likely that they would not be able to obtain the upper hand. However, regardless of how frightening this brat is, it is time for things to end. An expert from the Devil Seal Mass clenched his teeth and spoke in a sinister manner. The others nodded their heads in the face of these words. They were clearly aware of Yao Ling's strength. Over the years, even some experts who were also at Nine Yuan Nirvana stage had to be extremely cautious when Yao Ling used his demonic Yuan cursed body. Moreover, 
The current Lin Dong was merely borrowing some external strength in order to barely reach this stage. While being watched by everyone, Yao Ling, whose body had swelled by several times in the sky, was staring at the area in front of him with a shady and indifferent expression. Monstrous and brutal aura rolled and twined around his body, causing him to appear like a bloodthirsty demon. In front of him, Lin Dong, who had completed the blood offering, also slowly stood up on the head of the Huang beast. His young face, which was clearly pale, also had some icy chillness lingering over it. Both of his eyes were as sharp as blades as he stared at Yao Ling. A hostility rose from deep within his eyes. Bang! The two of them stared at each other. However, not a single useless word was uttered. The air was suddenly torn apart in the next instant. Ya Ling was the first one who was unable to suppress the surging killing intent within his heart. His body, which was covered by a black curse symbol, pierced through the air like a sharp arrow. In a flash, he appeared above Lin Dong. Boom! Ya Ling's eyes were dark and cold as his fist struck out. Immediately, blood-red light gathered under his fist with a lightning-like speed. Finally, they directly transformed into a bloody light fist imprint before it smashed towards Lin Dong like a small mountain. At Yao Ling's current state, a single fist from him was enough to severely wound an 8 Yuan Nirvana stage expert like Luo Yi. However, Lin Dong merely raised his head in the face of his fearsome attack, while his pupils reflected the unusually wild and brutal fierce palm wind. Swoosh! An enormous black shadow tore through the sky. It was directly accompanied by a frightening strength that could shatter a mountain as it violently swung against the blood-glowing fist. Boom! The entire sky trembled due to this collision, after which, the energy ripple scattered. An enormous tail flew backward while Yao Ling also took a slight step back. Swoosh! Yao Ling had just taken a step back when his body leaned forward. He rushed out like a huge bird pouncing onto its prey. Both of his fists were swung out. Immediately, the bloodlight that permeated the sky moved. A countless number of blood-glowing fists rushed out from Yao Ling's hand. However, these fists that contained a shocking strength did not attack Lin Dong immediately. Instead, they condensated in the sky. Yuan King Fist. The fearsome glow within Yao Ling's eyes turned increasingly rich. After which, a low and deep cry was suddenly emitted from his mouth. At the same time, his final fist was also accompanied by a monstrous aura that was violently being swung forward. Buzz buzz. A deafening buzzing sound was emitted by all the fists in the sky. Finally, the countless number of fists began to gather together. Within a short instant, the fists that permeated the sky shrunk into the size of a palm. A realistic-looking fist was agglomerated and formed within the red light. It was as though one could see a human figure standing with his hands behind his back on the fist seal. That human figure was extremely blurry, but he possessed a frightening aura that was able to overturn the sky and land with just the rays of his hand. Evidently, Yao Ling had unleashed a powerful soul martial arts. Bang! A cruel expression was lifted in Yao Ling's eyes when he saw the blood-red fist that had agglomerated. After which, his hand seals changed before the blood-red fist seal disappeared. Lin Dong's eyes were grave as he stared at the fist that had disappeared. His mental energy suddenly spread apart. A moment later, he abruptly shrunk his eyes. The Huang beast soul that was connected to his mind, also suddenly turned its huge head around. A blood-red fist had strangely appeared in the space behind before it came smashing down. The huge tail of the Huang beast once again swung forth violently when it saw the fist, that contained an extremely powerful fluctuation. However, this time around that huge tail was directly penetrated by the blood-red fist when the two made contact. Naive fellow. The corner of Yao Ling's mouth immediately parted into a mocking expression when he saw this scene. Ha! Lin Dong, who was standing on the head of the Huang beast, remained calm when he saw this scene. He inhaled a deep breath of air before his hand seals, under his sleeves, suddenly changed. When the fist landed, that Huang beast's huge eye, which was covered by a blood net, suddenly opened. The surrounding Yuan power immediately began to churn when the eye opened. 
It was just like a pot of boiling oil. Even the light from the surroundings turned much dimmer. The Huang Beast Demon Eye was not grey in colour this time around. Instead, it had turned into a blood-red colour. Within that blood-red glow, it looked just like a sea filled with blood and it was filled with menace. The blood-red demon eye opened and a blood light that appeared to penetrate through the world shot out explosively. The blood light whizzed. It appeared to have transformed into a claw as it flashed past the sky. At a glance, it was actually a shrunken Huang beast. The blood light and the fist flashed across the sky. After which, they violently collided. Boom! The entire place trembled. Monstrous blood light began spreading across the sky like a hundred thousand feet large tsunami. A loud rumbling sound that carried a frightening wind came pouring down in an insane fashion. Meanwhile, the surrounding mountains suffered a lethal blow and nearly turned into a flat piece of land. Boom! Lin Dong and the Huang Beast were also forcefully sent flying backward by a couple of hundred meters by this storm. They even crashed into and shattered a mountain along the way. Only then, did they stabilize their bodies in a miserable manner. Lin Dong raised his head, narrowed his eyes and looked in front of him. If that previous attack was to hit him, it was likely that he would definitely end up seriously injured even though he had learned the Green Heaven materialized dragon skill. That fellow, Lin Dong's eyes swept around him cautiously. His eyes abruptly turned focused in the next moment as he reflexively turned around. Green light gathered on his palm and transformed into a thick green scale shield. Bang! A huge fist that was covered with black curse symbols penetrated through the air and ruthlessly struck onto his green scale shield. A punch blasted the shield apart before that impact also struck Lin Dong's body. The force exploded on Lin Dong's body and a redness surged over his face. His body flew back explosively by dozens of steps. After which, he forcefully swallowed a sweetness that had risen from his throat. Ya Ling revealed himself after having struck Lin Dong with a palm and forced the latter back. He smiled coldly while looking at Lin Dong. Immediately, his feet stepped on the back of the Huang beast as he once again charged forward explosively. It seemed like he was not intending to give Lin Dong any chance to catch his breath. Swoosh swoosh swoosh. Lin Dong's eyes were icy cold as he looked at Yao Ling who had rushed over explosively. His feet suddenly stomped. Immediately, one could see the blood-red scales on the back of the Huang beast turn vertical, while a shockingly cold glint was being emitted from them. Immediately, they left the beast and encircled Yao Ling like a storm. Yao Ling was also shocked by this sudden event. The area that the scales covered was very wide. Even with his speed, he could not dodge them in time. Immediately, he withdrew both of his hands. A blood light spluttered out and protected his body. Chi Chi. Although some of the blood red scales were reflected when they flashed past Yao Ling's body, there were still some scales that penetrated through his defense, cutting and leaving numerous blood trails on his body. After Yao Ling's completely escaped from the range of that attack, he glanced at the bloody wounds on his body before his expression immediately turned gloomy. However, the moment his eyes became gloomy, a human figure arrived swiftly in a ghost-like manner. Green light surged over the ferocious green dragon arms. After which, a fist was violently delivered towards Yao Ling's chest. Bang! That wild and violent strength scattered and actually sent Yao Ling flying directly. You bastard! Waves of intense pain were being transmitted from Yao Ling's chest, while fury also surged within his eyes. A ferociousness flashed past his face when he stared at Lin Dong, who had once again attacked. However, he did not dodge. A fist was instead forcefully thrown towards Lin Dong. A mad wind swept over the back of the Huang beast. Lin Dong was shaken and forced to take a couple of steps back. A light flickered rapidly on the scales of the green dragon arm. It resolved the frightening strength that was being transmitted over. Fighting head on with me. You truly do not fear death. Ya Ling's body shook slightly as he scattered the strength on his fist. After which, he chuckled maliciously at Lin Dong. Swoosh. Lin Dong's eyes were indifferent as he glanced at him. He did not say anything unnecessary as he rushed forward once again. 
The ferociousness on Yao Ling's face became even more intense when he saw this scene. If Lin Dong used the Huang beast to pester him, he might have to spend quite some time to kill him. However, by taking the initiative to charge over, in his opinion, it was equivalent to seeking death. Two human figures were accompanied by a brutal aura as they fought with each other on the back of the Huang beast. In the next instant, a frightening force erupted. Punches and kicks were thrown back and forth. The two of them had actually directly entered into a fearsome close quarters physical combat. Boom boom boom. Luo Yi's group were a little stunned as they looked at the two human figures that were brawling with each other. They could hear the low and deep sound of a fist making contact with flesh being transmitted over. Immediately, they parted their mouth involuntarily. They were aware that both parties threw extremely powerful punches and it definitely felt terrible when they landed on one's body. Fresh blood would occasionally splurt from the crisscrossing human figures. However, one could not differentiate just who it belonged to. Nonetheless, everyone was aware that the two of them had clearly fought until they were completely unable to control themselves. That close quarter physical combat caused Luo Yi and the rest's hearts to pound in fear as they watched. At the same time, a chillness was also present deep within their hearts. Bang! Another violent collision between two fists occurred. The two strength eroded each other and the scales on Lin Dong's green dragon arm cracked a little. The originally bright green light had also turned dim. Traces of blood continuously seeped out from the scales. Lin Dong was currently in a bad state and his entire body was covered in blood. His originally savage and mighty green dragon arm had also become unusually dilapidated. Although he was in a terrible condition, the fearsome aura within Lin Dong's eyes turned increasingly rich. On the opposite side, Yao Ling's body was similarly covered with blood. However, he was in a slightly better state when compared with Lin Dong. After unleashing his demonic Yuan cursed body, his physical body was actually quite powerful. Brat. Since you can't hang on anymore, let me end you once and for all. Ya Ling looked Lin Dong, who appeared to have reached his limits. A cruel expression once again surfaced on his face. He stared at Lin Dong and parted his mouth into a smile. After which, a fearsome fist wind directly smashed towards Lin Dong's chest. Bang! Lin Dong also threw a punch forward when he executed his fist. His target was Ya Ling's chest. The ridicule on the corner of Yao Ling's mouth became even denser. After such an intense battle, Lin Dong's fighting ability had clearly declined tremendously. As such, his attacks currently posed little threat towards him. Hence, Yao Ling, who had remained cautious earlier, relaxed his guard slightly when he faced Lin Dong's punch. Swoosh! This change was so slight that it could not be detected. However, Lin Dong's eyes suddenly erupted into an unusually sharp glint. His palm wind changed before his palm turned into a fist. Golden light erupted on his palm before a palm-sized golden ring appeared. The golden ring was not large and there were eight sharp teeth protruding from its edges. They were curled and emitted a kind of sharpness that caused one's heart to feel a chill. There was also a golden dragon imprint vaguely present on the gold ring. The golden ring appeared in a split second. At that moment, Yao Ling's fist had already ruthlessly landed on Lin Dong's chest. Lin Dong's body trembled violently. However, the intense pain that was being transmitted from his chest caused a bone chilling arc to be slowly lifted on his face. You are finished, Lin Dong muttered. A death god-like voice was suddenly transmitted into Yao Ling's ear before the latter's eyes shrunk abruptly. Immediately, he sensed an icy cold aura emitted from his chest before all the pores on his body instantly stood up. Chi, Ya Ling did not have the time to set up any defense. The momentary relaxation by Ya Ling caused him to lose any opportunity and he could only sense an icy cold object being inserted into his chest. After which, it shot out from his back while carrying an intense pain. Ya Ling's eyes shrunk into the size of a pinhole as fresh blood spurted out. He looked at the young face covered with fresh blood, that contained a dense chilling smile. This caused Ya Ling to feel as though he was in an igloo. He was doing it on purpose. He had given up on a little advantage and chose close quarters combat. 
All he was waiting for was such an opportunity like this that would appear in a flash. He was just like a tiger quietly hiding within the mountain forest, waiting for its prey to make a fatal mistake. Ya Ling could sense that Lin Dong had already reached his limit. If things continued, the latter would definitely be unable to endure on. He could have chosen to rely on his mighty Yuan power that surpassed the other party by multiple levels, to tire him to death. Unfortunately, it was impossible for time to reverse by a couple of minutes. Bastard. Ya Ling's face was ferocious. His foot swung on Lin Dong's shoulder. While sending the latter flying, he also held his chest and staggered backward. Immediately, his face quickly turned ashen. Luo Yi and the rest in the distance, who had been observing the battle, had an abrupt change in their expressions. They hurriedly rushed over. Some experts from Devil Seal Mass quickly supported Yao Ling. Their eyes shrunk when they saw the bloody hole on the latter's chest. Kill that fellow. He has already reached his limit. Yao Ling held his chest. His expression was unusually pale as he roared. A killing glint flashed immediately in the eyes of Luo Yi and the few other Devil Seal Mass experts when they heard this. After which, they turned around. Their eyes were fearsome as they stared at Lin Dong who was standing a little unsteadily. Kill him. The few of them looked at each other. After which, they ceased hesitating and rushed out immediately. Sharp killing attacks poured onto Lin Dong like a storm. Lin Dong watched Luo Yi's group rushing over. His eyes were a little blurry. The consequences of forcefully swallowing five immortal Yuan ancient fruits had finally hit him. After all, the bloody battle with Yao Ling had exhausted all his strength. The current him was unable to block even a 7 Yuan Nirvana stage expert. A 9 Yuan Nirvana stage expert is indeed very strong. Lin Dong softly muttered in his heart. Immediately, he sensed a wind blowing over and it sent his body flying violently. Immediately, all the organs within his body shook intensely. A mouthful of fresh blood was finally spat out involuntarily. As he flew backward, Lin Dong looked at Luo Yi's group which were charging towards him with fearsome expressions on their faces. Finally, he shook his head helplessly. A giddiness surged out from deep within his mind. Am I going to lose my life here? Lin Dong muttered. However, just as Lin Dong muttered, he suddenly discovered that his body, which was flying backward, had suddenly collided with a soft object. He gently opened his eyes only to see a pretty face with red and large eyes appeared within his blurry vision. It was Ying Wanhuan, elder sister, elder Mu, kill those bastards. While he was a blurry state, Lin Dong appeared to have heard a young lady's faint crying voice. However, a killing intent permeated across the clear voice. Chapter 691, Rest. His consciousness was in constant darkness. While he was semi-conscious, Lin Dong faintly heard some soft and gentle sounds ringing beside his ear. These sounds were melodious and very touching. It gave one the urge to open one's eyes to see the appearance of the voice's owner. However, in the end, Lin Dong did not open his eyes. Deep weariness swelled and rushed out from the depths of his mind like a tide, causing his eyes to remain shut. This weariness lasted for quite a long period of time. Finally, after a long struggle, his eyes forcefully pushed apart his eyelids and opened a small crack. A gentle ray of sunlight shot down on him. This caused the crack between Lin Dong's eyelids to grow increasingly large before the sunlight finally banished the darkness. After opening his eyes, the first thing that appeared in Lin Dong's vision was a quiet room filled with the scent of sandalwood. Vermilion red-colored light reflected off his surroundings and bloomed within his eyes. It had a calm yet imposing atmosphere. Lin Dong stared at the strange and unfamiliar environment around him. An extremely brief moment of absent-mindedness flashed past his eyes. In the next instant, he suddenly stood up. Just as he was about to leap forth, his body turned soft. A powerless sensation started to spread from his limbs and his body, leaving Lin Dong with no strength. The sensation of weakness within his body caused Lin Dong's expression to change. However, he gradually calmed down. Slightly wrinkling his eyebrows, it was apparent that he seemed to have recalled something. Ying Wanhuan should have made it in the end. 
muttered Lin Dong to himself. Thinking back to the last moment he could recall, he remembered hearing her familiar voice. From the looks of it, it seems like in the end, the Dao sect members managed to reach there in time. I'm actually hurt this badly. Lin Dong lowered his head and looked at his pale white palms. Unable to resist, he started wrinkling his eyebrows. He could feel the waves of pain being transmitted from within his body. Even the revolution of his Yuan power was faced with some obstruction. It was obvious that the injuries that he had received this time were extremely serious. Of course, the frowning Lin Dong failed to consider what kind of adversary he had faced. He was only at 5 Yuan Nirvana stage. Coupled with the fact that he was a four seal heaven symbol master, as well as the various tricks up his sleeves, it was still quite a stretch to go toe to toe with an 8 Yuan Nirvana stage expert. Moreover, Ya Ling was an expert who had reached the 9 Yuan Nirvana stage. If he had not relied on the explosive energy within the five ancient immortal Yuan fruits, Lin Dong would never match up to him. Furthermore, he even managed to wound Yao Ling severely. Placed amongst the various super sects, a nine Yuan Nirvana stage expert would already be capable of being a top-class disciple. In fact, one would even be able to garner a pretty strong reputation within the entire eastern Xuan region. Nonetheless, Lin Dong was actually able to accomplish such a feat while being chased by Yao Ling and the rest, who were trying to kill him. If news of this incident was disseminated, there would be a high possibility that an uproar would occur. Lin Dong slowly walked down from his bed. At this moment, there was absolutely no Yuan power within his body. It would likely require quite a few days of nursing in order to gradually recover his Yuan power. Creek. Walking across the room, Lin Dong pushed open the door. Warm sunlight vigorously poured down, enveloping Lin Dong's entire body. Under the gentle warmth, Lin Dong could feel that the throbbing pain within his body had significantly subsided. There was a spacious corridor outside the room. Before this corridor, there was a secluded courtyard. Within the courtyard, there were a few people calmly sitting on the floor. Hearing the sound of the door being opened, they hurriedly turned around. Immediately following that, a pleasantly surprised expression started to emerge on their faces. You finally decided to wake up, Lin Dong. Lin Dong looked at Mo Ling and the few others who were gathering around him and surprised expressions. He could sense their strong feelings of concern as well as the joy within their eyes. Feeling slightly warmed in his heart, he smiled and nodded while saying, How long was I out for? Ten days, replied Mo Ling while indicating with his fingers. Lin Dong was slightly startled. Although he had somewhat expected it, he had never imagined himself being in such a deep slumber after getting injured. It was likely due to the backlash from forcefully devouring five ancient immortal Yuan fruits. You are really famous now. News about you has been transmitted across the whole Dao sect. It is said that even though you were besieged by Devil Seal Mass and many other experts, you still managed to injure Yao Ling, who was ranked fourth on the sect's wanted list. That fellow is a 9 Yuan Nirvana stage expert and he has quite a strong reputation within eastern Xuan region. Praised Lu Bai while clicking his tongue. The way he stared at Lin Dong was unexpectedly filled with unconcealable admiration. Furthermore, the most important fact is that Yao Ling used to be a deacon of Yuan Gate. You know how much pride you have gained for us, disciples of Dao sect. Lin Dong looked at Lu Bai and the rest who wore excited and flushed expressions on their faces. He could not help but feel somewhat speechless. He had almost lost his life this time around and he was nowhere as suave as they mentioned. Lin Dong, you're awake. Just when Lin Dong was getting a headache from their frenzied discussions, a melodious and lovely voice filled with unconcealable surprise rang out suddenly from within the courtyard. At once, Everyone turned towards to the location of the noise, which led him to stare at a corner of the courtyard covered in the shade of plants. At that spot, stood a young lady in the prime of youth. The young lady stood under the shade. Her slender and soft body was wrapped up in her clothing accentuating her alluring curves. Light shone through the leaves and illuminated her exquisite and charming little face, showing her bright and beautiful big eyes, which are now brimming with delight. 
The young lady's features were certainly extremely beautiful. As her jet black ponytail hung down, it incited an arc filled vigor and vitality at the tip. When Mo Ling and the rest saw the young lady, a sparkle flashed past their eyes, before they promptly turned and stared mischievously at Lin Dong. When you were in a coma, junior sister Ying Wanhuan was taking care of you most of the time. She would often come running to our desolate hall, which actually caused quite a few disciples of desolate hall to envy you, said Mo Ling, who was now wearing a strange smile. After hearing his words, Lin Dong clearly gawked for a moment. He was clearly aware of how popular Ying Wanhuan was amongst the Dao sect disciples. Furthermore, she had quite a reputable background as well. Never would he had imagined that a young lady that was akin to a princess in the Dao sect, would actually go out of the way to take care of him. Hey, did you turn into a retard after sleeping? Just as Lin Dong was still absent-minded, the young lady had already arrived in from of him. Extending her perfect and slender white hand that would make many men drool, she waved it in front of him, while a melodious voice akin to a musical instrument rang out. Recovering his composure, Lin Dong proceeded to stare at the delicate face in front of him before giving a smile and replied, at the final moment, thanks for making it on time. If not, perhaps I would not be able to return this time. Humph, you just love to flaunt and talk big. It was obvious that you can't handle it yet you still had to act so fierce. Replied Ying Wanhuan as she curled her lip. Lin Dong started choking for a while because of her reply. Promptly, he felt slightly helpless. This little great aunt was really not easy to satisfy. In that kind of situation, there was no way to ensure everyone's safety. To save one of their lives was already a pretty decent scenario. Of course, I will not deny that you were indeed very dashing at that moment. If you did it a few more times, perhaps I will fall for you, said Ying Wanhuan as she smiled sweetly after seeing Lin Dong's depressed expression. Lin Dong chose not to reply. To him, experiencing such an incident once was already more than enough. He did not want to experience it again. What happened to those fellows in the end? Asked Lin Dong as if he suddenly thought of something. They're all dead. There won't be the devil's seal mass in the future. As for those people who crossed blows with you, so long as they took personal action, they would have been finished off, said Ying Wanhuan in an indifferent attitude while slightly lifting her eyelashes. Lin Dong nodded his head in silence. It looks like this time around, the Dao sect got fairly furious. They were unexpectedly ruthless. However, this was the only way to establish one's dominance. Otherwise, how could the disciples of Dao sect travel outside in the future if anyone could easily humiliate them? This time, all the elders were very excited to see the ancient immortal Yuan seed being brought back and you contributed the lion's share of the work. After you've recovered, F.A. Lord sect master would like to personally see you, said Ying Wanhuan with a smile. Oh, only at this juncture, did Lin Dong's expression slightly change. Even with the strength of mind, after hearing this, he faintly cramped for a second. Regardless, that person was the head of Dao sect. He was also one of the top practitioners within the vast area of the Eastern Xuan region. A single thought by him alone could make countless empires vanish in a puff of smoke. Mo Ling and the rest who were standing nearby all had faces full of envy. For one to be able to meet with the Lord sect master, who was incredibly hard to even catch a glimpse of, was no simple feat. Relax, you're now a hero in our Dao sect, comforted the young lady with a smile after discovering Lin Dong's stunned reaction. She quickly proceeded to retrieve a basket from her Chankan bag, which was filled to the brim with various medicines and pills that were used to treat injuries. These medicines are very effective for treating wounds. I actually went to the pill room for at least half a day to collect all of them. This is an ointment to be applied externally. This is to be swallowed. The young lady used her fine jade-like fingers to point at the bottles and jars within the basket while carefully explaining their contents. After she finished her explanation, she felt something amiss about the surrounding atmosphere. Raising her head, she saw Mo Ling and the rest with a weird expression on their faces.
There was no one within the entire Dao sect who did not know how weird and mischievous Ying Wanhuan was. Who knew that this lively and vibrant young lady actually had such a gentle and tender side to her? What are you guys looking at? Have you never seen before a beautiful woman before? After being stared weirdly at by Mo Ling and the rest, a crimson shade flashed past her snowy white cheeks. Immediately, she glared at them. Seeing this, Mo Ling and the rest rapidly shrunk their necks before quickly turning away. Humph, it can be said that you are more or less half my savior. I don't want others to say that I, Ying Wanhuan am ungrateful. Please take it. Ying Wanhuan's big eyes turned around and faced Lin Dong while maintaining her awe-inspiring image. She proceeded to viciously shove the basket into Lin Dong's hand before immediately turning around and leaving. Her free and easy actions were quite domineering. However, no one noticed that the moment that young girl turned around, her tender and delicate earlobes had already turned red. Looking at the beautiful figure of the rapidly departing young lady, Lin Dong could not help but touch his nose. It seems like the gentleness and softness she displayed earlier was merely a short-lived moment. He he, younger senior sister Wan Huan is not bad. This is the first time I saw her take such good care of someone. Teased Lu Bai with a grin, as he raised his eyebrows towards Lin Dong. Stop speaking nonsense. She only did this because she was grateful to me for saving her life, replied Lin Dong irritatedly. However, she did take good care of you during this period of time. Besides, I have to tell you a piece of bad news. You should be quite clear of junior sister Ying Wanhuan's charm. Hence, since she had taken such good care of you, there will definitely be some people who would be displeased. Mo Ling patted Lin Dong's shoulders while a helpless expression appeared on his face. According to what I know, even King Yi has expressed discontentment over this matter. He is from Earth Hall and is the most talented person after elder senior sister Ying Xiaoxiao amongst the Dao sect younger generation members. Therefore, you will have to be careful in the future. Unable to resist, Lin Dong's face started to turn black. At this moment he wished to curse out loud. What the hell does this have to do with me? He simply could not understand how he would actually wound up provoking someone even while in a stupor. Femme fatale. Consoled Mo Ling. There is nothing between us. Replied Lin Dong. However, after he said those words, he saw Mo Ling and the rest continuously casting their gazes at the basket in his hand. At this moment, he felt wave after wave of stifling feeling in his chest. Chapter 692, Ying Xiaoxiao, King Yi. Lin Dong sat quietly on a bed within a quiet room. Both of his eyes were tightly shut. His hands formed a training seal as a devouring force quietly scattered from within his body. Under this devouring force, the air around him began to form waves after waves of ripples. Waves of mighty Yuan power came surging out before they finally poured into his body. With the continuous pouring in of Yuan power, Lin Dong Aura also began to recover a little at a time. This training lasted for three hours. Lin Dong's unmoving body finally shook gently, after which, he slowly opened his tightly shut eyes. A cluster of white vapor that carried a terrible smell was spat out from his throat. After that cluster of white vapor was exhaled, the final trace of dimness on Lin Dong's face had disappeared. His dark black eyes had once again recovered the brightness and luster of the past. Lin Dong had clearly also sensed the changes within his body as a joy flashed across his face. Ever since he awakened, he had been quietly recuperating for nearly five days. Only then, did he completely heal the backlash caused by swallowing five immortal Yuan ancient fruits. Moreover, with the complete recovery of his injuries and strength, Lin Dong also discovered something that caused him to be pleasantly surprised. After this serious injury, his Yuan power and mental energy actually made quite a shocking improvement. He even began to vaguely feel a sign of being about to break through. Is this because of the five immortal Yuan ancient fruits? Lin Dong pondered on this fact. The immortal Yuan ancient fruits possess the mysterious effect of increasing one's strength. If Lin Dong followed the rules and refined them before he swallowed them, it would not be impossible for his strength to break through to six Yuan Nirvana stage. 
However, the situation back clearly did not give him the time to quietly train and refine them. Hence, he could only act ruthlessly and forcefully swallow all five immortal Yuan ancient fruits in exchange for a temporary boost in his strength. The price was that a large portion of the energy from the five immortal Yuan ancient fruits was exhausted during the intense battle. The amount that Lin Dong eventually absorbed only amounted to 10 to 20 percent. Nonetheless, these 10 to 20 percent still benefited Lin Dong tremendously. In addition to the bloody battle this time around, it allowed Lin Dong's strength to advance once again. Although he was unable to make a breakthrough, he was likely not far from doing so. Lin Dong swung his arm that was once again filled with mighty strength. He parted his mouth into a smile before pushing open the door and exiting the room. After leaving the room, the first thing that Lin Dong saw was two familiar old figures standing a short distance in front. Immediately he was startled. He hurriedly walked forward and laughed. Greetings to the two teacher uncle. The two people in front of him were naturally Chen Shen and Wu Dao from Desolate Hall. They looked at Lin Dong's complexion and nodded with a smile. Have you fully recovered? Wu Dao stared at the young man in front of him with a pleased expression. After inquiring a little, he continued with a smile. This time around, you have done quite well and it has boosted the prestige of our desolate hall. If we can cultivate the immortal Yuan ancient seed, it would be extremely beneficial for our entire Dao sect. We coincidentally ran into it, that's all. The matter this time around is also thanks to senior Jiang Kun and the rest. Lin Dong smiled and said, Ha ha, staying behind and fighting the devil seal mass alone. This act might be impressive, but it is a little too reckless. You should be more careful in the future. Chen Zhen shook his head and said, Disciple has learned a lesson. Lin Dong could hear a concerned tone from Chen Zhen's voice. Therefore, he did not provide any explanation. Instead, he only smiled and nodded. Chen Zhen nodded slowly. He fondled his beard as his eyes looked at the young man in front of him. The satisfied expression in his eyes was becoming increasingly rich. Let's go. The sect master wants to meet you. Standing beside him, Wu Dao smiled before speaking. Lin Dong nodded his head. Seeing this, Wu Dao and Chen Zhen exchanged glances and did not say anything more. They turned around and rushed off. The former immediately followed closely behind. The three of them directly rushed out from the desolate hall mountains. After which, they headed towards the inner region of the sect. The Dao sect was extremely vast. Mountains surrounded it and there would occasionally be some disciples flying past the sky. It appeared just like a capital that was extremely large and possessed a frightening strength. That is the Dao peak. The sect master resides there. Normally the major matters of the sect are all decided in that place. Wu Dao wore a respectful expression as he looked at the mountain before softly speaking to Lin Dong beside him. Lin Dong nodded slightly as his gaze swept over this mountain. This time around, he did not dare to use his mental energy to scan the place. Based on his senses, he could tell that this mountain was extremely dangerous. It was so dangerous that it was able to cause him to vanish instantly. Before he landed on the mountain, Lin Dong's eyes swept across his surroundings. After which, he saw two grey-clothed old men seated on a rock that protruded from the precipitous mountain cliff. The two old men did not possess any Yuan power fluctuation around their bodies. Looking from a distance away, they appeared just like two old men. However, even Chen Zhen and Yu Dao swiftly reduced their speed when they saw the two of them. The two grey-clothed old men raised their heads before their turbid eyes looked at the Chen Zhen duo. Finally, their gazes slowly paused on Lin Dong. Lin Dong felt all his paws suddenly standing the moment he was being observed. Even the circulating Yuan power within his body slowed at this moment. That feeling was as if he was being thoroughly scanned by those two grey-clothed old men from inside out. Fortunately, the two grey-clothed old men only scanned his body for a moment. Immediately, Lin Dong saw these two stiff elderly faces revealing a somewhat ugly but warm smile. He is Lin Dong, right, not a bad little fellow. Proceed on. The sect master is waiting for him. Chen Zhen and Wu Dao nodded. 
after which, they finally led Lin Dong and swiftly rushed up the mountain. Those two are elders of the Dao sect and they are very powerful. If they advance another step, they might even be able to step into the mysterious death stage. Wu Dao softly spoke to Lin Dong while they were hurrying to the mountain top. Mysterious death stage. Lin Dong clicked his tongue quietly. This level would likely allow one to be placed amongst the elite even in the entire eastern Xuan region. The Dao sect was indeed worthy of being a super sect. Its foundation was so frightening. The three of them blotted up to the mountaintop. Fog lingered over the place and a spacious white jade platform appeared in their sight. After which, the three of them landed on the platform. When Lin Dong landed on the platform and raised his head, he discovered that there were actually three figures standing a short distance in front. There were two ladies and a man amongst the three of them. One of them looked quite familiar. A light-colored dress wrapped around her slim and delicate lovely figure. She was Ying Wanhuan. The lady on her left had a tall figure. Her long black hair was being randomly restrained gently and it adhered to her narrow waist as it hung downwards. She had a beautiful face and her brow was similar to Ying Wanhuan. However, the latter was lively and vibrant while she appeared gentle and calm. Moreover, Lin Dong could also sense a faint pressure from her body. Immediately, his lips were lifted a little. In the entire Dao sect, which other lady besides the big senior sister of Sky Hall, Ying Xiaoxiao, whom he had heard of but never met, could possess such strength. On the right side Ying Wanhuan was a young man in green clothes. The man appeared quite handsome. Although he was not as handsome as little Martin, he could also be considered a dashing and refined man. It was likely that he would attract quite a bit of attention in a crowd. Hey, have you fully recovered from your injuries? Your little life is quite hardy. A smile appeared on Ying Wanhuan's face when she saw Lin Dong. She immediately stepped forward and laughed in a lovely voice. When he heard Ying Wanhuan's playful yet caring words, Lin Dong felt somewhat helpless. However, the joy within the smile on the young lady's face originated from her heart. This caused Lin Dong to smilingly say, It is all thanks to your medicine. When she heard those words, Ying Wanhuan appeared to have recalled something as her face turned red. Her eyes glanced at Lin Dong before she immediately turned away and said, Only because you saved me. After uttering those words, she held the wrist of the beautiful lady beside her and laughingly said, This is my elder sister, Ying Xiaoxiao. I will throw you out now if you tell me that you have never heard of her. Greetings to senior Xiaoxiao. Lin Dong did not dare to slight the most outstanding younger generation member in Dao sect. He immediately cupped his hands together. Based on his status, he should also address Ying Xiaoxiao as senior. This girl has been too spoiled. Sometimes, she will go overboard when she speaks. Please do not take it to heart. Ying Xiaoxiao's eyes stared at Lin Dong in front of her. Her cool face revealed a smile as she spoke softly. Lin Dong glanced at Ying Wanhuan by the side, who was curling her mouth. Immediately, he smiled quietly and nodded. This time around, it is all thanks to you. However, you were really full of surprises. By the time I reached, Yao Ling had already received a fatal wound. Ying Xiaoxiao's eyes rippled slightly as she stared at Lin Dong. Her heart was not as calm as she appeared on the surface. Currently, she had also stepped into Nine Yuan Nirvana stage. Hence, she naturally understood how formidable a Nine Yuan Nirvana stage expert was. Although Lin Dong was heavily wounded and barely conscious when she reached, Yao Ling had similarly suffered a fatal wound. She was truly unable to imagine how Lin Dong, given his strength, was able to injure Yao Ling, who was a Nine Yuan Nirvana stage expert to such an extent in front of so many experts with malicious intent. I was merely lucky. Lin Dong spoke smilingly. He added another sentence in his heart. Additionally, I was a little more ruthless than him. Ying Xiaoxiao was noncommittal towards Lin Dong's words. If good luck could injure a nine Yuan Nirvana stage expert till such an extent, Yao Ling's reputation during these years would truly be a joke. That green-clothed young man by the side also stepped forward at this moment. A charming smile surfaced on his handsome face. Although his smile was wide, 
Lin Dong could still sense a slightly guarded expression within the man's eyes. I have long since heard of Junior Lin Dong's reputation. Now that I have met you, I can see that the rumors are indeed true. The green-clothed man smilingly extended a hand towards Lin Dong. Due to his angle, his body appeared to be looking down a little at Lin Dong. After which, he said with a smile, Earth Hall, King Yi. A close childhood friend of Wan Huan.